Hello Amnia. Hello Kao. Finally starting a good time. I mean... Actually I meant to... Uh, I meant to stream like I think... 3 or 4 hours before this, but... Uh, yeah, accidentally fell asleep. Hello Israel. Hello Way of the Dark. Very strong exercise from relying on creative, yeah. This run was uh, pretty wild. There, there are certain things that uh, probably should not happen, but it happen, uh, they, they happen anyway. So uh, pretty, pretty fishy, yeah. Uh, look at this, uh, 71, uh, 93, 73, and uh, 100. Now I don't I don't know whether these are meant to uh, we are meant to take this much damage in these fights, but I have a feeling that on average we actually take a little bit less. But yeah, bad things happen in all of these fights basically. Before that we actually barely took damage, which is uh, pretty wild. If we can use gold, probably just the gold. And I can use the gold. The path is not amazing, no. I mean, it's fine. I draw 6 elite, three, 3 fights before, so no upgrades, but we get to do uh, the shop. We can do 4 fights, depending on uh, what happens on the first floor. And here, um, for 6 elite, take an elite option, no? And then a third elite here that we probably have to face because we spent all our gold here already. So this note is uh, pretty bad. And again, yeah, this note is probably also pretty bad. That's a two late question mark, which is not mm, super amazing for defect, but uh, whatever, it doesn't matter too much. If we can take three elites, that's worth it. Okay, right, just a go. Like this is nonsense. Um, this is the front note option that is just weaker than this. And Mothwap, when uh, we want to run into... Okay, it's not we want to run into, but we are forced into a floor 6 elite. So, uh, swapping... not that strong. I mean, the other options that we just take up with the card, we go to 5 fights. But, um... Zap Upway doesn't actually play that well in the tougher advanced hallways. So it's probably just a throw. Fifty six HP count this, but no zap and one, but we did draw uh, three strikes. Yeah, I guess we don't have to choose whether we can read one or not. I can go no potion. Uh, this is the only hologram you see in the whole run, guys. Literally the only one. But we are fighting a floor 6 elite. Oh, why do you do this? This is actually the only hologram I will see in this entire run. But yeah, unfortunately it's probably streamlined. Um, if we click the um, streamline here... Probably go this way, actually. So uh, I take 4 fights. <laughs> the fact that it didn't, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Streamline is a card that I don't know, it's actually not that good against advanced always, but um it helps not die to the nasty ones. <laughs> Interesting, yeah, hello Byron. Leave is better than streamline better than hologram, yes. Relative ranking. But yeah, if there's not a floor six elite here, I click hologram every time. Which is uh, pretty unfortunate. Because uh, the last run we spent the entire run looking for one. In uh, Neighbor Found. So what, what can you do? I guess uh, we take three and hopefully next time this guy plays a little bit nicer. Please. Okay, thank you. 
actually play Daiso. Uh, Streamline into Strike is uh, very optimistic, so probably not. Because next turn we know that we are drawing at least one block anyway. Alright, so it's probably just um, Streamline Zap. We are weakened, so this is not lethal. Otherwise, we have like 31 damage. But here is 4 damage, also, we have like 27. Right? Yeah, 27. Good number, 27, that is. No potion. Uh, if anything in here is Thunder, Thunder unacquitted. Mm. Pretty sad. Um, we have one upgrade in the act. Okay, two. But upgrading here does not matter because we have already gone through two, three elites. Thunder plays here. Thunder not super amazing in this fight unless it's sentries. Like Lagabulin, Thunder doesn't really perform. The Nob Thunder minus also doesn't really perform. But it does open up maybe a uh, beam cell pick. If we see something like Steam Barrier, Good Instinct, Dark Cycles in the shop, that's also that also goes well with the high cost. And I mean, Thunder has to be better than Skip right? in this plot. Okay, uh, if I don't pick Thunder, I also don't skip. Maybe I pick on Power Driver. Probably not though. But uh, if possible, I would like to see a block card here. It is fine, Thunder is okay. Because this is either Jawworm or... I guess Jawworm Thunder doesn't really perform. But uh, two lies and Thunder can work here. If I draw it. <laughs> Leave is pretty busted. Yeah, I don't know about busted. But uh, Leave is something that I would pick. Yeah, this one I pick. Unless you tell me it's overclocked because uh, overclock is zero cost to go with the uh, expensive cards, but uh, it makes no sense right? because it's zero cost, but uh, <laughs> it's zero cost card draw. First cycle card draw, and we don't even want to draw Sunder and turn one against sentries. Hollow Web doesn't actually work with Sunder, yeah, but uh, it does work with the Streamline. And of course, it's a good card against the Guardian. It does say hologram on it. We can click that. Amazing. Uh, oh, a little bit short. On the hologram, right? Yes. This was really interesting. Like my the the first thing I'm looking at is uh, yeah, I want more go. <laughs> I want more go. Yes. If, if I can, I want to buy like Beam Cell, Wood Instinct, Oath 1, Turbo, and or Recover, and the card remove, and maybe a potion. <laughs> but uh, we, we can only buy a few things. I cannot afford a Beam Cell, Wood Instinct, Oath 1, which is pretty unfortunate, because that would be quite strong. But I can still buy like Beam Cell, Wood Instinct, Turbo, for example. Or I can just buy um, Beam Cell, or Recover. So uh, I think I think we are never removing here. That is that much is clear. Ori Kalkum plays well against Nob. Um, plays well against Sentries. Especially when if we draw Thunder on the wrong turns, that Ori Kalkum is just straight up saving us six, and in the redraw is saving us like way more. Against Lagavulin, or Kalkum means that we are taking uh, like maybe 20, 28 damage in the fight. <laughs> Hello, Glint. Beam Cell is very strong in this spot. Purple with the hologram in the deck already definitely gets better. Not amazing against the Nob, but against the Nob we have Beam Cell and we have a Gambler's Rule. So um, that fight is definitely okay. It's not easy, but it's mitigated. I think we, I think we just ignore the Oracle outcome here and take um, Beam Cell Turbo Wood instead. It's a hilarious joke. Take snack one sec. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh yeah, being sensible would instinct. How many upgrades are we are, are we behind by already? One, two, potentially three. If we take these things at like four and uh, maybe five, yeah, okay, cool. We are on floor four, and we uh, if we buy all these things, we have like five damage, uh, five upgrades behind. Yeah, yeah, the defect life. And it's probably still stronger than just straight up buying the Oracle. Like we can do, we can do Oracle beam cell. But uh, Oracle, unless we have Frost, it is going to uh, stop working the moment we step into Act Two. I mean, not not stop working us in it never plays. But uh, if we let the Oracle Calcum play in Act 2, we are bleeding like crazy. Is basically what I mean. And it doesn't even doesn't even work that well in the Guardian fight. Hallway is fine. It's fine. In in hallway in Act 1 hallways is fine. Potion remove? No, no, no. We are not buying potion and we are not removing here. We are buying cuts. I mean, after okay, no, no, no. After buying three cards, we cannot buy a potion, and uh, although we don't even need to, like potion chance right now is fifty percent, and we are going into one more fight. I think I just buy three cards, <laughs> and uh, guess what? Buying these three cards opens up Op One at the end of this act. Unfortunate because Op One is right here, but we cannot afford it. But yeah, we can we can buy these three cards. It's a more versus Op One, yes. Beam cell, yeah, beam cell is the best thing in this shop, like, of course. So we take that. But after that, I think Turbo Wood Instinct, like, outperforms the Oracle Calcum, and of course, it outperforms the Remove Potion. <laughs> Having Turbo E now, that is already insurance next to for um, 3 energy. So we can click mm, P box, we, uh, here mid gets stronger, and. Yeah, like Absolep, uh, whatever. So, do I dual cast or do I uh, hologram the Zap here? Living hologram in the redraw is not that relevant. We're going to split next turn. If we want to split next turn, I think yeah, I think it's just dual cast. Okay, hologram the zap is three damage this turn, um, six damage and then nine damage compared to dual cast being sixteen, so it's minus seven. And we want to split next turn. Like oh, viable? Yeah, yeah, sure. Like hologram in the deck already, thunder in the deck already. Um, it might not too bad either. It's not amazing with Neko, but it's not too bad. And we are never upgrading Zap dual cast. So that is another thing that uh like fine with Neko. Even if we just added like three three cards that cost zero. Oh yeah, dual cast in here deals 19, 19, and 22. 22, so we need to deal 13 damage next turn. Hopefully we can. If we cannot, that would be uh very bad. Because then potentially this potion is forced. The turbo. I look at that. Yeah, the turbo. I played immediately. Now here's a cut the size block. Uh we have beam cell already. Uh, we are very much in upgrade depth, so that also speaks against the Bullseye. And leap, picking, adding the leap to our deck yeah, uh, also means that we don't really get like completely wrecked by Lago Wood. But right now, right now, our damage against the... Uh, okay, it's not always fine against the knob. But we have the game that's rule to mitigate. Against sentries, the thunder in the deck with the hologram and... Yeah, it's my good instinct, like all good cards against sentries. But lack of bleed is a big problem. Yeah, lack of bleed being a big problem, the Guardian being the boss with no frost in our deck, and we are insanely behind upgrades already. Just tells me that I pick leap over Buzai here. So let's do that. Uh, we can also do Tempest Turbo, but yeah, let's not do that. So 
uh, p9 but uh, whatever we don't really need to kill one in third uh or a couple will be good here this fight we can absolutely just use revenge potion we get full value of our regen potion and game the tool is better for uh, potential not fight here Sentry is being here already probably tells me i'm not upgrading thunder oh so, fine i can't i can't can, because sentries pretty much can still be here yeah but uh, we finish this fight first and then we see where we go this is 27.39 Are we playing with Super A mod or not? If we are playing with Super A mod, we should hit this guy If not, we should hit this guy Give me there and neutralize, yes Artifact shield, then we can just kill Beetle Um, at mostly ways like 2 damage, but 33% 30, of the time we prevent 3 daisies. And this guy will need to go into the second deck cycle, so uh, I probably try for the potential high roll. Easy. Ask whether the super aim mod is active. Uh, the answer is yes. Okay, here we can do defense streamline so that hologram um, can pull back something next turn. Or we can play uh, double defense zap, which also deals uh, quite a lot of damage. But. Um, uh, yeah, we basically have no damage in our deck for the next two turns. If we draw hologram next turn. And then do like streamline defend here. No, next turn most likely we have full block. Like even if it's just a leap. Like we do hologram streamline into leap is already full block. Otherwise a good instinct defend is also good enough. The turn afterwards we still have full block. So if we play streamline here it's on this guy. Which I probably want to do, yes. Deep save, uh, free HP. was very optimistic by the way the, the line we just took but doesn't matter because it works if it works it doesn't matter okay thunder this turn easy oh this fight was actually like insanely good <laughs> this fight was actually like insanely good or uh, draw order wise i mean it could have been better uh, a little bit better but it's uh, it was as good as it gets in the second cycle, that is. So, uh, and yeah, there's smooth stone right here for our good instinct instead of the Oracle. And uh, yeah, of course, we also have added like three block cards. This one's fine. Oh, the second hologram in our run. Um, another card that eventually needs to be upgraded. Not right now, though. But this adding this order does mean that we can get value out of Act 2 um, by. Yeah, just going to fire us instead of uh, fighting elites if we cannot face elites. And of course, the second hologram makes potential of one after this act stronger, potential Sneko after this act also stronger. Uh, are we scared? No. Yeah, okay. We two potions, and now we do get to upgrade our beam cell. Hopefully, not. By compensating when no hologram runs, no, 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 like hold that uh, after we get through the knob, <laughs> not before. Because in the when when the first hologram was added, yeah, I'm saying that I'm not too scared of the knob because we have a shock and uh, whatever potions. But here yeah, you look uh, at what we add afterwards, like beam cell is good against the knob, and then uh, skill, skill, skill. Okay, turbo we only play if uh, it actually gives damage and it can. But yeah, gameless bro. Yes, we can trust gameless bro. 50 
save an HP as well. And after this, the this elite should be if, if this is not an Drexus, this fight should not deal that much damage. And afterwards, we have another fire and advance always optional. Sure. And I think I don't know. Is the first is the first upgrade really on Beams yeah? or is it uh, on like Thunder to prepare for the Sentry's rematch? Beam Cell upgrade would play the best against the next elite. <laughs> Hello, Captain Oblivious. Thank you for the good luck. Like Lagomolin and North, uh, both of them, Beam Cell upgrade is better than Thunder upgrade. Thunder upgrade is good. Uh, it's not bad against the North, and it's good against the Sentry's rematch. Beam Cell upgrade is. I wouldn't say worthless against Sentries, because we do have two holograms now. I guess, I guess with the second hologram, the beam set upgrade just got a little bit better even against centuries. So it's fine. I am very willing to use power potion in this fight. Um, what is the potion chance? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, still 50. Actually, no, no, we dropped 3 potions, so uh, 30. And we, we use the regen already. 30% but uh, okay. Power potion against sentries is quite good. Power potion against knock uh, is not amazing. It There are two very big hits but uh, only two. Like the buffer on turn 3 and the echo form before that. I guess it doesn't really line up. If we use it on turn 1, the buffer, then we need to block fully block turn 2 somehow. Which is doable with the smooth stone. But not always. And otherwise, echo form, if we don't open early, is useless. In that fight. I guess against the north, the power potion is not that strong. Against the sentry is very good though. It can give us um, like he any halo wood, electro, uh, echo form, buffer is blocked for 10. Yeah, like many, many, many hits in the Sentry's fight, but also many hits in the Lagavulin fight. And the knob is a bigger threat, so we do have the, this thing that we need to preserve against the knob. So if we use the potion, here's the power potion. Uh, do we need the potion? Mm, probably, yes. Honestly, now I think we are fine blocking this guy, yeah? but our, <laughs> our damage actually is a slight problem. Our damage is actually a slight problem, so maybe this thing can give us something. Hello World uh, usually owns this guy for us. Hopefully it does. Oh, amazing hand. Would be good when he actually that type. Oh god. Now oh, that is not very nice. That we drew literally every single block in our deck or in uh, the two turns that he uh, doesn't attack. And next one, this is our head when they are facing 20 damage. But uh, yeah, what, what can we do? Like, there's nothing else to actually do here. I do think I spend the hologram immediately for um, the beam cell. Next one, if we, if we cannot block at all, then uh, it's all physical damage anyway. Okay, minus 20. Very cool. Minus 20 to Lagavulin on turn 1 with this deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Very cool. But what can you do? We are not using this uh, potion this turn. Again, the norm, this thing potentially can be worth more than 20. And block and fully block this hit, so we take another four. We cannot kill, right? Yeah, we cannot kill. It is only 22, 31, 31, 47. So, uh, slightly short. I 
At least I got a potion back. So potion change minus 20. Uh, real Halo Wood. Uh, not too interested. Only performs against Sentry. Doesn't really perform against Nock. It's okay against the Guardian, but this deck is already pretty decent against the Guardian. Vision... At the moment, does not play at all. I mean, uh, very barely. But it is basically killing the orb to cycle itself. <laughs> at the moment, the, the only orb we have is the Lightning Orb. Uh, probably also never gets upgraded. Not that it matters too much. The upgrade is only uh, plus 8 damage random at the moment. Which is fine, but it's not mm, super amazing. And uh, we are very geared up. Optimistic? No, no. We are we are extremely geared up to pick a reprogram in this board. Like, you, you, do you see like, how good a reprogram would be in this deck? <laughs> at the moment. So, like, what do, what do we actually want with the fusion? I mean, technically speaking, the reprogram makes the fusion better, not worse. But uh, that is only if we don't up, if we never upgrade it, which is true. And I don't really have a hard time thinking like when this thing actually plays. Like it kills the orb and it uh, cycle itself. So like, why why is it a good card? It's only decent if we play the zap before. But right now, honestly, the Zap is still uh, not a bad card in the upcoming Elite fight. So immediately in the, the fight after this, it doesn't even play. Yeah, no way, right? No way. And uh, Fission also not good with potential Snack Core, yeah? We are very still very open to Snack Core with Double Hologram and the Thunder. But basically, this card doesn't play against Norm, it doesn't play against Sentry, it doesn't play against the Guardian. So, why do we want this card now, like? Just because it's yellow. I need chess. Um, cool. Across Purple Fire Spirit. Yeah, Spirit. We can. Yeah, toss a strike. I would love to toss a strike. Tiny chest does mean that early act 2 we get a small guarantee power boost instead of potentially rolling uh, like forgotten outer but we can also not roll uh, ritual dagger it's, it's okay though. it's okay don't have to keep this when we know that we, we are probably just going to at least two question marks here Something different needs to happen for us to go to this shop, but uh, ideally I don't want to go here. Um, Gambler's Brew. Seems fine. You can also pass this turn, but uh, I do think I want to Gambler's Brew right now. We cannot take two hits. The question is like how many because mm, Turbo is a card I want to have in my hand if I draw into Thunder, Streamline or Hologram. And there are four of them here. If I draw into nothing, I want the Zap. So I think we toss a strike. If that is the case, then yeah, it's probably gambling for three. And the gambling happened this turn, yeah, because this turn is a turn um, where it's the easiest to play the holograms. Next turn, holograms are already uh, costing us HP. That is pretty cringe. Could be worse. But could be way better. Okay, at least we draw himself this turn. So, hologram turbos plus 1 energy, so we can have 4 energy. We cannot do Thunder Streamline. So just do strike hologram strike then. Strike hologram strike next turn if we fail to draw the thunder. Um then what? Like we deal 18 damage here. 18, 21, 24, so it's 35. 
35 yeah yeah flex spot next on is lethal if we fail to draw thunder if we draw thunder that's already 36 and we are dealing uh, 24 this turn so that is lethal we are barely there without the flex spot if we draw thunder next turn so um to play i mean hologram is actually block positive this turn but basically it means that we cannot play two blocks we need to do a strike hologram strike freaking cool so we have one off here yeah, if we don't potion really now we, we are one damage off. Uh, there's no luck. Like, there's no way we can create energy out of uh, nowhere. So we probably also flex spot. I mean, okay, if we don't flex spot, we just die here. Yeah, so of course we flex spot. Double check. 22, 9, yeah. Uh, double fail. Hello DJ Ole, thank you for the good luck. Could have been slightly luckier here, but of course we luck out with the century is fine, so I cannot complain too much. We we low rolls lack of lean fight pretty hard though. Like this deck taking 24 to lack of lean was uh, an incredible low roll with the Halo World on turn one as well. And this fight needing to use two potions is also a pretty big low roll. But uh, whatever, doesn't matter too much. I think Warpain is good, Warpain is good. Warpain can be pretty big here. Like hologram upgrades are good. If uh, turbo upgrade is good. Zap dual, dual cast upgrades are actually fine. Unless we see Sneko, then they are not that fine. Defense upgrade are uh, okay, bad, but uh, whatever. If they hit defense, then so be it. Um, a cross off right here makes the Guardian a lot um, easier. Like, do, do we need the Guardian to be easier? Even even if you're into reprogram, it doesn't really mean uh, we cannot pick up um, Kuhedid or something, right? But in this one, I probably even want to pick up Coast now. If we pick the Kuhedid, it makes the Warpain stronger. But um, Coast Nap makes the... Uh, it makes us like, uh, more likely to actually split the Guardian in turn 2. Blocking the small hits from Guardian is not going to be a huge problem, yeah? But actually splitting him on turn 2 now that we have no potion is uh, another issue. Because I do not want to rest before the Guardian is possible. So the Coast Nap can help with that. The Coated, however, of course, is easier to get Frost Online in that fight. And later on in the run is a better card. But how much later are we talking here? Because immediately into early Act 2, the Coast Nap... Mm, even into all the Act 2 Elites, the, the co is still outperforming the, uh, the Co-Headed. And the Co-Headed is also not getting attack rate for a while. Unless it hits the... we, we hit the thing with the Warpaint. It's fine. Yeah, 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 sure thing, man. You do your thing, Warpaint. Good for you. Uh, do I want to do salty bath here? Do, do I really want to do salty bath here? Because like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, probably even 6. Out of uh, 11. Okay, I don't. I don't want to do salty bath. Lose hologram. Now ran with... Uh, my, my man ran with. I mean 71 gold is more than... More than I'm, I'm comfortable to pay for. Yeah, yeah, it's still worth. Like, absolutely, it's still worth. But uh, my man red with. Could have asked for. I mean, I don't know. Like, what, what could he ask for that is. Uh, I guess he can ask for the deep. It's final. Like, sure, we can give him a hologram. I have a pillow for us. Uh, but yeah, sure. Like, uh, Shrine Garbage or... 20% of the time is a shop. Like, the shop is not that terrible. And... The, the fight we want to get anyway. Unless you, you tell me you want to go here and take two fight. Now, if we go to two question marks instead though, we get Tiny Chest first question mark back to... 
So the, the power boost comes like a little bit earlier. Which is actually kind of nice. Okay, that's Regal Pillow. All the way back. No, 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 no. We might be using Regal Pillow like right here. <laughs> I know we are very behind upgrades, but if we see no potions, then we uh, cannot guarantee a split on the Guardian. And then, of course, we are resting. And now, uh, yeah. You know what? Renwin may take away one upgrade from us. But he also took away a card that needs an upgrade. <laughs> so our upgrade deck is now uh, minus one. Okay, that is not actually uh, <laughs> a simple good thing, but uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. So basically, we feel less bad about resting. And we even get uh, 15 HP extra. Oh. Okay, I hope I don't die here. Not, not dying here would be good, uh, I can tell you that. We can kill the Sneaky right away, but that does mean that we are weak. And the uh, Beam has not put on the Wizard. Is that a problem? And then, okay, we can play whole hand. So we, we just play our whole hand. He's full block already, yeah. So we can choose, like... We can choose exactly where these things go. Now, this is uh, 13 damage, so the Fat Remlin dies turn 1. If we put Beam Shell on Strike there. But we are still weakened, and turn 2, this thing is hitting us for 10. Putting Beam Shell on Wizard and the Strike on the Sneaky means that we do run out of the Vulnerable when we also stop being weakened. That also makes no sense. Lightning kills Fat for sure. Yeah, Lightning can also kill Fat. It's true. He does die to, to Toss, but uh, we can also hit the Lightning. So the only bad outcome here is that Lightning actually hits the um, Mad Remedy. If it hits Sneaky or the Wizard, that's already not too bad. And of course, if it hits fast, then it's very good. I'm just thinking whether the situation is dire enough for us to do Beam Cell Strike on the Wizard. But probably not, because Thunder alone is already killing this, even when we are weakened. And even if we have to face like one hit from Wizard, we don't really die uh, from 26. Sure, we can do we can do wind cell strike on the fed. Oh, easy. Okay, we, we can even sunder this thing right away, but uh, I do think we spend sunder here now. Yeah, I do think we spend sunder here because then afterwards we still have 12 damage on this with the uh, zap, so streamline next turn draw is already killing. Or oh, am I talking myself into nonsense here? I, I have a feeling I'm talking myself into freaking nonsense. That I don't kill the wizard this turn. Because, uh, okay, if I, if I Sunder here, yeah, I save 10 immediately. But, um, what happens next turn? I put in total 12 damage here and 2 lightning off. So expected value, we put another lightning here. So it's actually 15. So he goes to 11. Now 11. Next turn, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 bricks. And if we draw one strike, we need to draw the second strike. So we need to draw either Streamline or two strikes. To guarantee a kill on the wizard. That is... Yeah, we, we are not taking that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, indeed. I am talking myself into nonsense. We kill the wizard immediately. But uh, killing the wizard immediately doesn't mean that we need to kill him with... Uh, kill him uh, this turn. Like, we can, do, we can do something like this. Like, turbo here, yeah? Into Cold Snap Strike this guy, into Thunder the Wizard. Or oh, is there, there a cleaner way? Like, let's say I Thunder this, into killing this, into Zap here. So Zap deals 6 damage, let's another 6. And it's 12. So he's at 14. 14 means that Double Strike does not kill, yeah. But uh, Streamline alone still kills. And Dual Cast is 13, so Dual Cast kills, Streamline kills. So we need to miss both of these. And we have a frost up. So uh, if we fail to kill and we draw into three block cards, for example, we can take like seven. Yeah, that is just not good. Like we we just kill the sneaky, take three damage this turn, and move on. Take minimum three. No, no, we can take zero this turn. Like you see the line. Right? If we want to choose to take zero, we thunder here. 
and uh, we double hit this guy, kill him into the zap. But uh, yeah, no, I will take three before I do that. So let's take the three. So turbo here, cold snap strike into thunder the wizard. No wizard, yes. I, of course I would. Ah, this is already lethal. Second beam cell, no need. Second streamline, no need. Uh, quite it is still fine. Not amazing, not terrible. Works a little bit with turbo. Not amazing if you see snack go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 4 potions, so exactly 40%. Not that it matters too much, it only matters if this is like Mushroom or Dead Adventurer. Uh, it's going to be good in early actual. It's definitely positive for the Guardian fight, so... Is it? Like, it might stop us from sitting him on turn 2, but we are probably also resting. Like, we upgrade Thunder, and then we rest. Yeah, having, having two Frost Guardians in the deck is also not too bad. Like, Reprogram is very much on the table. Okay, less on the table now that we lost a Hologram. But uh, it still works with the, the everything else in the deck, yeah. But it's not a Reprogram being open doesn't mean that we cannot pick uh, Focus. I'll go here. Another AT go can buy Relic. Yeah, in the, in the next act. Exactly, you you got it correct. In the next act, like why would you go to the shop here when there's a freaking tiny chest working and uh, the early actual shop is like way better than whatever crap this is? There's like, no reason to go here unless you say that we die in this node. I sure hope we don't die in this node. But yeah, of course we upgrade first in case this is a healing event by cleric. Uh, I guess cleric will take a remove and remove into resting here for example. But banana right here, we just take the heal and we upgrade again. Upgrade the thunder in case we run into question mark by in case we run into uh, triple pass room. And it's just the uh, best upgrade into act 2 anyway, out of this. Yeah, 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 would even. But yeah, we rest. I uh, if we successfully spear in turn two, yeah, we are taking probably taking zero damage in the fight. Maybe uh, maybe slightly more than zero, but not as much as twenty three. But the danger in the fight is just that we completely fail to split turn two, which can easily happen. So we rest. Pretty unfortunate because I would like to upgrade this. I would like to upgrade this. I would like to upgrade this. And I would like to upgrade this. But it's fine. Like we play into the pillow. At worst, um, that gave us okay. Resting on thirty six is plus nine HP for Act Two, yeah, which is not that terrible. Could be worse. Okay, where the streamline seems at the line, and uh, yeah, pretty decent chance we miss the split next one. And yes, I will play streamline before the cold snap to make the hologram slightly better. Guardian anyway? Yeah, yeah, it's Guardian anyway. You can see right here like, how well we are doing against the Guardian. Like, very well, actually. <laughs> because we do split him this turn. This fight is free. Yeah, yeah, if we don't take this hit. If we do not take this hit, this fight is free. And uh, apparently we don't. But there's a very, very decent chance that we do. If we both attack the beam cell, we already take the hit. But yeah, here, here we are just split him. Like, beam cell, hologram, the streamline, strike is already splitting. That is also splitting. Uh, I guess that is slightly better than, than strike in this board. Okay, maybe take a little bit of damage in the next turn. Okay, this, this can hurt a little bit, but uh, hopefully it doesn't. Okay, taking seven. 
I think we should have wielded the up here. Yeah, yeah, I also think that I don't want to die next one. So you can think what I want, I can think what I want. So uh, we, we can both respect each other's opinion. I mean, I can also play the whole game with hindsight. Like, uh, if you want to do that, I can also do that. But yeah, I don't do that. It's hard to resist? No, no. If there's no chance to die here, I will never rest. Like, regal pillow or not. If there's no chance to die here, I will never rest. Like, regal pillow or not? Like, what do you think this thing gives us? Do you really want to trade the 9 HP for an upgrade? When the upgrade can easily save 9 HP into Act 2. And if we use the regal pillow in Act 2, yeah, it's already way better than using it right now. Have a chance to die here? Yeah, of course. Like, of course, if I rest, it means I think that there's a chance to die here. Uh, now there's probably no chance, but uh, the danger phase was uh, not this turn. Judgment? No, no, there's no... It's nothing complicated. Like, I completely tell you what the draw order would be that we die in this fight. <laughs> and the draw order is very possible. And it's not, it's not rocket science, like, it's not difficult to see. I tell you right away like what the raw order would be that we die in this fight. Of course it did not happen, so uh, does that mean the resting is wrong? Or do you want to take a chance to die here to get on upgrade when there's a regal pillow? Turn 2 doesn't split, scan, yeah, 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 it's just that. Like, turn 2 doesn't split, we are, we are dead on the spot. It's like super simple. I think I want to get two frost damage. There's no problem in here with frost scale and beam cell. This is not enough damage, fortunately. So maybe we take 14 this time. Oh, the not splitting is slow. Yeah, do you want to take a low chance to die? I, I will tell you, yeah? Okay, this is something that we pull, people miss a lot. Okay, let's say there's a decision in the run that gives a, give you a 10% chance to die. If you take that chance 10 times in the run, how high is your chance to actually die in the run? <laughs> yeah, this, this is something people don't really get. Like, they roll one time 10% unlucky and they say that, yeah, yeah, this thing is like absolute bullshit. But if you take this chance all the time, it uh, it will happen. I can I can do the math right now. It's like nine out of ten to the power of nine. So like, how high is that? Nine of ten to the power of uh, to the power of ten. So like zero point nine. Right, this calculator is stupid. Yeah, yeah zero point nine to the power of ten. is uh, 34 percent so if you take the 10 percent chance to die 10 times in a row uh you have a two roughly a two out of three chance to die in the run yeah, roughly that yeah 65 percent so like uh, do, do you really want to how many times do you want to take that kind of decision in the run of the spire <laughs> like really And yeah, we take another 14. I mean, it would actually be close, even if we upgraded. Like, we uh, took 7 in the second cycle, and we, now we take 14. So we took a total of 21. We would still be alive. And of course, with the hologram upgraded, uh, we save a little bit of HP too. <laughs> so it needs to die fast, yeah, yeah. On the other hand, took a chance one, then you live, chance to live next time is 90% again. Yeah, yeah, but that is not how it works. That is not how it works, man. Like, uh, yeah, sure, you can you can say that to a gambling epic because I am not one. Wait a second, like, please do not tell me. Okay, okay, I did not actually account for this case, but uh, 
Okay, okay. If, if we take a hit here, we don't die, yeah? But there's actually a chance that we take a hit here. Which is, uh, pretty scary. Six horses. My mate goes all in poker hand one percent chance to win and get the straight. No, no, no. Like depending on how much uh, money the guy has to spend. If he has infinite money, then playing around the average is of course uh, correct. Yeah, the problem is that you don't really have infinite money. Just like in here, you don't really have uh, infinite uh, infinite time, infinite life. That is. And that is, I don't even know, yeah, because uh, what, what I'm saying is that the uh, line that has a 10% chance to die, like, this early on in the run, is not even giving you a bonus, like, average-wise. If, if taking the risk right here, like, let's say uh, we have a 10% chance to die in this fight, but uh, the upgrade is early enough that it boosts the uh, percentage, like, that, that, uh, yeah, that, that drowns out this 10% chance to die later on in the run, then of course it's good. Yeah, but in, in my opinion, that is not so. At least not in this case. But I mean, we'll see. Like, of course, I would uh, appreciate to have a hologram plus in my deck right now. It's also, like, character dependent. On the effect, I think... Or on Sidon, I know that it's not worth it. On Iron Card, I know it is worth it. On Watcher, it's not worth it. On the effect, I don't know yet. But yeah, he has a sick and he has a call search. Um, I mean, sick that say sick on him. I would love a freaking 0 4 one. I will see if the uh, upgrade will take it over resting. No, in night one, I do not want to die ever die before I see the, the boss, uh, unless I'm playing iron chat sometimes. I will say, yeah, uh, if I'm playing silent, I will rest every single time here. And you, you, if you watch me play enough silent, you already know that I would rest here. But on the fact, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure like, how impactful this thing is yet, and how how strong the boss rewards are on average. But I wouldn't say that it's actually worth it. Sometimes the next one, right? No, no. Like we are talking about a scenario where there is a chance to die. Uh, we, we are not talking about like uh, a deck that never dies because uh, if, it's, if the deck never dies then why the hell would you dress? It just makes no sense. Hello, Angie. But yeah, the snake pool, I, I guess the snake pool plan is like out the window now where that we uh, lost one hologram and also pick up um, more cards that are not exactly super good with snake pool. So the sick being get bad with snake pool, not exactly a huge problem. If we are on 3 energy, um, and yeah, sick with Thunder is just good. We just take. Of course, picking the courses opens up uh, Bias Cock as the end game scaling like, very easily because we do have um, some frost already. In the deck, and never dies when you upgrade because it never dies in the deck one. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's for sure. Uh, battery is fine, I guess. Not mm, that amazing because we we did pick up some frost. <laughs> Insulter, yeah, yeah, Insulter. Yeah, the Insulter, exactly what we need here. Uh, but yeah, like battery is fine. Even even if we do evoke the plasma. How strong are we in longer fights? Because in, in short fights, yeah, the battery is just super good. Like, it gives energy for free until we evoke the thing, which gives us one turn of, like, two burst energy, which is, like, super good. Um, so how, how are we in long fights? I mean, we have Streamline, but that is all we have. Not that amazing. So, what, what fights are long? What fights are long, um... In, in Act 2 here, in this spot. Family leader. Uh. 
Well, that part is not going to be fun. It is always very to dinner, man. Like, uh... Slippers, slippers probably kill you more often on the effect, but uh, Webly Leader is like consistently bad. <laughs> plus, plus, no, no, I'm talking about the, the fights that are long enough for us to evoke the plasma and the fight is still not over. Chosen is an annoying fight, but uh, I don't think it lasts that long. Yeah, slippers, we have Sunder 6, so it doesn't last that long. Boo, Stabbing, we have the Thorns. Oh. Yeah, just a leader. But uh, it's not like the, the final tone or whatever is also stronger than leader, so it's probably still the battery every time. Wait, 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 wait. I, I say battery every time and I almost flick the final stone out of reflex. That was dangerous. Okay, so we can go to a shop. Wait, what the hell is this? If we want to go to a shop, we cannot use our tiny chest, so that's very cool. Uh, I guess we can go to this shop. Yeah, 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 this shop is still fine. This shop is good. Like, we get tiny chest value here. Um, potentially one upgrade here into this thing here. Into elite, into elite, into elite. Like, three late elites. And first, second one is optional. If we steal a um, shop like here or here, then we can still yeah, go to this fire and send the shop. Or if we are feeling spicy, we can go for the burning elite, but probably not happening. One question mark is going to be a shop? No. The first question mark is always a chest. So, um... Uh, actually, I don't know. I don't I don't actually know. So, um... If the tiny chest props, that's the chance for a fight or a shop uh, goes up. Like, like, if this thing props. So like, if this thing props right here, like, does this have a 20% chance for it to be a fight? I actually don't know that. Also, doesn't matter too much. Yeah, yeah, info mod would be good here. Because info mod would actually tell me the percentage, like, when, uh, I... <laughs> when, uh, after I step in here. But yeah, we, uh, start here. Check the tiny chest. And, uh, then continue. And we, we decide our path again um, here. Thirty six, thirty three. So if I do not draw, I have four energy still though, so I can do strike thunder. So streamline this guy still good, and lightning can hit him anyway. Minus 5 still, but could be worse. Hologram streamline 15. And it just room counts at regular chests as far as no. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it does increase the chance of. Um, yeah, it does invent the, the chains of the other things. Uh, okay, how optimistic am I? Like, the optimistic lines like doing a uh, cold snap strike here. And I think that I guess that it's just better. Because the uh, 50% of the time, if this guy attacks and this guy doesn't, then I would sunder this guy. So getting both in sunder range is just better anyway. And this way, we also don't waste damage. It both attack. Interesting. By interesting, I mean uh, pretty bad because now we are taking another six. Um, unless I sick for hologram. If I sick for hologram, does that work? It works, right? Like beam cell, that is twenty six. Okay, I can start with that. I can start with that to know what I sick for. Because if the lightning hits here is perfect, then I just seek for hologram, uh, beam cell, hologram, the streamline kill this guy. 
Okay, fine. Well, I guess we seek for thunder and take a little bit more damage then. Otherwise, I'm relying on a 50-50 if this thing hits. Yeah, but yeah, we roll a 25% chance here. Now, the optimistic line is seeking for cool headed, but uh, that is probably not a very good idea. So, let's just seek for thunder and uh, be done with this. Take another 6, which is pretty nasty. In first body, Steam Barrier Plus, uh, Compound Driver with the battery. Uh, yeah, I uh, would like to, to think that one of the cards says draw on it. And uh, draw is quite good. Now, now that they draw two and turn one, uh, it's just good. Of course, these are also like quite strong. These are also quite strong, but, but uh, this is just way better with the battery. Okay, so we did get the question mark fight. Um, turbo doesn't really have a turn that is better than this one, right? So we can stick for the turbo. came back there's also a beam second beam cell plus which is actually quite tempting <laughs> but uh the the hologram card that say hologram on it so uh, we take the card that, that says hologram on it ocean chains 40 mm, yeah, yeah more more question marks we only go to we can activate tiny chest again here if we have to dodge elites we can also activate tiny chest again here if we have to dodge this one Fine. Okay, we have a ritual deck, we're now deck with beam cell. Uh, that's quite good. Let's not get the upgrade. Mm. <laughs> it is another cut that needs the upgrade. So how, how many how many upgrades are we behind on right now? Like one, two, three, four. Uh, honestly, 5 now. 6. Uh, potentially 7 with double hologram. Yeah, okay, cool. But yeah, uh, getting a fight here means that this is already advanced over, and this is also advanced over, so we, we have to be a little bit careful. But if we want to go to the shop, we are forced into at least 180 before we can get to safety. Oh god. Oh god. Now, I'm pretty sure our deck has more block than this. But uh, this thing will hurt. Well, minus 14, uh, could be worse. Could be way better, but could be worse. Doesn't matter the order here. We can kill right now because we don't want to because of Richard Echo in here. But uh, do we really not want to kill him now? Do, do we really not want to kill him now? If I just do Streamline against 3 buffs, the lightning doesn't give deal damage, so he goes to 23. 23 means that uh, next time if I draw one of the hologram and the Richard Echo. Can we, can we block next turn ever? Because this, uh, we also drew leap and defend plus, which is like a pretty big block cut, and no frost is in play yet. So next one hits us again for twenty four. Um, if we draw hologram and ritual dagger, how much damage is that? Is that twenty two? Yeah. We can vulnerable. So uh, beam cell is three, and then we can vulnerable. This is sixteen. 19 so no it's not even enough 
we need to draw like hologram compound rival ritual dragon maybe one other attack yeah please die it's strong it is another card we need to upgrade but it's strong like very because we, we have the battery already and we can just ignore uh, Coast Knuckle Headed, for example. Keep our Plasma forever. Reprogram Double Hologram. That's ever mean I go left from here. And just ignore the shop altogether. And get one, two, three upgrades into a rest. I mean, I'm, I'm picking it. Like, of course I'm picking it. I'm just thinking where I go from here. Wait, and the other two cards? No, no, this is fine. Like, uh, auto chills are completely fine here. And also, even even fusion with the compound driver in the deck uh, is not so bad. And I'm just thinking where I go from here, because now there's actually like, a problem. Okay, how many how many upgrades? Um, because if you want to go into the heavy elite path here, yeah, then I probably need to rest here over upgrading anything. So we get uh, one upgrade and potentially two upgrades by this point, depending on what we see in the shop. Of course, we spend three hundred gold in the shop, so hopefully we get stronger. But. Um, Two upgrades, what would they be? Ritual deck upgrade doesn't happen until here. So maybe it doesn't happen at all. Then we can upgrade. Um, before I have holograms upgraded, I don't actually care about too much about this. So first upgrade is on hologram, second upgrade is Probably on the reprogram, so that we, we have something against the automaton. Rest once, upgrade twice. Um, two to three elites. The annoying thing is that I need to decide that right now. Because uh, if I rest here, I'm already committed to going this way. But if I'm going left, I'm upgrading. If I'm going left, we are getting tiny chest value here, but um, and I can upgrade my ritual dagger immediately, so that's at least like two fights here plus ten damage, plus four damage with the, the dagger upgrade, and upgrade hologram one upgrade the reprogram, maybe resting here depending on what we see in these notes, and then we have a huge shop in Act Three, but passing is forced, so there might not even be a shop for us to go to. We probably go right side in this spot, and if that is so, I'm resting, which is uh, pretty unfortunate because we, we are so freaking behind upgrades. But I don't know. We can see apotheosis here. <laughs> Maybe we see apotheosis here, and then and, and, uh, we solve our problems like, almost immediately. Weak potion probably not as strong as what we currently have. Our uh, entire damage is physical. And we, we need the uh, damage to kill these things. Sixty-nine, yeah, nice HP. Take for uh, streamline, I guess. And we just do streamline hollow streamline like, immediately. Two kills. Not enough damage, but uh, it's fine. Doesn't matter too much. It's possible to heal two turns in a row. If not, she attacks next turn. Potentially, or she buffs. 
Which honestly doesn't matter that much, but... Actually, no, no, it doesn't even force her to, to uh, heal. This will force her to heal. But she's actually buffered. But we don't want to kill you. We want to get the dagger upwards. The program makes it, I guess, easier to get dagger upwards so she can play. No potion, so one, two, three, four, five, two potion. Um, forty. This card does say scheme on it. If you click the scheme, which I will, um, turbo is also another card I need to upgrade. <laughs> we are we are so freaking deep with this upgrade hold, man. <laughs> but whatever. Of course, we click the scheme. Okay, that is not apotheosis. It's apotheosis if we try hard enough, but it's not. Uh, there's a frozen eye, there's a compound driver, there's a card remove. And now that I have a reprogram in my deck, uh, this thing can go. If we have no more use for this app. I... With this deck. Have I taken upgrade on the defect sample? In the practice runs, I think I have taken it like maybe twice. In the sample, I don't remember if I have, but uh, I think upgrade O for defect is quite strong. Also, is stronger than Vaz Ryan, uh, so we do. Uh, and remove is stronger than FDL, at least I think so. So we can do just do Compound Driver, Frozen Eye, remove. Unless you tell me FTL is stronger than Compound Driver, but uh, no chance. We, we, with this, there's no way. And yeah, we remove the Zap. Uh, hopefully, this Elite uh, doesn't completely wreck us, so that we can actually go here. This elite wrecking us is not as much of a problem because uh, we do have safety and this elite is avoidable. But I sure hope that we don't actually take an insane amount of damage here. Our class is fine. I don't even know, like, it is a turbo of a subgrade now. No way, right? We need the reprogram upgrade before the automaton, and if reprogram is upgraded, uh, we also need the hologram upgrade. The upgrade is huge, and after that, they're sick. So at the moment, even if we completely ignore the deck upgrade, yeah, which is also a huge one, uh, we are looking at like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cards that are must upgrade at the moment. Where, where do we find this upgrade? And how are we in this fight? I mean, we have frozen eyes, so we can we can know uh, how our, how how we are. Fortune chance forty percent. I'm willing to use um, strength pot here if I need to. This is one of the the fights that lasts longer. Uh, this one we cannot draw yet. So this is our hand. Next turn, this is our hand with four energy. If we play cold snap this turn. Uh, we can play Cold Snap Streamline, Leap, Take, 1. Of course, it's 1 wound, but it gets the Frost in play. So that next turn, I can do Cool Headed into Dual Cast. So I can Dual Cast the Plasma right away because of turn 3, we have the Turbo. Or we have Turbo on turn 2 for the huge turn. So next turn, we draw these 5. And energy-wise, we actually have um, 8. So 1, 2, 3 already, we have 5 more. And this draws 3, yeah. So we do draw onto the sick and the skip. So with the skip, we can draw until here. So we actually have 10 energy. So yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 more. And this compound driver will draw 2. I mean, no, no, it still draws 3 because we don't need to do a cast yet. So yeah, we draw until here, draw until here, draw until here. Compound driver draw until... Wait, wait. 1, 3, 
skimmed until here. So one, two, three, four. And then we can still turbo into the No 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 uh, yeah 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 we need to go power first and then do pass immediately because like the code that already evokes the, the thing Okay so this compound driver is only draw two unless we seek for it which uh, never happens So here yeah draw three and then draw one and then draw three again and then draw two and then we can still seek for something Uh, energy wise, we have 10. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6 for, let's say, reprogram. So, there's like 6, and then 9, and then 10. It's not too bad. It's really strong worth it. <laughs> yeah, this is worth it. Hitting freaking two defense is like uh. Okay, I guess I guess they, they did not hit like, Zap and Dual Cast, which is uh in hindsight not too bad, but uh, it could have been uh, so much better. Okay, how much damage are we dealing in that case? He takes um, six damage from Thorns this turn, three damage from Hourglass, um, three damage from Lightning. So like six from Thorn, three from Lightning. So that's nine damage. 9 damage plus another 21. 9 plus another 21 is 30. 30 next turn. Uh, wait, wait, wait. 9 here, 21, yeah, yeah, 30. 30 next on our grass is 3. Lightning is 3 again. Or oh, lightning is 2, but uh, whatever. So 30 this turn, 33. 33 plus 1 is 42. 42 42 plus lightning uh, let's say it's still 3 then uh, it's 45 45 is 124 124 and we only need to play one compound driver before we get to beam cell so 124 uh, 117 117, 117, 113, 113, um, 10, 113 with 10 is, uh, 13, 13 minus 48 is 55, 55, 55 if we just seek for 55 and then our glass comes again for another one so 55 our glass um... fifty five with with um our glass is 52 Unfortunately, the turn afterwards, we only have 3 energy, so I cannot do Hollow, Streamline, Hollow, Reach, or Decker, for example. Streamline costs 1. So I can actually play Reprogram unless I sick with next turn. That probably tells me that if I want to uh, Reach or Decker on this, I need Strength Potion right now. And I, I do want to Reach or Decker this fight. There's just not enough damage in here, unfortunately. If I seek for hologram... Doesn't change anything, right? Because one of the, the hologram needs to be spent on the ritual dagger anyway. So we just use our energy one turn earlier. So I can sneak in a, a strike, but this also consumes two energy. So it's also minus one strike. Okay, next one, 10 energy, yeah? 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Or we seek for reprogram and then here. So like 9, 10. Like we, we still need to block for 21. <laughs> it's not like we can completely ignore the thing. So it's probably just 9, 10 in here. 
Okay, so, so lightning still deals 3 damage. Draw 1, Compound Reverse does draw 3 until here. And then uh, Scheme draws until here, Compound Reverse draws until here. And then we can 6 something. If we don't do anything the turn after we draw this hand, which is, I guess, good. It is lethal on turn 3, right? If we um, ignore the ritual dagger. So do we do we ignore the ritual dagger or not? Like ritual dagger upgrade versus strength potion, potion chance being 40%. The next elite is right here, but there's also one question mark in between. Potion chance is still 40%, so yeah, I, I use strength potion to get the dagger upgrade. If it's even true. So is that even true? So, so now we calculate damage with the strength potion. Um, 20, 21. 21 is like 25. 25. And next time we are not sticking for the reprogram, yeah? Yeah, then next time we are not sticking for the reprogram. There's not a lot of damage in it. Like hologram the... All of the ritual dagger is already two energy, so we can only play a strike on turn three. Maybe still going <laughs> with a gap, yeah, yeah. Depending on how strong it is. Right now we have no sustain and we are going into a risky path, so uh, we actually need to play this fight properly. Uh, but, but yeah, like <laughs> you detract my thoughts, so now we, we have to calculate a little bit again. So strength potion in here, 21, 21 is 24. 24, 27, 27, uh, 33. 33 is at 133. Okay, I note this down. 133 after this turn? Uh, after turn 1. So the next turn, next turn we have Hourglass. Uh, 3 damage. We are not playing reprogram, yeah? So this is the, again 3 damage. 6 damage with 4, 9 damage, so it's 15. He can do single hit next turn. We'll talk about it later. If we are massively overkill, it doesn't matter, but there is a chance that he is single hits next turn, and we deal 6 less damage. So, um... Yeah, 133 after turn 1. Next turn, we have 3 from... Our last 3 from Lightning, 9 from Thoughts, which is 15 already. 15... This is 9, so it's 24. 24 plus 6 is 30. 30 and then uh, 51, so 81. 81 plus 13 is 94. 94 plus 12. 94 plus 12 is uh, 106. So 27 after turn 2. Okay, that is definitely enough um, with the ritual dagger turn 3. Turn 3 we, he's still vulnerable and we can just hologram for ritual dagger and to strike ritual dagger. Uh, so minus 6 damage from him single hitting on turn 2 will not matter if we use strength potion right here. Okay, so we do that. So, so let's just do that then. Right, strength potion, streamline, cold staff, leap, uh, and we dagger him by turn 3. Thirty-two. Oh yeah, math is already off by one uh, on our third one, but doesn't matter too much. So compound driver, um, cool headed, and then uh, dual cast. I mean, you can skip first; it doesn't make a difference. It yeah, doesn't really make a difference. Like, compound driver draw 3 doesn't actually matter here. We, we can actually make it draw 3. But it uh, doesn't actually do anything. Okay, yeah, yeah, this deals, deals even more damage, right? Because we actually evoke this lightning. So we, we are... Maybe that means I don't actually need this thing. Because I'm, I'm counting... 5 less damage. Ah, it's only 5 though, so, so if we, he rolls a single hit this turn, we are failing to kill. 
No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. We, without strength potion, we don't have enough. Without strength potion, we don't have enough. Without strength potion, we just don't have enough. Yeah, next turn we kill. Take another one, but uh, that's fine. Actually, no, we take zero. Thanks and brought. Injure? Uh, no potion. So potion change right now is 50, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes, 50. In barrier with the uh, reprogram with the. Um, with the um, smooth stone, okay. has a lot of draw and is very energy hungry. So zero cost block, not too bad. It's fine. And of course, uh, over one is open. Let's catch back. Act two, advance the tiny chest. Do we take this? I mean, shame is actually pretty bad. The shame is actually pretty bad for us. But uh, a relic is still a relic. We have a lot of draw, but of course a lot of draw means that we just activate the, the shame more often, yeah? Like, we, we, we don't really care too much about plus one cut in the deck, but we care about uh, the frail. Because right now we are blocking Automaton with Dexterity. Probably not. Probably not. Because in this, this is also a kind of deck that uh, gets way stronger, we get more removes. And if removes are strong, then uh, taking the curse is also worse than usual. So we probably don't take this. How oh, chance the relic is a turn dip? Uh, yeah. No. I don't know whether this event is weighted or not. If it's not weighted, then uh, maybe like I don't know, uh, two percent. But yeah, of course we we don't take that. So it's just a dip. So I can go here. We barely lost HP. Oh, Gremlin Leader. Definitely the more annoying fight. She attacking on her attacking on turn 1 is actually very good for us though. So let's start. Stick for Thunder. Stick for Thunder. Play um, Coended Compound Driver. Continue. Beam Cell exactly at the bottom of the deck is... Pretty spooky. But we, we do buy ourselves some time with her attacking on turn 1. And we can kill one of them right away. And uh, the other one also dies to like our glass and thorn. This is probably the more annoying fight for us. Like slavers we can deal with with one thunder and one attack potion. But at least he attacks on turn 1. Like her not attacking on turn 1 would be quite bad. But yeah, Sick was under draw 3, draw 4, so we don't have anything to do this turn. But next turn we draw these 5, and then Compound Driver draws 3 again. We can reach the reprogram, or the scheme. But we can reach the, the streamline, actually. We draw these 5, draw these 3, draw these 3, so we can reach the streamline. And the, the hologram. Sure. Oh, defense full block. 
um, and we don't need to play. I don't want void in my mid draw. Like this fight will last um, two cycles, or maybe even three, but it doesn't end in the first next cycle. So uh, I don't want to play turbo. Summon is pretty annoying. Yeah, we summon is pretty annoying. I don't have to play the coast now. Draw three, draw three, risk the thing, streamline, kill this. Um, and then I guess I can do a reprogram. I can also just not mm, draw with the skin. So next turn I have something like hologram, thunder, hologram, thunder, kill both minions. So I draw until here only, yeah. And next turn I draw these five. So hologram, thunder, hologram, thunder. The turn afterwards I have these things. So means I shuffle our holograms exhausted, but um, she also is being like whittled down a little bit with this. Ah. Maybe that maybe is fine. Of course, that does mean that I, don't, I get to play streamline only once. The other line I can hologram my streamline, for example. But uh, I guess streamline costing one is not is not the worst. Yeah, having a convenient way to kill both minions next turn is just uh, way too good. So compound driver here and then double strike here and then maybe cold snap the leader it does mean that i draw one less with the compound driver in the redraw but um but plasma is in front so i do get a burst of energy if i need to next next cycle that's fine oh yeah i don't scheme here yeah. Also, we deal the lightning damage before we uh, well, we're attacking again. Okay, if she attacks again, it's actually good. Wait, wait, we, we cannot even do, do the double thunder, whatever I've been talking about, but it uh, doesn't matter. We can, we can stream light here instead. So, yeah, hologram thunder, thunder this guy, and then um, streamline this. And that seems fine. Taking a little bit this turn doesn't matter. If she does not buff, we don't really die in this fight, which is uh, all I care about. So many holograms. Yeah, infinitely more than the last one. Uh, reprogram right here just cost me 2 HP, yeah, so uh, no reason to do it. I just streamline here, strike here, leap on hologram in the deck, not play the streamline, move on. Good again. We have no draw next turn. And if we want to play Cold Snap, we will have to burn our Plasma, which is a problem. Hmm, this, this draw is not good. Like, not drawing any draw here while also not drawing Sunder or the Streamline to kill the minions is uh, not what I want. There is like no line this turn, though. Unfortunately, no line this turn. They just beam cell here and turn. She attacks again, would be great. Okay, she, she's not that stupid. Uh, that's quite bad. Like, does this mean... Does this ever mean um, opening attack potion right now? Potion chance is currently... 50. Nothing very relevant because we have an empty slot. Uh, and this will be a chest, so if we dodge this elite right here because we don't have attack potion, then uh, this will not be a fight. We don't get a chance to refill our potion before automaton. Our next turn is until here, and if I burn the plasma right now, which I will if I play the coast now. If I don't burn the plasma, and let's say I just do strike, hollow strike. Or maybe even hologram the beam cell and then beam cell strike here. Then 
then next turn I still have four base energy, yeah, and compound rival draws too. So I can draw till here. I can draw again until here. So uh, three energy, two energy, one energy, three energy again. Then can can sunder the minion. If she attacks, uh, so I have three energy still after this minion is dead, and I can play all of these. So it blocks for 997 and Reaper Wham is not down. So uh, 18? 18, 25, 29. 29 she attacks for 33 only, so we don't even take damage. That's probably good then. Like ignoring the sneaky. And then uh, hollowing the beam cell or the strike doesn't really matter. We actually it does, it does. I hollow beam strike uh, to kill the fat remnant and keep the last smile around. Yeah. How much damage do we do like that? Because we do need to finish this fight at some point. And she is no longer vulnerable next turn. So we are playing double compound rival on her and into a streamline. So that is 1 to 29 damage. 29, 33. And then we shuffle out the ritual dagger. So if that's the case, we don't get to, to ritual dagger in this fight. Unless we redraw exactly into uh, beam cell right here. Plasma is still, is still available though, so maybe you can do something else. But how much damage are we dealing? Yeah, not drawing any any draw in the first few cards here is actually quite bad. Three damage from our glass. Um, if she attacks next turn, is another, another nine. So, um, well, and then another three. So that's eighteen. Eighteen plus another twenty-nine is um, forty-seven. Forty-seven. She's at thirty-four. Thirty-four. So yeah, it's like barely off for the ritual dagger, and both holograms are exhausted. <laughs> Hello, MJ. Does the effect suck? I mean, we have a reprogram in the deck. So if we don't really die super early, then this one should be fun. Like we have some holograms, we have a, a reprogram, uh, and we have a frozen eye. So uh, if we don't really die super early, it should be fun. Oh yeah, no ritual dagger in this fight, most likely. Which right. we can trade attack potion for the ritual dagger, but uh, if possible, I still want to go to this elite. So yeah, hologram. Can I play reprogram this turn? I if I play reprogram this turn, I can also play steam barrier. So we still have full block here. Now, does the reprogram give me enough damage on uh, the leader? Because the lightning is gone already. So... It gives me plus 3 damage in here. And then plus 1. Uh, it's not really... This is minus 1. Uh, my minus 2 for next turn. But it's also plus 2. So it's like... It's plus 3. So it's actually positive to play reprogram this turn. Okay, so uh, reprogram does get played. So we do reprogram hologram uh, beam cell, beam cell strike, kill this into uh, steam area full block. If he does not attack next turn, we have to like some. Ah, no, no, we still sunder, we still sunder this thing. Yeah, we still sunder nothing. Right, she attacks, and we we uh, already know what would happen in that in this case. Yeah, like very thin line. All things considered. Come on, again, beam cell. Ah, no beam cell. 
uh, one card or because uh, of the freaking void. So yeah, we don't get ritual dagger uh, this fight unless I use the attack potion right now. Close, but uh, not quite. How important is this? Like it's 21, three damage. It's not green necker, yeah. <laughs> it will not be a green for for quite a while. Because we are upgrading, um, probably upgrading hologram first before this elite, and then we upgrade the reprogram here to not freaking die to automaton. So uh, yeah, that will upgrade might never happen in this run when passing an act is false. If the dagger is not upgraded, I mean I don't know. I don't know why the the damage on the dagger is more or less impactful if the dagger is not upgraded. Because because if the dagger is not actually not green, like it's pretty difficult to get uh, later on in the run. So uh, snowballing it early is also way more important. But this thing might not even give me any 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 kill on this. Is the thing because it needs to deal like twelve damage. So uh, with the uh, one strength, of course, it's like eleven. But not a lot of cards actually deal uh, eleven. Like all the cold snap ball lightning all fail. Oh yeah, cold snap ball lightning go for the eyes. Uh, sweeping beam works. Or like uh, on power driver works. Gloom and gloom is eleven, so it doesn't work. If it actually doesn't have that many attacks, meteor strike is uh, good. 0 for 1 is 11, so it's not enough. Corsage is exactly 12. There are, there are many misses. Like, there are many hits, but there are also many misses. So, yeah, whatever. We probably just ignore the dagger then. And let her tell me there's a way to actually cycle back to our thing. Because she only has 5 strength. So, if, if we if we try to cycle back to our thing, like, what would happen in that case? Because we can just kill the, the web leads again, you know. Like, next time we draw these five, yeah. Compile driver until here. Compile driver until here, and then streamline kill one minion. So we beam cell, compile driver kill one minion. Streamline kill another one. If she attacks next turn for 33, uh, we can still kill her next turn, right? Yeah, we, we can kill her next turn from 34. If we choose to do so, if we need to. So if she attacks next turn, we just kill her. If not, we kill the minions, yeah. So we draw these five and compile driver until here. Um, if I do not, if I draw with the uh, cool headed, I burn the plasma the turn after we draw these things. And Thunder will kill the leader immediately. So there's also no risk. Two turns from now. Three turns from now, our last chips go down. We can put like one strike here and there. So we draw until this. If it never use the cool headed, like we draw until here, that ends our turn. The turn after we draw these, so it's still lethal on the leader. The turn afterwards, we have these and compile river draws two, scheme draws three, shuffle, and then co snap first energy. Okay, we, 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 maybe we can get it. Like, if there's like no reason here, there's no reason to even play the thing. For this to, to work, yeah, she needs to not attack next turn and the turn afterwards, but um, that's a small chance and there's no risk, so of course we take the chance. Okay. Don't need to play Richard Decker here. Reprogram can be played, yes. The program can be played. Ah, lame. Well, the leader sucks. But yeah, we uh, don't really have block this turn, so we have to kill her. Only, only like 20, 25 or said chance to. Yeah, very useful for us. Insane relic for defect. Absolutely amazing. It not be better. Yeah, yeah, of course it, it kind of sucks. Uh, it will stop sucking when we get echo form on the this side. Oh, now it kind of sucks. Oh, echo form here, echo form here. Right, right here, right here, right here, guys. Echo form immediately in, on, on, in this card we would. Okay, not quite. There is a power, but that is not echo form. Um, remove the close eye, however, it's not too bad. Halo was pretty good with the um, reprogram, yeah. It can give us hologram, it gives us like more block cut. 
And um, with the Frozen Eye, we... Does Frozen Eye make the Halo World better or, or, or worse? Probably doesn't really change much. But it makes the reboot way better. This reboot is not getting upgraded. But uh, yeah, it's fine. Confirm that the food doesn't keep following web, yes. Maybe this run is uh, cooperate a little bit more though, because we... Oh no, last one, last, 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 last one we also had this. Uh, but yeah, first upgrade is on the hologram, and we run into the Elite. Unless you tell me that the uh, Elite has a chance to completely wreck us. And we need the reprogram upgrade before this fight, so we should take the chest instead. Because we also just saw a ray, yeah? so the ray chance in the next elite is not that high. It's present, but it's not um, amazingly high. Potion chance is 60% though. Wolf stabbing is probably not a problem. Uh, slavers can be weird, but uh, can also be won on turn 1. And attack potion is not amazing in automaton, while wow, it's very good in slavers. And uh, yeah, if we are playing with reprogram, importance of relics also uh, increases. Like all the, the kunai shuriken, ornamental fan and whatnot, uh, all get better. We already saw Vastra, so uh, that doesn't actually play it here. Uh, we, we cannot get it here. Do I take a Kursky if I see it with a tiny chest? Uh, kind of weird. Why the Hollow Smith but play that well with elites, it makes mm, me get the ritual dagger easier. Is the is the main consideration. Like hologram upgrade makes me, me get the ritual dagger like way easier in the elite fight. And I know that before the automaton I won hologram and one hologram and one reprogram upgraded. So the, the order is just like what is better for the elite and uh ritual dagger the ritual dagger thing and hologram is also like more more flexible because this deck has a lot of draw at the moment so uh if it's the move stopping yeah there's a pretty decent chance that we do go into the second deck cycle if it's slavers then the hologram upgrade probably doesn't matter that much but i do think slavers is uh but basically the reprogram upgrade doesn't play that well in the slavers fight either if we care about upgrading for slavers upgrade is sick or maybe even the turbo. Hello, Durant. This one, yeah, this one is not too bad so far. Like uh, at the very least, it look is looking like a fun one. Fifty six HP. How okay? How much HP would be a comfortable range for automaton? Because we don't re we don't actually scale that fast. With only one hologram plus, we get um, and sometimes we need to hologram or some the for the minions, yeah. So let's say we can play, yeah, we play reprogram twice in the first deck cycle. How fast do we shuffle? Um, draw five turn one. Uh, draw three, draw two to three, so two point five. Let's say we draw five total with these. So draw five, draw eight. Uh, this might not even be played, but probably is. Oh, yeah. 1, 2, uh, 5, 8, 9, uh, 10. Draw 10, so we need 4 turns to shuffle. So by the time it gets to Hyper Beam, we probably have reprogrammed like 3 times. 6 Dexterity, no weakness. No equilibrium. And uh, of course before that we cannot make sure that we take no damage. Yeah. So... Probably comfortable HP range is still like above 30. And slavers deal more than um, like 25 damage to us. Really, right? Like, if we if we don't draw something close to a kill on turn 1. 
hit full hollow mine nó dưới rồi nói vẫn tại nhiều lúc anh hai anh đấy nhiều xin lại hầu hầu mấy đi up west with it one two three four five six seven eight uh nine yeah okay very cool and uh, honestly this time is not even bad either so it's like already uh, 10 so uh, yeah we are we are pretty uh, deep in the upgrade depth at the moment and the book deal 25 to us now the main will start being fight would be us bottom decking the beam cell but even then we still have a lot of passive damage with the thorns and the hourglass And even when it gets to 35, you can still block. Like we just block um, Gremlin Leader 33, like no problem. Assume Hollow Ghost uh, on reprogram is more plays before Hyper Beam. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like some, but sometimes we do need to hologram uh, Compound Driver or Sunder. Depending on draw order because of the uh, Frozen Eye. So like I'm assuming that first cycle we get um, two reprogram plays and then second cycle we get maybe one more because this can also be bottom deck second deck cycle. And what with the reboot sometimes we get more yeah but uh, I think three three reprograms is a reasonable assumption. So like six dexterity uh it's not it's not that easy like seven dexterity with a smooth stone. So defend block for 12 uh, at that time we probably have evoked the plasma. So, uh, yeah, like, uh, 36, taking 20, 21 to hyper And we might take damage like before that. And the fight might not even be over by that point because we, if we hologram on the, uh, reprogram, we can never strip artifact. So beam cell will not play there. And if beam cell do, doesn't play there, then, uh, It can get weird. Hit possible one full HP in, into that fight, of course. And we know that question mark is a chest, so it's a sort of guarantee value. Can make the curse key after this act slightly better, and can maybe mean that we get a tiny chest proc again in Act 3. But uh, a lot of relics play and potion chain is 60%. And of course, the 30 gold. Oh, okay, the, the, the 30 gold doesn't matter as much because the chest on average also give us like something like 20 gold. And we actually need to upgrade, yeah. Like, uh, taking elite into resting is not the option. Before I do that, I always take the chest. But it's another ritual dagger prop. Yeah, not thinking, not thinking the elite in this spot is probably just like complete nonsense. So I'll get hologram and run into it. Under turn one, not the uh, amazing rod, uh, but we can sunder. Uh, we can beam cell hologram beam cell. Okay, do we need to reboot here? The second hologram being bottom deck, not super amazing, but next turn we have a decent turn. This turn we do take um, 9 damage. If um, I just end turn right here, like beam cell hollow beam cell to thunder, which is a lot of damage and probably guarantee the kill on turn 3. So, so does it guarantee a kill? Now let's just see like what, what cast we play it first. So next turn is like this, so we can skim, have 4 energy, yeah. So we skip until here, compound until here, and uh, we reach the turbo. So we have six energy next turn. One, two, three, four, um, maybe five, six. With no frost, um, reprogram is good. So I start with this scheme in here, and then reprogram, and then compound driver into turbo. So like one, two, three, four, five, six. And we block for 2 dexterity, so it's 8 is 10, 18. 18, we take another 2. Turn 3, we have this, it's still vulnerable. And uh, compound driver is draw 2. So we can seek for like hologram, for example. 4 energy is still, yeah, so 1 energy. Seek for hologram is 2 energy. 
uh, hologram for streamlines at 3 energy and then ritual dagger is 4 energy. Minus 11 in this fight. How much damage are we dealing in that case? Because minus 11 is an acceptable outcome. And your yeah, reboot roller can be like extremely ugly. So if this is enough damage, we just go with the line. Uh, so yeah, beam cell, hollow beam cell is 10 damage. 10 damage is 48, 58. 58 is 61. 61, um, 67. 67, 70 with the hourglass. 70. And these both have one strength. 70, um, 70, so this is 12. 70, this is 12, so uh, 82. 82 plus 24 is 106. 106 plus um, another 2 from Lightning is 108 plus the 9 from Thorns is 170. 117 is at 50. And still vulnerable, this 30 yeah, is more than enough. It's still more than enough even if uh, he single hits on turn 2. But in that case, we do take a little bit more damage, like 3 more. So, okay, minus 14. Uh, 42, yeah, 42 is still fine. Okay, so I guess we go with that. Like Beam Cell, Hologram, Beam Cell, play the Thunder. <laughs> also, we upgraded the wrong Hologram because the other Hologram upgrade would save us 2 HP here. We can just do that. Like beam cell hollow, beam cell thunder, and then we play the the thing. Let's check that. Next on the the line is skim into reprogram into compact driver draw two into turbo into streamline to defend wood instinct. One, two, three, four, five, six energy. And the turn turn three we kill. Mausoleum saying no, no relic change from it in the past. Scum Mausoleum relic into not taking it into elite more than one exact same relic every time. I mean, yeah, yeah, like it, it makes sense. Like uh, that the uh, draw for the relic rarity is identical, but um, that's the thing. That, that doesn't actually tell me anything about what I want to know. Is that like the... But, but I guess that does mean that, okay. If the relic is the same every time, then it does mean that the chance is weighted. If that's actually true. Yeah, yeah this time we are taking another... Um, like full damage. And we already knew that. can I make do with like the dual casting thing? If I have done that, I should uh, have done that like earlier, not not now. But can can I still do it? Yeah, I actually did not think about like, playing dual cast before and not playing the streamline because that is only okay. Three less damage here. I um... two less damage here, so it's already immediately minus ten. Yeah, it's minus ten. As for next rarity of the seed, just like Elite Reverse. No, no, but uh, the Elite Reverse rolls rarity first. It rolls rarity first and then lead second. Like the relic list inspires uh, three different lists. It's not one list. It's three different lists and you roll rarity first and then you pull from the list. And that's the thing. Uh, but yeah, can, can I still do it? Because this says two. Uh, dual cast 14, 14, 14 uh, minus 9, so 23, 23, 26, 26 is at 59, 59 still have 4 energy, yeah, but this is only draw 1. 
So for energy, I can seek for the hologram. No, no, the, but then it means I cannot do hologram streamline next turn. I mean, I can. I can hologram streamline next turn and still deal 24. 24 and this thing deals um, 33. So 57. 9, 14, 26. 26 is at uh, 59. So 59, so no. Are you serious? Oh, you're freaking kidding me. Like, if I, if I do a cut before the reprogram, it would be enough damage. Now I'm, I'm too short. Okay, so minus 2 HP because I did not pay attention. Nobody has ever died with 2 HP. Yeah, there's, there's no way. There's no way 2 HP kills me in Automaton. Like, zero chance, right? No way. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually 2 shot, which is uh, pretty insane. Like, maximum punish here. Yeah, yeah. Do a cast before the, do, do a cast before the uh, reprogram would do it. Like, perfectly. Exactly, so. And we full block this turn. But now I have to play Streamline. Whatever, we take the punish then. Well, what can you do, guys? Sometimes misplay. Sometimes you misplay. What can you do? Do the bracelet, no potion. So 70% and we get a relic that doesn't help in the elite fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, floor plus. Uh, recursion. Is recursion a thing? It is only for the plasma. But uh, yeah, a pretty useful plasma, I would say. And our deck does have um, pretty decent draws to take advantage of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a claw plus. Wait, give me a second. And you see to keep the lightning so compound still draws three. Yeah, yeah, but uh, keeping the plasma as a rock is more important. Because like, we don't even have infinite energy, you know. You spend one energy to evoke the lightning that is dealing no damage. Like, uh, how often is that actually worth it? But with that, no, no, I, I don't really care about the uh, this upgrade. Because if I only use it to recycle the plasma, then uh, it just gave me one energy. Like, seeing red, like how often do you upgrade seeing red? Of course, it's not a super fair comparison because there's like freaking corruption. Yeah, yeah, like the the uh, that way is not compulsory. And the, the thing is that if we do not have a way to keep ops around, yeah, compound rival eventually will draw either we ignore the coast up and go to completely, or eventually compound rival will be draw one. And uh, yeah, draw one is kind of bad. I don't mind it too much. It's a card that doesn't say block, so it does make our block a little bit more inconsistent in the automaton fight, at least for the hyper beam turn. Because the chance that we already evoke the plasma by the hyper beam is not one hundred percent. Like it's actually not that high. I would say though, if I pick up this recursion, the dual cast becomes uh, extremely bad. Because the only use case for the dual cast right now is like dual casting the plasma to give us one big burst of energy. So do I do I really want it? Do I really want this thing? Recursion. Maybe I don't. The nice thing about the recursion, however, yeah, is that after I play the recursion, I have um, two times I can play my frost off. So quid is basically uh, a strike, but uh, a strike is still a card that deals damage with the reprogram. But more important is the quid. 
being able to play created instead of having it held hostage by the plasma is actually kind of big deal. Like we gain, we lose one draw per cycle with the recursion, but we gain one draw per cycle with the created. So in one next cycle, it's like draw neutral while gaining one energy. It's uh, it's probably fine. It's probably fine. But yeah, we need to upgrade Ripple Gem uh, to not freaking die to Automaton. A sick top deck. Um, does this mean anything? It does mean I can sick for the reprogram immediately. And then next turn we have like Beam Cell Thunder. With reprogram this is 6. And so this 57 we can kill minion immediately with Beam Cell Thunder turn 2. So turn 1 we draw until here. Turn 2 we draw these 5 and can kill 1 minion. And then I skim until the hologram and I can hologram the reprogram. And turn 2 I can hologram the reprogram again. Or the Thunder to kill the second minion depending on what happens. And this is enough to block um, Automaton. Turn 3 not being attacked. Turn 4, this thing kind of sucks a little bit. Reboot absolute bottom deck. Like, uh, but it's fine because by turn 4, at the maximum, we have like one more minion. And then we go into the, the blind reshuffle. But uh, we should not lose a lot of HP in the first opening turns. We. Three reprograms in play after first deck cycle. Pretty good. Yeah, that is pretty good. So we can do that. Okay, they are still link reboot. Uh so yeah, that's fine. Need to beam the thunder first. We cannot do scheme into um, hologram the reprogram into beam the thunder. That doesn't work. So we, this this needs to happen first. And it's exactly to here fifty seven. So now we scheme yeah. And hologram reprogram pay the leap. Next turn we draw these five again in hologram the reprogram again into compound driver draw 2 into strike this guy that is full block still full block even if he attacks turn 4 it's not amazing if we compound driver next turn unfortunately but turn 4 is like this we draw these 5 but maybe you can get reboot back to our hand and do something otherwise we have um, 6 dexterity 7 dexterity yeah so this thing block for 13 we're facing 24 we're taking 10 on turn 4 that's okay though. Okay. Perfectly fine. Man can also not compound rival this turn. But that does mean that we have a very bad turn 5 into the hyper beam. If I don't compound driver and just do hologram reprogram and strike here only, next one we have 7 dexterity already, so this block for um, 13 is wrong, 15 block of 28. So even if they both attack, we are taking only 3. And afterwards, double strike and kill this. Shark holding out 2 strike is actually quite good for the hyper beam turn. I don't even hologram the reef program. What what else can hologram here? Nothing else makes sense, right? So uh, yeah, hologram reef program is just it. Is there an aggressive line with hologram scheme, for example? The hologram scheme, scheme until here, draw two until here. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> so uh, let's not do that. 
but it's probably just follow where before when and then um I probably don't even draw. I probably don't even draw. Oh yeah, we're taking uh, 3 damage this turn. But Kosat be safe to play now compared to Rebel Straw 3. Oh, taking Hologram is not super good. Bottom decking the program is not also not super good. We know that we will not die to Hyper Beam next turn. Like if we keep this draw power. We can however play double strike into reboot. Uh with uh, 43 HP we need to block for 15. So one defense plus is already enough to full block uh, to, to not die to hyper beam. Hello Mark New, thank you for the good luck. If we do nothing this turn, how much are we taking next turn? Like uh draw these five, yeah. So I can skip into cool handed and then play these three with seven dexterity. <laughs> Equilibrium, yeah yeah. So 30, 13, 60. Is 29, 29, 41. So I take 16. Uh, potentially taking more if this guy also attacks. Actually, no, I can just kill him and not play the reboot. That's possible. But uh, what, what would happen a few turns from now? Because now I kill the lightning to compile draw 2. But I can't recursion. So next turn is until here. And then I draw these 5. So I can compile, compile again. Recursion, get more energy, play the reprogram. End the turn, but then the, the turn afterwards we are blind. The turn afterwards we are being hit for 40. The turn afterwards we are we are being hit for 40 and we know that we draw these two plus another three here. So if we draw zero block we can die with the 40 hit. But yeah, we are taking uh like 40 next turn, right? Consider the shot with program deck? No. And we saw Shad already. If Shad comes for free, then sure. But uh, I don't play 170 go for that. Maybe No, no. Uh, with the current knowledge, you have to add that. I will say yeah, nobody understands mm, Pismatic Shad. At least the, the known players. Like, nobody understands uh, how quote-unquote positive it actually is. I mean, even to turn everything, you don't need to think. Because we, we know like whether we can block or not. And we know that the time he hits us for 40, we are drawing these two, plus three blind cards. So, uh, you, you don't really need to think that uh, we can block 20 minimum per turn. Because we know what we draw. So, we don't need to guess. And yeah, I don't, I'm not too interested in uh, potentially breaking um, 2 to 20 times 2. And this doesn't even scale that fast. So double strike to reboot um, seems fine. It does give us a small chance to die immediately next turn. But we only need to draw 2 block cards to survive. 1 block card if it's a defense plus or the deep. If we play reboot this turn, then yes. Like the, the guesstimate of how much we can block needs to come in play. And I, I am seriously considering playing the reboot. Because, yeah, like. The 20 times 2 is not that easy to block. Okay, uh, yeah, that's quite good. 
are not amazing regarding the reprogram, but we do have love. I think I can play the dagger right now. Oh, we're floating two energy, but next turn is like this. We draw five. So I can skim until here, and I can do beam cell. And then uh, we have three block cards. Not being able to play streamline though. And the turn after was to draw these five. Uh, and by this point, Compound Driver still draw three. So Compound Driver can no run till here. And then um, okay, I can pull Headed until here. This Compound Driver, however, only draws two. But I also don't want to play this Compound Driver because it means that the 20 times two we are drawing these cards. So that is full block. Feeling Dagger and Orange, I would like to. So here we evaluate how much damage we are taking. Because we eventually need to kill this guy. Yeah? Like, we, we cannot stay here forever. And if next time we commit all energy on blocking, then um, we don't even get to, to decost the streamline. Uh, I do not want to play dual card because I still want to draw 3 here. So, okay. Let, let's say we don't play the dagger right now. Damage taken, next time we play all these 3 with 7 dexterity. So this is um, 15 is 16, 31. 31, 12 is 43. We take 14. Attack 1 doesn't have Iron Wave or that or similar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the attack against block. Uh, I mean, if you say like, 0 for 1 is uh, that, then maybe it can be. In our case, Compound Rival actually gains us one energy to play a block. So there's like something. But otherwise not. Mm. I mean, uh, for the uh, Barbaras or Meteor Strike or whatever are actually just super good. Meteor Strike gains energy, so it also gains us a lot of block next turn. So that Compound Rival can gain block, uh, Meteor Strike can gain block. O for one doesn't gain block, but it strips artifact. Because we are hologramming, we cannot have enough energy to hologram anything that costs more than more than one. So we hologram the beam cell. So we strip two layers. Okay, we take 14 next turn. And we take zero the next attack if we leave this thing. Because we shuffle out three defense. So when it comes to 48, um, there is a small problem. Because now there's no longer any reboot. But Plasma is still intact. And we still have a Hologram Plus. How much damage are we dealing by that point? If we greet the dagger right here. Next turn, we are dealing 0. Is that true? No, no. Uh, this is 10, 20. 20 he ga only gains uh, health block, I think. So we do deal 11. We deal 11 next turn. And the turn afterwards, we have these things. So we are playing um, energy guys here, four, yeah. So one energy here, this draws three. One energy here, two energy here. Um, three energy here. Actually, why, why, yeah, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Why do I even want to play the creator? Just to make a recursion get into the plasma or what? But I don't even need to play creator next turn. Why, why do I want to do that? Over there, it's blocked sometimes, yeah, but not yet. Okay, okay. So, so I don't need to actually play this. And then I don't shuffle out my three blocks. I don't get to recur the plus bar, but uh, I also can just fully block the 40 without shuffling any of these out. Like I play three block cards and then compound driver to shuffle. That means that we can block 48. But yeah, how much damage exactly are we dealing? Like, we are dealing um, 11 next turn. The turn afterwards, uh, one... Okay, so... Um, draw these five. Power Rebel draws three. So one energy here, two energy here, three energy here, four energy here. We don't need to play turbo. So that is eight strength. Eight strength with... This is 14, 14, 28. 28 plus another... Uh, 28 plus another uh, 43. 43, 46, 46, 11 is 57 57 plus 3 from Thorns 
57 plus um, 3 from Torch is 60. So 209 still. 209 and then another... 200. This is still only 40 though. And 40... Um, one turn. 200. Two turns, three turns, four turns, five turns. Five turns from now is when we actually need to kill. Yeah, no, don't need to panic yet. Don't need to panic yet. Like, Dagger can be helped. Yeah, just uh, enter. Because that cycle, we also can deploy beam cells sometimes. Uh, combat driver is all three, and then we uh, reprogram. Yeah? care about the defense minor but I probably do yeah I probably do what do I need to draw into for compound rifle first to be better like if I draw into reprogram I can still play if I draw into beam um stream I can still play it if I draw into thunder I'm not playing it anyway but I can draw into a zero cost block card with two energy worth of something else but uh yeah it doesn't really matter that much so I do want to shuffle in this defense. But we only draw one energy worth of things anyway. Power is draw 3. So next turn we have an empty turn. It's like reprogram Sunder and we draw all blocks. The turn after what's he hit is a 48. And we draw these cards. But Compound Driver is still draw 3. So we can compound until here, hologram for a block card. And by that point, we already had 11 dexterity. So this thing blocked for 16. Or we can even continue. Like our turn can, can be longer than that. But wait, wait, wait. We draw 3 until here. So we draw 1 until here. And then we draw another 3 until here. And then our turn stops. So we can only get 2 block cards uh, on the 48. All of himself are vulnerable now. The problem with that is that we die. <laughs> if you just follow on himself, we die. That's the that's the biggest problem. Because we need two block cards to block the 48. All of them alone is like uh, we have 11 dexterity, right? Yeah, 11 dexterity is so 16. So uh, we have 45. If we have uh, plus two. If we have the plus 2 HP for Mook stopping, we can go for that line, we live on 1. But we don't, so we die We, we die by uh, 2 HP. So we need to actually hologram the, the defense card, which kind of sucks. Hmm. Now, now maybe I can consider opening attack potion, like maybe even... Who turns on now? Like, oh, the ice can happen, beam cell can happen, so I can land the beam cell plus. Twenty-four, yeah, yeah, twenty-four damage first try, yes. and we do get to to do a big thunder next turn. I can see opening attack potion two turns from now. Then we have a lot more options. But two turns from now, yeah, not this turn, not the last turn, next turn. Yeah, right here, right here, I can open the attack potion. Because if not, the line this turn is like beam cell into compound rival draw 3 and then um, hologram a block card and then play double strike. So we deal a total of um, 30, 30 plus 33, 63. 63, he takes another 6 from Thorn. So 69, minus 60 is at 80. 80, the turn afterwards we have these 5. So we can just do strike stream like coast not ritual dagger. That is a clean kill. If that is a clean kill, then there's no need to open the potion. We just block this turn. 
Because we don't even reshuffle, so the void from turbo will, will never matter. So we just draw three, play the turbo hologram, the defend, and play double strike. One, two, three, four, five energy. We have six. Yeah, just do that. Hologram the uh, defense plus. That's the biggest block. Huh? Good instinct? No, no. Defense plus is bigger than, than good instinct. Okay, we just double strike here and then move on. I clicked here, yeah. 32 plus uh, 59. Second six. Uh, Cortus doesn't actually do much. It still helps. Like, the, the Cortus blocking vulnerable is quite a big deal. The biggest problem with... Uh, Okay, no, not really the biggest one we just reprogram, but with defect in general is that you play any kind of setup, you can just die instantly first deck cycle. Uh, for first attack cycle of the heart. So blocking vulnerable, giving us time to scale up with reprogram and then we have frozen eye, which is uh, pretty huge. But of course, second sick, uh, the, the sick also does say sick on it, and sick with frozen eye also gets a lot better. <laughs> this is a pretty funny run. Like, we have the bomb fight hand on the fact that we have zero power. And we are probably also picking zero power from here. The only powers we would actually pick would be uh, Echo Form and Cell Repair, maybe. So, this, this bomb fight hand is probably one of the worst bomb fight hand that the fact has ever had. Uh, but yeah, we can also see Panacea in Act 3, Sensory Stone, we can uh, maybe buy an Artifact Potion, we can buy Chrono Souvenir. So there are more ways to get Artifact. There are not a lot more ways to get more six. And six with Ritual Dagger is also a thing. Wow. Well, uh, this is not what I want to see. Frozen core never ever. Uh, absolute garbage, like total trash. Now the frozen core though. The, the frozen core does mean that we can put the uh, plasma in front immediately, but that is not enough a reason for me to click it over <laughs> the other two. Honestly, even Sozu is better than that. Uh, are we playing with Sozu or are we playing with Blackstar? Because energy does play. But these potions are not what I want to carry into Act 4. Make the compound bad? Mm, yeah, uh, makes the compound worse on turn one, which is definitely a problem. And yeah, black star with force fighting uh, not going to be like extremely fun. But yeah, it's black star. And the the the, the relics do a lot of relics do play with this build. So uh, if we if we don't get it completely wrecked by force fighting, then maybe we can do something about it. We are not super amazing against Rectomancer, but we are also not um, terrible. The Giant Head we should be good against. Nemesis is potentially a problem, but we have Frozen High for that. Donut first. Okay, where is the Burning Elite? We can get three. Okay, that's not too bad. We can get three. We cannot get a shop. If we want the shop, we can only get two. Uh, we do not give up any upgrades, so we probably take the three elite path. Then. Do I pick a cell repair in this deck on the steel buff ahead? I will pick a cell repair without a buff ahead. Like, this has zero sustain and it wants to upgrade every single fire. In a pretty big upgrade depth at the moment. Yeah, quick silent question, deck is 5 by 5 defend minus act 3. 2 after image, 1 melee, so 2 melee. Neutralize, kill, minus, 1 footwork. Alipers favor, crit. 
It doesn't sound like a deck leg sweep minus would be good in. Ah, yeah, no, no paper pin, yeah, no paper pin, okay. If you don't have that much draw, then um, Black Fury is fine. If you, if you don't have that much draw, then Lex Fury is still fine. Like, how are you against Dolan and Decker? Because Lex Fury mainly is for that fight. Uh, I guess if your damage is not very good, then Lex Fury is also good against Awakened One. But um, because you do need to play some powers there, and one Malays is not enough to just completely nullify him. Time Eater, you probably don't need the Lex Fury for. But the, the other two, Lex Fury will go for. And, um. Act 4 is like maybe fine. Auto achieve and shuriken, no poison. So basically, like how how fast will you kill the donuts is the the main thing. Because the leg sweep, the, the best matchup for the leg sweep is just really for the donuts. But it sounds like it's uh, very pickable there, the the leg sweep. How important is the shop? Uh, nothing to switch for question mark. Nothing to switch against either. Let's say we go here and go to the shop. We have what I did, yeah. Like tiny chest, uh, whatever from here. And then two files afterwards. You can go to two question marks if the question mark here is like quite bad. We can never proc the tiny chest again. So um, that's fine. Whatever. No matter where we go to tiny chest, we will be on three after this. How are we against elites? Like if we if we're actually not strong against elites, then we should not go to <laughs> maximum elites even with the star. Because upgrades are still probably more important. <laughs> Hello, server. How's it going? Pretty pretty decent. Like uh, we are not insanely strong, but we at least we have a fun deck. We're not insanely strong yet. We are a couple of things away from being really strong, but uh, right now we are not there. If we go to the shop, if we go to for fun, <laughs> no, it's not for fun, but uh, it's a fun deck. If we go to the shop, like we have um, plus thirty and maybe plus twenty here, so like plus fifty on average, two hundred. So we cannot remove and buy a relic, which is already an, an issue. What would I like to buy in the shop? Apotheosis. <laughs> yeah, I would freaking buy Apotheosis for full price. Honestly, there's not much... Mm, there's not a lot of things I would like in the shop at the moment, besides removing. If that is the okay, case, then we are not double removing, then... Uh, yeah, it probably doesn't make sense to give up on Elite with a Black Star to, to go to the shop if you're not feeling immediately threatened. And Elite Evaluation is still roughly the same. Like, we are probably fine against the Giant Head. We double sick now, we don't really bottleneck reprogram, at least I hope so. And if we can get reprogrammed in play quickly with the second, second hologram upgrade, we should be fine against the Head. Uh, Nemesis is troublesome, but we have a lot of draw with the Frozen Eye. Recommends are the, the scariest, but we can... We have our glass and we can open the potion deck. Okay. If that's the okay, case, then we probably start right side. Uh, starting here, starting here, no difference. We are going to question mark anyway. Yes, I want Sensory Stone. I want Sensory Stone and there are definitely cards I would like to, to have. Like a third hologram, for example, would be super sick. Uh, more card draw, more energy, because now we are actually stuck on two energy if we lose the plus nine. So every gate, the um, turbo absolutely welcome. But sensory Stone is exceptionally strong. If we draw like this against Retomancer, we are not going to have a fun time, I tell you. 
when we uh, bought the deck our compound rivals our scheme and now sick and now reboot that kind of sucks and beam cell too so, so if we bought the deck beam cell we cannot even kill and we draw two holograms next turn so we cannot even uh, reach your deck oh yeah because there's not a, a, enough damage in here Okay, if I don't reach your dagger this turn, uh, I just play Cold Snap Strike Defense. So it deals uh, 12, 15, 15, 18, 18, 21. So it goes to 70. Seventy next turn, I don't really have a uh, block. You can hit me for 21 next turn. And if the Burn Shuffle is in here, then I don't really have block. You know, I can uh, do some some hologram chain. I hologram the defend plus into hologram something else. Turn 3 will run till this, so I can compound rival until here. Sick for whatever, beam cells under kill. But Richard Dagger does not mm, get in play. Trying to reach Dagger in this spot is probably way too greedy. The, the, the way to reach your dagger in this fight yeah, is that I uh, freaking sick for reboot next turn. Uh, two turns from now. And uh, that seems to be crazy talk. I sick for reboot, if it fails, I actually need to potion. And even after I potion, I might still not kill him. So yeah, we probably just play dagger right now. Then. Okay, no burns in here. Uh, burn happens next turn, but next turn we also kill. We it can never block the thunder from us. Uh, basically, uh, it can block the compound driver. It can never block the thunder. Just kill them. Um, I hologram the cold snap right now. Or team block so it takes one. Uh, I don't want to take one. So the hologram defense plus instead then. Oh I can recursion hologram recursion again and then I play hologram defense plus into strike. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah, the fragment. Exactly what do we need. Uh, recycle. The very good thing about the recycle in long fights is that it makes sure the compound river stays three, um, stays as a cut to draw three, and that is very strong. Uh, for long fights. Charge battery is another cut that improves our block density for reprogram decks. But uh, yeah, recycle is also exactly the same thing. It is a card that can break us in the earlier turns, but we can recycle thunder in some fights that we don't need it. For burst of energy, you can recycle streamline. And recycle is just really good for boss fights. It's basically in this kind of deck. Not super amazing in the hard fight first cycle, not amazing in spear, spear and shield. First cycle. But it's absolutely, absolutely very positive in the hard fight overall. Not upgraded uh, is quite unfortunate. But it's probably still good enough. Unless you tell me it can actually cost us uh, an edit. But I don't feel like it actually makes us like that much weaker immediately. That's the still probably not as strong as what we currently have. Okay, good hand. Next time we already have a kill on this. Uh, actually a kill on this, so we can even seek for thunder and kill this immediately. And sure, let's do that.
already have full block next turn. End the turn after, end the turn after. I can skip right now so I can uh, do a cast though because compound driver is not is not used in this fight to, to draw anyway. And this way I can even attack once. I'll just kill. Going chance 40. And we get. <laughs> There's a leap plus, which is actually strong. This thing blocks for 13 up front, and of course it scales with, with dexterity, so it's actually a strong card. But uh, there's an aggregate. Unfortunately, aggregate is aggregate minus, but is it still good enough? We want more draws for sure. Uh, but our first upgrade is definitely going on the hologram. Yeah. After we upgrade the hologram and we pick up maybe one more compound driver or another skin, uh, I would love energy. So the aggregate would, would uh, be extremely helpful there. At the moment, not super amazing but also not terrible. Now, of course it does get worse as we recycle our deck down, but when the deck is small enough that the aggregate no longer plays and we can just yeah, play recycle on it. But it's not, it's not that bad. After block density. If we actually need more block density, I would maybe consider D+. Plus, but yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 cards. Probably like one out of three because we, we do have a few that are like the sick mm, could not count. It gets out of the way immediately and uh, can also get block cards. So probably like one out of three at the moment are blocked. Wonder how we feel about the bloom there. Not safe. It's pickable, but it's not safe. If I have uh, maybe one more compound rider or one more skin, then I feel a lot safer. Of course, upgrading the six are also increasing our consistency like by a lot. Yeah. Would be seriously considered, basically. But uh, in this part, it's probably still every other world. It's always a chest, we know that. Dream catcher. Uh, not interested. We're upgrading every fire. If we can. So, uh, you take the key, yeah. And then we get a bonus relic here. Question mark first, fire first. Um, probably question mark first, because this is already advanced all way. So, sensory stone, rare relics, I want, I want the power boost first before we step into this fight. Oh, thank you, Juzu. Absolutely phenomenal job. Uh, but this probably means that we go into two question mark here. Thank you very much, Juzu. Appreciate that. Um, this hand sucks. This hand uh, really sucks. I mean, we, we don't really take that much damage here. If I seek for a uh, beam cell. If I seek for beam cell and I draw until this, I take um, 3 damage this turn. Um... Blindly believing in reboot is oh yeah very, very good opening uh, very good showing for the aggregate right here yeah it's fine I mean, we can play reboot you know, after this turn yeah sticking for beam cell killing this immediately is probably just the uh, the line take a little bit of damage fifty two exactly so. We actually drew three sides on turn one, which is uh, pretty bad. I 
Oh yeah, recycles reboot is also a thing. Aim gate reboot is also a thing. A reprogram leap. Oh, leap dual cast. So next time I can recur the the thing. And next time I have four energy. If I put this recursion in front, I can draw until here, yeah? and I can thunder kill this. Only thirty damage. Thirty damage is not even not even a kill on the middle guy. There's no beam cell yet. If I do a cast right, it deals sixteen. It deals nineteen. It deals twenty two. So is that thirty one? Actually, it's exactly thirty one. We program not in play. But I can thunder the middle guy into ritual dagger the the new guy here. Okay, okay, that's that work. Like um, dual cast leap full block, and next time we draw five, we have three four energy. Uh, I do skim. Yeah, five energy so one energy, two energy, three energy. So I cannot get back thunder. Just barely short. And we are shot by one energy next turn. Ah, wait, wait, no, no, I can, I can seek for turbo, I can seek for turbo. Okay, that works then, that works. <laughs> Imagine dragon, thank you for the good luck. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, I, I know about your thing. I, uh, I, I do watch for... I, and I do watch Papa, so uh, I... I don't even remember like which which channel knit this in, but uh, don't worry, I know your stitch. So it is not a surprise. Uh, but yeah, next time we are we are fine. Uh, only this guy is coming up. So do a cast sleep, who works? Alright, so scheme into sick for turbo. I think we get is fine too. On the ram the thunder, thunder this guy. We should go kill him. We have headlift us. Uh, boost sequence. Uh, how is boost sequence? Not amazing, not terrible. Good against Nemesis, good against. Um, Act 3 bosses. Good against Giant Head because we can just leave it after and it's another card that uh, increase the block density. Not amazing against Red Tormentor, which is the, the pretty concerning fight. I want to explain logic. Grab each other every run, even if on defect. No, no, especially if you're on defect. Yeah, like uh, defect makes the ritual dagger better, not worse. Because defect mm, suffers the most from the lack of fat node damage in late game. So having a dagger that potentially can, uh, yeah, can can nullify the red tormentor fight single handedly, can nullify the spear and shield fight single handedly, can kill one cultist immediately in the weapon one is uh, a really big thing. And yeah, like fun insane fat node damage is just good. Imagine this toxic gang, yeah, 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 but uh, I want toxic gang usually is quite good. I don't hate this too much. I do not think we need a second aggregate at all, yeah, so it's only about the boost sequence or skip. Baras technically scales triple good strength, but that is not what we care about. Like, uh, after we play our reprograms, damage is not an issue because we have um, taunts against the heart already and we have the beam cell. And this is not even green. Like if it's green, may maybe there's something to, to say about it. So it's only boost sequence or skip. I don't, I don't hate the boost sequence too much in this spot. 
it a positive cast in most fights. Maybe in Retromancer it's not, but even in Retromancer it's still positive uh, sometimes. Ideally I want to draw something that kills the daggers on turn 1, not blocking the, the 18, but uh, we can do that. Yeah, this upgrade definitely goes on the... We have one, two upgrades into three upgrades in, in Act 4, yeah? So uh, what are the upgrades? This definitely needs to be upgraded um, before the bosses, ideally before even before the edit, so uh, I think it happens right now. Unless you say there's something else more urgent, for example, like Ritual Dagger. But Ritual Dagger upgrade right here is like 1, 2, 3, 4, maybe you get another 5 here. Of Walkers or my Plume, so 5. 6, 7, 14 damage on the Dagger. That is quite significant. Like 7 props is plus 35 is 68, and uh, 68 compared to 54 is significant, yes. Thank you very much for the red buff. We are in a, a reprogram run here. But um, everything is not quite in place yet and we are very very deep in the uh, upgrade hole. We, we need like 10 more upgrades in this day, but we only get to, to do 2. Oh, that's a little bit problematic. But yeah, 40 and 40 damage on this thing is not worth um, the other upgrades. Uh, this upgrade, so, so this upgrade probably happens right now. And then, unless they tell me it's sick upgrade first, like it's sick upgrade better against elite. Maybe against the uh, Retromancer, sick is better because we don't really want to play a super long fight there. Uh, and against the Nemesis, it's comparable to the hologram. But against the giant head hologram, upgrade, it's better. We need to play a long fight there. <laughs> that sounds a defect, yes. That definitely sounds like a defect. Oh yeah, like probably hold the ram upgrade first. And then we can think about the other one. Uh yeah, apotheosis will be good here. That way seems very reasonable. Like are we are you not scared at all of uh, giant head? Are you not scared at all of giant head? Because I am not that certain that we are like completely fine there without the second hologram. Better than 2 out of 3 elites? Is it really? Like against Nemesis, is it really better than Hologram? If we also play a reboot sometimes. Against Retromancer is absolutely better. Against Retromancer, the sick upgrade is definitely better than Hologram. That is 1 out of 3. And it's not, it's not like Hologram upgrade is bad in Retromancer, it's just not as good as the sick. Let's play a run and see, so back to no echo and echo in 3. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sounds, sounds like silent. <laughs> like, uh, no draw. People say draw, draw cards are common, but uh, yeah, common cards. We all know what happens when you're looking for common cards. At least this one, we got a lot of common cards, so that's good. Not on taking scheme, only act one. If it doesn't immediately kill you, Absolutely. If it's always kill you, then don't. But uh, usually that is not the case. Okay, up when when we we run this way. I want overclock skip. No, no, no. Uh, no chance. Like maybe overclock plus for the skip minus, but uh, if they have equal upgrades, uh, no way. This guy cannot dagger. So yeah, sure. Like I guess counting fourteen as dagger damage is also not even the thing because this, this guy cannot play dagger on. Uh, so yeah, reprogram Sunder both sequence. Seems fine. Reprogram Sunder... Actually, does that even take damage? I mean, we'll see immediately. 
if I don't draw this turn, next turn we have a um, close up from Power Rival draw 3 and then um, Beam Cell. Turn 3 is hot garbage. Turn 4 is also hot garbage. Okay, so it does mean that uh, I uh, removed turn 2 then. <laughs> yeah, did this draw the means I actually play removed on turn 2 because I don't think we're going to die here. Or be forced to, to use my attack motion. Because <laughs> you have both the deck like most of the ramp draws, so uh, so true. Reboot uh, does happen. We are taking one damage this turn. Do I block uh, for one with the boost sequence? Because it is a, a good redraw. This is actually a very solid redraw. Zero energy already blocking for 13. And we don't have wick, so uh, block 13 is basically a card that deals 13 damage for 0 energy. One is not, yeah, one is not. Like, this, this fight is not super trivial. This fight is not super trivial. One is not. Whether we play reboot, we do, we do. We play reboot next turn. Because I don't want to die uh, on turn 4. And we, we also have hologram. Of course, holograms are bottom deck. But I do play the reboot next turn. Now, do I call snap first or the compound driver draw three? Makes no sense, right? Because uh, I play reboot anyway. So uh, compound driver first, beam cell, call snap reboot. Then we can even play defend plus into reboot. But then I cannot play Streamline if I draw into it. That's fine. I don't actually want to play Turbo. Yeah, now I pop like both holograms. Uh, at least I can do reprogram hologram back first. And I can compound driver into every gate. We get a transition? I, I hope the transition doesn't kill us. Yeah, I hope the transient doesn't kill us. It's uh, the position in uh, this fight at the moment. So reprogram compound driver draw three. Reprogram compound driver draw three, and then our turn stops here. Yeah, so I can um, aggregate do nothing, and then next turn we have sick. So I can sick for compound driver still draw three. So next turn is like this. And I can sick for like the beam cell, for example. And these five. Sick for the beam cell and then draw another three until here. The turn afterwards, one, two, three, four, five. This turn is hot garbage. But I can um, recycle the dual cast, sick for the thunder and do that. The turn afterwards, we have these five. Vulnerable runs out, but um, six dexterity. And we can evoke plasma with the skin. That's not too bad. If we can play without the beam cell next turn, then that would be good too. So, uh, can we do that? Uh, can, can we do without vulnerable next turn? Because next turn is already 70, yeah? 70... Without seeking for the... Like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. So, without seeking for the beam cell... You can seek for recycle, maybe, and we have um, six strength. Six strength, four energy only. Oh no, no. Uh, maybe you can seek for like cold snap. Yeah, maybe you can seek for cold snap. Oh yeah, draw until 3 here, next time we draw these 5, and I seek for like cold snap, and I play 4 attacks. Compound rival until here, and then turn after 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This turn is hot garbage. But I can um, seek for Sunder, recycle dual cast, beam cell Sunder, double block, which is still, still enough. And the turn afterwards, I shuffle. 
Okay, so so the, it's for attacks next turn enough or not? Because actually no no, I can play strip line. I can recycle. I can if I sleep for cold stuff, I can recur the the uh, the plus. So uh, six strength yeah. Six strength and next one I can play compound driver, streamline, strike, cold snap. So thirteen, thirteen plus um, twelve plus twelve. Uh, it's thirty-five. Thirty-five. Thirty-five plus twenty-one. Sixty-six. Sixty-six. Sixty-nine from our glass. It is enough to actually full block next one. Okay, so we do that. So, so we can actually do that. This is a good redraw on the last turn. We don't play it. Uh, but yeah, draw first. We also need to draw three, and then we sequel coast now. Boy, it's it's short. Uh, leap is better though. Six strength. Ah, uh, whatever. Take two. Count our glass twice over. Maybe I counted the hour glass twice. What do I have a minus two? I guess I would die by two HP. This doesn't happen, guys. Draw. Really true. Any strike is uh it's not that better than this. Wait, we can do this for uh garbage. Unless you tell me rebound is fine, but rebound is <laughs> not that fine without any equilibrium with only we with steal the eight base cards. Yeah, rebound's not fine. So one, two, three, four with one potion drop, so it's sixty percent at the moment. That commands our first fire. Yeah? We can sunder uh, both of them though, so that's at least something good. I am very willing to open attack potion immediately. Your deep possible thunder is better next turn. The thunder is way better next turn compared to this turn. Blizzard, yeah, Blizzard does cap at uh, the animation. The, the animation caps. The damage is not capped, but the animation caps. Oh, bottom decking reprogram and beam cell is not um, super amazing. And yeah, maybe, maybe attack potion just happened this turn. Maybe attack potion just happened this turn. I need thunder next turn. Yeah, I actually just need thunder next turn. That is, uh, that is just it. Long story short. Cold snap immediately means that I do get to draw three with this without playing two-handed. So that's like something. But it doesn't actually kill the, the daggers. If I play ritual dagger, I can kill both daggers this turn. But uh, is that what I want to do? These are quite bad. Yeah, these are quite bad.
I probably we should echo one of the one of the things. Now. And I have no energy to play the cold snap next turn. So uh, the the cool headed next turn. So it's probably cold snap over the other two. So cold snap into try into hologram strike. What do we seek for? Seek for reprogram. If it's simple reprogram, can I do can I do something else? Like sick for reprogram, play reprogram, play hologram, play reprogram again. One energy that is not enough to do anything. So um they leave the, the deck was alive. So I cannot hologram the reprogram, I can hologram with stripe, for example, and get the, the thing in play. Yeah, if this six solid like compound rival, I can also do. Um, no, no, if this attack potion is like compound rival or something, I can also do six for every kid, but it's not. But the effect has to be like this. <laughs> no, no hologram. Yeah, yeah. You were playing the effect in in uh, Spy with Friends, right? And yeah, the effect uh, kind of sucks. Maybe not very well known, but uh, the fact uh, it sucks a little bit. Okay, let's say I get the um, reprogram, and then I get reprogram, and then I take a beam cell or cold snap, doesn't matter. So this deals 8. If I take the beam cell, this deals 5, and the other thing deals 12. So it's actually killing here. And killing is important because I don't want to play my boost sequence this turn. I think having more beam cell in the deck is not, it's not so bad. I run lost by a wood and a hard fight. Yeah, totally it's hard mode is difficult. So compound only draws two next turn is not a problem. Uh, we still have four energy, yeah. So we draw these five and compound rival until here. I summon the one of the decker. I streamline the other decker and red two attacks and then play the leap. Uh so I uh, take a million damage. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Good to know. If Compound Driver draws 3 against Thunder and then Scheme but uh, doesn't doesn't really do much. And of course I prevent unwounds if I pick the, the beam cell here. I'm willing to also use energy pot if the fight is looking like super active. And it's not looking very good. <laughs> it is currently not looking very good. Reboot happens like on turn 4 or 5 or something, so difficult to say. And what, what we do also depends on whether she's resummoning or, or not. Oh yeah, Beam Cell is If an NG pot this turn, I can get another program in play, but uh, it's probably more important next turn. If we even need it. Like, if she doesn't attack, then we don't use it next turn, and maybe we use it the turn after. Exactly, Tom. Then, uh, sure. We should again come here, and then we can hologram beam cell dealing a little bit of damage to Retromancer. Okay, she attacks, so we take a billion damage this turn. That's the short version. It's not that much, like, it's like 10, maybe 12. If I use energy pot, I can prevent damage, and if she doesn't resummon, maybe I just do that. Ocean chance right now is 60. And the next side is easier than this one. Uh, in theory. <laughs> in fact, it's like, who knows. 
But if I start with who are into compound driver, draw three here. Uh, energy post thunder kill one of the deck. So I have six energy this turn, yeah. One, two here. Three to, to kill, so uh, three, four to kill this one, and then. Actually, no, 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 no. I cannot do that. But even even with the energy pot, I'm still getting wrecked over. Because I can only block with one energy this turn. I can block with two with energy pot, uh, and it does mean that I can. I cannot steam unless I spend one energy on the Quadded, which blocks for nothing. Why not follow Requiem last turn? Because I cannot kill the second deck that way. So uh, this turn we have one more wound in the discard and uh, we still need to spend energy to kill the dagger. And killing both daggers, um, I don't even know, right? Does killing both daggers improve the chance that she resummon this turn? Because she, she can still attack, uh, she can still resummon even if uh, only one dagger die on turn one. But yeah, basically, like Hollow Reprogram was not um, enough energy to kill both daggers. Pretty, pretty annoying me. Actually, yeah, because this is only 17. So we need to spend... Um... Six energy is like one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, even with energy pot, we are still taking a big hit this turn. With our energy pot, we are taking um, 21. With the energy pot, we are taking 8 less. And um, playing the cool-headed, so the compound river draws 3. I don't know how important that is though, because in turn 3, we can play the, the ghost now. If I don't energy potion, and I don't play the cool-headed, uh, we draw until here. The next turn is 5 cards until here, and then I can still skim into Coast Down to Compound Driver, and then Beam Cell, we can do something else. Not too bad. The turn afterwards is messy though. Like this hand is this hand is not good. Especially if she resummons turn 3 and she has daggers on turn 4. So if I use the energy port and play the Guided, what happens? It's pretty it's pretty annoying that uh, two attacks just barely do not kill this. And uh, lightning is only one damage, so it doesn't even work. But yeah, if I cool headed this turn, and then I draw three until here, and then I skip until here, draw three until here, skip until here. I can compound rival again, draw three until here, but that doesn't gain anything. Wait, 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 no, 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 go ahead and draw one. Go ahead and draw one, so draw one until here. Draw three until here. Skim draw another three, yeah, yeah. Compound rebel draw until here. So we cannot get to the sea. And recycling a defense plus. Um, I guess we can recycle the coast now. In that case, I don't get to play Streamline, but I'll redraw... Our deck in the redraw slightly improved. It's okay. It's okay. I do think... I do think energy pot happened this turn then. Like we draw until here, and then turn turn 4 we have this. If she attacks, we have full block. If she doesn't attack, we can um, beam cell, hologram, the reprogram, and then uh, maybe save for reboot. Sure. Okay, Daisy Bot right now, if we don't scheme, we can just play this and take 13. If we skim...
if we scheme we gain we lose on defense we gain on good instinct so this first one and we can continue to draw with compound right but to play recycle so oh, that's just better to, to scheme this turn No, 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 wait, 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 I did not even think about this. But that is something we can do. Okay, okay, I actually did not even think about that. But uh, of course we do that. Like, why, why would we not do that? Yeah, streamline going in. Streamline is like going in right here. And we can actually uh, full block this hit. Take one. Uh, and yeah, of course they play strike, yeah. Over the coast now. Resummoning. Resummoning is really nasty. This we got in wooden in reason in major, yeah, yeah. Actually, I, I just completely forgot the streamline would still be in, be in my hand when I, uh, if I do not play it. Because yeah, the, the two lines in my head, yeah, line number one is playing streamline and line number two is playing recycle. But uh, line number one was stuck in my head for so long that we're just thinking that uh, yeah, the, the streamline is not in my head. <laughs> but it is. This one is pretty annoying though, because if we um, don't really reboot now, um, we have some problems next turn. So like hollow... I, unfortunately, every game is not plus, so it doesn't give energy. So like hollow, um, hollow reprogram, play reprogram immediately, play the beam cell, sick for reboot and play reboot. Two energy left over, but still two holograms in the deck. That's probably fine. We do need to keep playing reprogram too. And yeah, no, no turbo play yet. But, uh, Pop decking Thunder. We can hologram Thunder next turn. And we can um, aggregate into hologram Thunder. So it's not so bad. Yeah, it's not so bad. It's dealing force here. So sure. Um, is putting the flatline fun ever a problem? And we'll play Recursion here. We might play this turn. We did recur the Plasma... In one of the fights, I don't even remember which one, but we, we did do that in one of the fights. Maybe Automata. <laughs> Wait, sorry, give me a second. I need to close my, my curtains. The sun's coming up. Okay, so uh, what is next turn? Next turn, we aggregate into Hologram Thunder. And then we draw 3, yeah? So Thunder kills one, Compound Rebel plus Double Strike kill the other. The turn after, oh, this turn completely sucks. So if she resummons again next turn, we have some serious problems. But if she attacks, we are fine. If she attacks, this turn, this hand can block. Gotta think about my blue making fight an act two boss instead. Um, would probably be more interesting, yes. Like one boss is just a free rare relic. Act two boss is I don't even know whether an act two boss is more difficult than the orb walkers. Depends on the deck, uh, of course. But um, the main point is that they they can deal damage. So uh, it definitely makes the the event slightly riskier. But I don't know though, because if um, if it's like suddenly too hard and you just don't pass for question marks then, because then question marks are suck. A worker kill you, act two boss, uh, cripples you, and then uh, what do you have? It probably is probably interesting though. I think I would like that. 
but I don't mind uh, my blooming like uh, just a good event either. Now, I hope that she doesn't resummon next turn because uh, if she resummons again next turn, we have some some serious problems. Maybe can we hologram the compound driver instead? If she resummons next turn, like we draw this, we aggregate. Um, that would be four energy, so we do have energy to, to do a lot of things. The combat driver drawn till here, combat driver again drawn till here. Four strength, so eleven plus another eleven is probably enough to kill. Yeah, that'd be enough to kill one dagger, and then reprogram plus two strike will kill the other. So draw three, draw three, the turn afterwards we have this. And then we can hologram the Thunder maybe into beam cell strike kill the other one okay okay that, that works that works that works if she resummons next turn we just follow the compound driver and we don't really draw until this until way later so um plus minus fun is like still fine Me because i don't even care about playing the cool the cool snap either Okay, she resummoned. So we uh, play the double compound driver line then. So we don't get completely wrecked next turn. Not getting wrecked would uh, be preferable, yes. And sure, can we cycle one new pen? Yeah, now she attacks, but we are we are fine. Hollowing Thunder means that I take um, four damage this turn. If I hologram the compound rifle again and draw three, what would happen? kill my plasma <laughs> because i played recursion a few turns before otherwise i can shuffle them out i'm thinking four is fine i can thinking four is fine well, it's not that bad i don't know no, i can i can play turbo so um so if i hold the the compound driver again yeah and then turbo so i draw three until here Ah, that, that stops though. The, the turn stops there. But I do have a fairly big turn this turn. And... 6 strength already... How oh, I need to kill my plasma here? You can also just uh, hologram like boost sequence or something. So like beam cell strike kill 1 into defend hologram the boot sequence uh the the um, hologram and then hologram again for the boot sequence that definitely full block this turn next turn i do need to deal with this decker but i draw these things so i can do compound driver draw three skin shuffle and then afterwards if i need energy i can still do a custom plasma so retomancer and the decker attacking is not a problem i take one wood There's no need to kill both dagger this turn. Let's, maybe let's just do that. And I don't even need to hologram boost sequence. I can hologram a freaking good instinct. Let's actually just do that. We have Ginger, so uh, Rectomancer is a loser. At least for now. Big Bear is a good redraw. Beam Cell is a good redraw. We don't even need to kill a Plasma. That's very good. He summons again. She really needs to find a new trick. But uh, luckily we can probably kill her soon. At least I hope so.
ました。Yeah, next head is this, which is completely fine actually. Like we just do uh, reprogram, hollow reprogram, turbo strike on her. Next time we just have lethal. She attacks, but we don't care. Pen is very good. No coin uh, would be good if we have a shop, we don't. Which is fine. These things not amazing. Like, especially now that we have the, the fan, the auto shield becomes a little bit worse. And we just added the uh, boost sequence as well. Like, in the random fight just now, I don't feel like we are created by the number of um, cards that block in our deck. And yeah, it's, it's not good. Like if we do a, com a compound driver chain into a, <laughs> an auto shield, that would be like very sad. And yeah, so I think this chance plus with the mount fight head, like absolutely amazing. If I just like, was it, it's way worse. And you also see like our our cut draw is decent, yeah, but it's not um, amazing enough, yeah, to make sure that this thing works. It's pretty really good with the uh, Frozen Eye though, but uh, I don't think I want it. It's fine. And yeah, the, the boost sequence right here, like saving us a little bit of rage speed. Operating reprogram is quite good, and next time we can do coded into 6. Uh, this thing needs to find a new hobby, man. This thing, this thing really needs to find a new hobby. Then uh, just like sitting at the bottom of that. But yeah, it's fine. We, we do have some time here. But yeah, leave boost sequence under. We have Ginger, yeah. So any turn where he's debuffing, just straight up good for us. What am I seeking for? Like, um, hologram? Maybe? Or reboot? Unfortunately, Sick is not Sick Plus. Because uh, I, I really would like to know which hologram I am getting. I would like to grab this hologram so that I can hologram the uh, reprogram next turn into reboot and then I can play out with my reprograms again. But I would really like to know like which re which hologram I am getting. I can also not play the coded, but um... so that this turn we have like hologram into reprogram into hologram into reprogram with the uh, sick in here, and the turn after we draw these five. Which is when he attacks for 40, but we get uh, already 6 dexterity in play. But uh, yeah, it doesn't make sense. Like, when it does happen here. So it's just cool headed and reprogram 6 for hologram, hologram reprogram again. And that is 4 energy. And then we end the turn with like uh, Beam Cell. If we get this hologram, the next one we have these five, which means Compound River draws three. Uh, not that we are drawing. If he is attacking, then I can draw three into playing Good Instinct into Reboot. If not, then a hologram reprogram next turn into Reboot. If I grab the, the second hologram. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, Sick Upgrade would be good, but not for the... It's pretty funny, because the, the series that the Sick Upgrade is good here is actually to know like which one I'm seeking for. Not actually to seek two cards. That doesn't, that doesn't actually happen very often. Okay, we grab the correct one, which is uh, pretty nice. Uh, 
Ah, he attacks. Doesn't change anything, right? Because got um, we need to get our things online like now. So hologram reprogram into reboot. Okay, another reprogram. Hope making this reprogram right here is quite good. And uh, yeah, I take just take damage. I can cool headed into Steam Barrier. Do I want to play Turbo for the Thunder? I do, right? Like, this is quite a lot of damage with 5 slow stacks. If I cool headed um, right now, it means Compound Rebel is drawing 2. But uh, I don't take damage this turn. And next turn, I have these 5, so I can do Compound Rebel until here. Into Hologram the Reprogram. And Recycle the Strike as well. So if I draw this turn, next time we draw these 5, I can draw 2. And the turn afterwards, we have 3. It's okay. If I leave it to draw 3, then plus next turn is still draw neutral. But uh, the when I draw to the second compound level, which is bottom deck. Oh, what I, whatever crap this turn will be is going to be quite bad. So I sure hope that we can do something before then, yeah. Playing quite this turn also give uh, me like quite a lot of damage. Actually, no, no, it doesn't, it doesn't. Like, it means I cannot do Turbo Thunder. I think I want to Turbo Thunder. And yeah, like, uh, this turn being this bad does mean that I probably want Compile Driver to draw 3 then. So if I don't play the Quedded, this turn I take 2. Next turn is like this. Compile Driver draws 3. So Compile Driver into Recycle Strike. And then I can seek for something. Uh, still have 4 base energy, yeah. 4 base energy, so 3. 2, 1... What do I seek for in this spot? Like, maybe aggregate? If I seek for aggregate, what can I do next turn? Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Draw until here. Seek for aggregate, uh, and then maybe I can hologram the aggregate and hologram the compound rival instead. And then draw until here, and then skim until here. So next one is going to be a huge turn, if that is the case. But Vulnerable does run out. If we stop drawing here, and then the next one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is um, 45 damage, and no weakness, so that is very bad. But the turn afterwards is okay. And maybe we have lethal this turn. Nine dexterity, eight strength. Yeah, every game doesn't really line up. So um, next the only turn where I can, where I can actually use every game. I draw five, draw three, draw another three, draw another three. How much energy do I actually have? I start with this, yeah, I seek for every gate, so 10, this has 19. 19 is only 4 energy, so I get uh, 8 energy next turn. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, maybe. is actually not shielding. Like, so, so then I don't know. Uh, we, we are not at the point where we need to calculate slow damage yet. But I can get um, 11 dexterity. So 11 dexterity is blocking 13. So we are taking like 12 damage in this fight. If um, this one does not kill, which it will not. 
When the turn afterwards, we are still drawing three on Far Driver with no aggregate right now, but we beam cell in play and we can play three attacks with uh, dual cast on plasma being possible. So this turn we should actually have a kill. Health damage still at 45. I would love not having to rest if possible. The upgrade in this spot, uh, if we don't see more cut draw, then we don't need to upgrade every gate or the turbo yet, so it's probably on the sick. But, but yeah, basically what happens is that I don't play quite at this time. And yeah, I do sick for every gate and uh, we go in right now. It's already full block the moment they play the hologram, so I don't need to, to wait after the reprogram. So I do uh, maximum damage here, yeah. If I do not um, continue drawing, what happens? I next turn like this, and I hologram the compound driver draw until here. Play the beam cell next turn. And 3 block cards are already enough with 9 dexterity. It's only 45 damage. The 1, 2, 3 here, plus 4 from the compound driver, plus the beam cell, and the turn afterwards I have a big turn. Actually, it sounds way better to, to stop drawing right now. If I draw right now, I know that I take 12 damage next turn, and energy is already... We already don't have enough energy. That doesn't make sense. Like, so, so I just recycle um, Defend Plus, maybe. This void in the redraw is a dangerous element, but uh, whatever. Exact, uh, exact full block. And now combat draw 3. Yeah. I cannot play Streamline first because uh, playing Streamline first does mean that I can redraw into it immediately. But if I redraw into Void immediately, I need to do um, Cold Snap dual cast. And I want to draw into block cards anyway, but this killing this turn is not really happening. Ah, it, it does happen. Okay, I guess killing hit this turn does happen then. And that's good. We actually took uh, barely took any damage in this fight. Like, very good outcome. And get the ritual dagger as well. Anchor is fine, fish, this lead is not amazing, second beam cell, uh, barrage, and now it's stack. Yeah, anchor is fine, but uh, it makes the boost sequence pick a little bit worse, and fish, this lead is not doing anything, especially when we have 700 gold, no shot. We just need to, to be faster. Barrage, you program, yeah, yeah, they, I know, like, it scales triple with strength, but is that what we did? Because you also see that we are currently like barely scaling enough block um, uh, against a giant head when we have uh, like three turns to prepare. So is Barras really what we need? I mean, one is Barras minus even. 
Like how many after how many we program play does it start to be strong? Because like, if you want to pick any attack here, I do think the, the beam cell minus is even stronger than the barrage. Because having the beam cell minus also means we can strip artifact in the heart like a lot easier. So we can deploy vulnerable without having to waste holograms on it. With only two holograms in the deck, I want to hologram the reprogram every single time if I can. So like if you actually pick an attack here, I think beam cell is just stronger. So do we want a second beam cell? Is the is the next question. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, having two beam cell does mean that we can have vulnerable on spear and shield sometimes, and uh, that is not going to be like an insanely huge thing, yeah. But it's still going to be. Like one more fight, maybe one more here, and then two more. But maybe we miss one of them. So like three deck will probably still 45 damage. 45 damage with beam cell is already dealing 70. So with the thunder, we can immediately burst out the shield sometimes. It's positive in the in the hard fight. If we need to rush damage, so if we don't have any damage problems and our only problem is uh, yeah, scaling block, then it's not super amazing. This deck is difficult to judge because the uh, how slow slash fast it is is uh, it all depends on like what we need to use a sick on. If we bought a little reprogram and we need to sick it, then suddenly we are like way slower. But if we can start our fight with reprogram into seeking every gate into like a, a cut draw chain, then uh, it's fast. Of course, power potion can be uh, echo form in the hard fight, and uh, that definitely helps like uh, a lot of things. But we we cannot count on that. Why is this beam cell positive? If we have a retromancer rematch in here, it's positive. Okay, maybe that's already enough reasons. I, uh, you, you saw like, how annoying the first Retomancer fight was, that we need to use two potions to get out cleanly. This one is burning. Okay, fine. And uh, if we upgrade right here, we cannot rest. So if the fight completely wrecks us, uh, we have some problems in the boss counter. But the sick upgrade can massively help in the fight itself. Is it two sick upgrade? Like this upgrade in Act 4? Or is it sick upgrade and then maybe aggregate or recycle? Aggregate before recycle, of course. So, um. Maybe it is sick plus uh, aggregate. Probably not too sick. I think this upgrade is quite important. I think this upgrade is actually quite important. But that it doesn't need to be on top of that to be useful. Yeah, yeah, stick up with and that's happened. And if we get wreck here, maybe we get more ahead. Maybe we get a pentograph, a uh, laser tail, uh, yeah, who knows. Okay, it is burning red to and this turn is very bad. Um, yikes. We dead next turn. We seem to be fairly close to death next turn. <sighs> Freaking defect, man. Freaking defect, why are you like this? Okay, so I guess power potion comes out immediately. Because if it's uh, Electro, if it's Halo Wood, if it's uh, Echo Form, maybe we can do something. Otherwise, we are we are done for next turn. Even if we don't just straight up die immediately, if we take triple damage in here, we are dead uh, here. Yeah, like bottom deck, uh, we don't draw any of our card in the first two turns. That is pretty insane, and not even a Thunder. No Thunder, no 6, no Compound Driver, no Skim. 
not even like streamline because if we draw streamline, we can also maybe kill the daggers. <laughs> no lethal on the dagger on turn one as well. Like that, that is like, completely insane. But yeah, basically this needs to come down. Okay, maybe this can do something. They go for. Uh, we still need to start with Kuwait the next turn though. So double Kuwait. Uh, we don't get to do reboot, so we are still taking a billion damage. Which is fun. Fun, fun for everybody involved. Static discharge. Um, we can take one hit, so one lightning only, which uh, doesn't amount to anything. Electro would be better here than Echo Fox, but uh, whatever. Even with the Echo Fox, we still cannot do much next turn, which is uh, quite tragic. We, we are still taking... I don't even want to think about like, how much, but we, we are not there. Uh, why are you like this defect? Like, like, why, why are you like this? Who freaking hurt you? I don't really. But yeah, it is just like a uh, strike hollow strike. Yeah? There's no line here. Next turn... Double Quidditch does evoke one lightning. So if it hits the one that we are double striking now, I can kill. So then I can do beam cell streamline on the other one dealing 25. And uh, yeah, maybe that can do something. We cannot even get to reboot with uh, double weighted next turn, which is pretty unfortunate. This goes to two. It's metallic size eight. Oh, it's freaking metallic size eight. And yeah, of course, there also has to be Retromancer. So we fight three elites in this side and face Retromancer twice. So like in, in hindsight, if I knew this would happen, I would actually take the two elite card and go to a shock here. But yeah, skipping one elite with uh, the Black Star and we need to roll Retromancer twice and we also need to draw Betty in both. Like, yeah, why is that? If AoE is such garbage? No, no, it's not even about AoE. You, you see, like we don't even need to draw AoE here. We just need to draw any of our card draw and we have a, a huge turn. So, so, so we don't need the AoE, that's uh, the thing. Like if you see, if you think that adding like maybe uh, an Electro to this deck would solve every problem, then it doesn't. Because yeah, Electro can also be here. The, the entire point why this fight is going uh, so badly next turn is that we, we don't even draw into our card. And that's pretty screwed up. But uh, yeah, what can you do? So Beam Cell Streamline is 26 damage, which is enough to kill this or this. It doesn't matter. So we can always kill at least one level next turn. Like, just as I said, Boost Sequence is only better than Retromancer, but we fight Retromancer twice. And we add the actual boss relics, Frozen Core and Sozu. So, uh, practically a force black star. We can make this happy. A seizing talk would be good here. Yeah, no, no, actually, actually no kappa. A seizing talk would be like super amazing. Now that I say that, it's going to give me a seizing talk after this fight. If we even survive. That's actually good, that's actually good. The, the taunt skill this now. Okay, okay, that, that actually blocks like quite a lot of damage this turn. Uh, are we fine next turn? If I draw two right here, next turn we have this. So, Echo Form is it, right? So I can do... That was sick, for like sick plus thunder. Okay, okay, next turn, next turn we should be okay. But, uh, yeah, start with, um, two -handed. I think we're going to mean that I do have to play the turbo. We block for a little bit more. Run on defend that block for less. 
Because uh, the thing you see here, yeah, if we play turbo, we can play everything. So we still have to, we still get to play two defense either way, and now we even have one more force off. It's the same. It's less. It's, it's two less block, and one less draw. But uh, it preserves the lightning off so that this thing draws three. Next time, what were the options? Frozen Core and uh, Sozu. Frozen Core is completely unpickable, and Sozu was also not very good because we uh, we run into card draw problems more often, and of course our potions are not very good in for Act Four. So yeah, basically a force backstab, unfortunately. If we go super low in this fight, we can also see more ahead here, so it's not <laughs> it's not that bad yet. This one we, we do take um, quite a bit of damage. We block for like 20, we do not loop the quadrant, so we block for 20. And we are taking... Uh, 50. So we take 30, but we block for 3, so we take 27. Go to 23. 28? Ah, I should hope that the 8 HP is enough to play the boss counter. Um, I think we are very bad against Time Eater. I, uh, but the other two maybe we can manage. So it's another 50-50, yeah, whether we roll the Time Eater or not. How important is this compared with all two? Uh, let's say I draw only one. So next time I have this, but compile driver draws three. So now I can actually do double compile driver to draw until here. My hand is full. Then what? Then I can seek for the thunder. So I compile driver, double compile driver, one of these, and I seek for the other one to kill both. And I still have two energy left. I don't actually want the this sick here though. I don't actually want to draw until this sick. But Lego not too important in this fight. Like most of the king all our draws are it hurt a lot more. And we also lost our echo form potion, yeah? Who that probably wins the hard fight for us. So once again the freaking red from myself, maybe. If if again I die in this one because uh, I have to use power potion here. Maybe I should really reconsider like running into actual elites. If, if we can have problems with uh, this garbage fight. Because like, the the last time is exactly the same. It, it's one of my potions in Act 4 and die. Because I don't have the potion. Yeah, like no seriously. I, that is definitely something I should consider. In this one, it's very difficult to, to do that though, because we pick up the freaking black star. So like, how... How often do you want to skip one elite with the black star? And the first thing needs to be decided on first fall. Like, facing Retomancer twice, yeah? It's one out of three and then one out of two, so one out of six. Like, we see two Retomancer and two elites. Like, we lost the one out of six and we also draw badly. Yeah, like, it, it sucks, but uh, I cannot see that that is strong to run into three elites because we, we are not we are not even favored we are not even heavily favored and we need to decide on the first floor yeah i'm just talking nonsense here like there, there's no way playing into two elites is correct if the boss fight looks better then sure but it's a freaking black star Wait, if I draw, draw, if I draw double going right now, block for two more, and then um, next turn I have these five here, so compile driver draws four until here exactly. So I don't need to do the six, so I can six for the thunder. Double compile driver kill one. Uh, six for thunder kill the other one. I can block for a little bit. But reprogram is not in play yet. I do play three attacks, so I block for four, and then this thing block for sixteen. So I block for 20, potentially taking another 30 next turn. Do defense plus? I can, I can. But uh, looping defense plus right now means that I lose uh, 2 block immediately. Do combine draw 6? That is not even what I want though, because you see right here. Do combine draw 6, draw until 6 plus. I 
I have no energy next turn. So drawing into this thing doesn't even do anything. Oh, right, instead we draw four draws exactly until here. So the turn afterwards, I have uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then I can uh, double the six plus. Shuffle immediately while hologramming back the uh, the, the um, aggregate, for example, or the compound driver. And then we can force the reshuffle. But it makes the second cycle worse for us because Compound River is drawing only two. I mean, I don't need to do Compound Actually, I do, I do. I do need to do Compound River next turn, otherwise I cannot kill both daggers. And yeah, I don't actually got to draw to 6 plus next turn. Unless you tell me I do, because I drawing into 6 plus means that I can... Um, so like this six minus still use on Thunder always, yeah. And then I can six plus for like reprogram hologram for example. I can reprogram into playing hologram for the turbo into blocking. So that full blocks. Next turn. So it immediately gains me HP back. So the two HP lost this turn does not matter. And the turn afterwards we draw one, two, three, four. Ew. Ugh. No, that is not very good. <laughs> Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is not a hand you want to draw. And uh, of course now I even have... Um, two voice in, in the redraw, right? Actually no, I have not, I have not played a turbo yet. And this time we don't need to play turbo. There any line that use reboot next turn? Ah, it's possible. It's possible. We can end the, the next turn with reboot because we we know the turn after is so actually so freaking awful. So we can do whatever things we do here with like reprogram hologram whatever, and then we end the turn with reboot and go into the the shuffle fresh. That is fine. Yeah, that that is fine. So I guess uh, we pay 2 HP this turn to have a slightly better deck later. Wait, sorry, give me a second. Okay. Uh, but yeah, double defend, taking. Uh, 17 this turn. 20, 27 this turn. But, uh, yeah, next, turn, next turn we do full block. Instead of taking another 10. So it's probably just better. Double checking, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And compound driver draw 6 or draw until here. 3 energy left, so we can 6 but under 0, uh, 3 energy still. 6 for the hologram reprogram. 2 energy. Um, 2 energy. Um, no wait. 2 energy, 1 energy. If we hologram the reprogram, okay, because we do need to scale this thing at some point to, to actually win this fight. So if I scale this thing again, I have um, 3 dexterity next turn for this, so it's block for 8. And then I have 5 dexterity for this, so it's like 19. If she doesn't attack, I can do that. Wait, 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 no, I don't even have Steve Barry in head. What am I talking about? If she doesn't attack, I can do reprogram, hollow reprogram. And then uh, reboot. If she attacks, then uh, the line is slightly different. We probably hologram for like a turbo. And then play these cards and then reboot. Double defend. Red Beam Cell Streamline. And uh, yeah, suffer. Okay, she attacks. 
if she attacks, then um, yeah, not a lot of uh, options. I love for four more though. Yes. Yeah, sick for um, reprogram hologram here, right? And I do um, yeah, reprogram into hologram for the thing. I mean, I can also just play three blocks. If I play three blocks, next turn I can double hologram whatever. I can even use sick immediately. Like I play three blocks into a sick to make next turn I, to to make it that next turn I can draw into the reprogram. And that is quite strong, actually. That's actually quite strong. So like, let's say I stick for dual cast um, cold stack, and next turn I start with double whole reprogram, hologram, the reprogram, steep barrier. That is five dexterity for this, so it's blocked for ten, and then seven dexterity for this, so it's blocked for thirty. Twenty-three only. That is not enough to block if she attacks again. But um, I can start with that for hologram. No, no, that also doesn't work. Also, actually, it just doesn't work. Okay, that is as good as the relic. The other relics are really good. Because uh, this relic is completely worthless, yeah? Do not do not think that because it's mummified hand is like a good relic. This thing is completely worthless. So how many relics are good here? Like one, two, three, this one we bought. And then we well, honestly that's it. So like is this relic bar really good? Did this relic bar is actually uh, not exactly super nice at the moment, but hopefully after this fight it give us something. Yeah, yeah, like, like do not see one fight and think that uh, it's overpowered because this thing in this one is completely worthless. The energy discount is not even from our deck, it's from the power potion. And the energy did not play. What is best really can get right now? Pay to grapple or something. Definitely pay to grapple. Because uh, we cannot rest. And pay to grapple is better than lizard tail. Uh, in the boss cowlet at least. So maybe Peto plus uh or maybe even uh yeah Peto plus Tori would pre be would be pretty nice. I would love to have like Tori Tungsten in the hard fight. Now uh, that thing says uh, that that thing would save like a lot of trouble. Peto burner, yeah Peto burner would be nice. A burner would, would absolutely be amazing. Uh, if she does not attack next turn, let's say we do triple block and triple block in here is 25, 29, 29 plus this uh, is 31. So we still take two. It's only two. Can make it plus Kunai? No. Do not overestimate the Kunai. You see right here, like what turn is this? And uh, how is the Shuriken performing? Do not overestimate the kunai. It's, uh, I wouldn't say it's complete garbage here, but it doesn't. It, it is not even close to being the, the best relic we can get. And I'm not going to say kunai is complete garbage in this spot, but it's uh, not even good. Yeah, you see right here, like how many turns is this? And we have prop can once. <laughs> what you brought to see, yeah, yeah. Emblem chip would be good though. Emblem chip is um, exceptional with the frozen eye, of course. I think another two. I think another two. If next time she attacks again, then what would happen? Because if next time she attacks again, is for um, thirty-two or thirty-four. We have not played a reprogram a single time.
Maybe, maybe I can do like double reprogram into Steam Barrier into Hologram into a block card. Um, that would be 5 dexterity, so it's 10, 11, plus something else. Uh, that is full block, that is full block. So it's still, it's still 2 cycle reprogram. And the turn afterwards, we. So like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here, yeah? And the turn afterwards, we have these 4, and then we shuffle. That's fine. If she resummons. If she resummons. Um, If she resummon the next turn, what will I do? And it's just double reprogram, hologram reprogram, player strike. And the turn after, we still have this. So, with that much strength, double beam cell is already killing one, and we can dagger to kill the other. Okay, okay, so that, that works. Uh, so I can take two this turn. Unless they tell me to 60 barrier so that I don't take two, but then uh, next turn, I take a, a bunch of damage if she attacks again. So oh, yeah, sure. The chip will block into seeking for uh, dual cast for snap, probably. Excellent. Right, she resummons. Our deck had 4 wounds and redraw though, so that is uh, pretty scary. Now she attacks. Then we are fine. We don't have lethal here, right? Or do we? I beam cell, beam cell, beam cell. Actually, we have a lot of damage this turn. Wait, wait, hang on a second. We do it this draw on this. Like beam cell, beam cell, beam cell, yeah? Uh, we have 4 energy. We can play cold start into dual cast, so we actually have 8 energy this turn. Like 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight still. So we can hologram any attack. Okay, okay, we actually have a lot of damage this turn. So can we kill her immediately? Because that would be good. So yeah, double beam cell into beam cell is um Having say Sunai Kuri can fan first three boss relic change gameplay. I mean yeah, it definitely makes some cards better. So you play into your relics of course. So of course it will change a, a bunch of things. But it doesn't actually mean you will start picking uh, like preemptive pre-program. Before hologram, before uh, actual woodcuts. But it, it basically just changes values of um, some cards. Double dagger better than double beam cell going a little. No, no, I want to kill with dagger this turn. I am, I am, I am trying to win here, and maybe we can do it because we have a lot of damage this turn. So we calculate the, the line and maybe we can get the dagger off first. Uh, okay, so um, double beam cell yeah, is 11 into 16. 11, 16 plus another 15. 11, 16, and then 15, and plus one strength. And uh, then we do scheme. Then we compile driver scheme until here, compile driver 3. Compile driver at this point has 8 strength, so it's going to be 15 is 22. 22. The um, cold snap. The cold snap, we also have 8 strength, it's going to be 21. And then we can hologram back the compound driver is another 22. It's just one more strength. Uh, unfortunately, that is where our attacks run out, so we have to play the dagger, and dagger has 9 strength. So it's going to be 45, 67. 
Eu vou ramar esta. Uh, calculator. 11 plus 16 plus 15 plus um, 24 plus 21 plus 22 plus 67. 174. 6 off. Barely there, no, barely not there. We, we are 6 damage off. Uh, yeah, draw until. What if I double skim instead? If I double the skim, we lose out on um, 16 damage. But we draw until all the way here. Then I can compound driver until here. And then. Okay, energy wise, I do have enough. If, if I double skim, 8 energy, yeah. So 1, 2. 3, 4, 5, um, 6, 7, and then 8. So we gain one attack, we lose a beam cell, but that, that, is, that is more damage. That is more damage. That pulling the skip. But I need to hologram the compound driver, which only draws 2, but it still draws until. Okay. Double scheme, one here, two here. And then cold snap, and then compound driver draw two, and then compound driver draw two again. So it does risk this compound driver. I cannot recycle anything, but uh, I gain one extra compound driver basically, trading for the beam cell. Is that enough? Okay, so um, in this line, uh, in this line, damage is going to be 10. Uh, per 16. Because, um... Hmm, compound driver first is more... But I need to play Cold Snap. I need to play Cold Snap dual pass first before I can do anything else. Otherwise, I don't have hand space. Is that true? Because playing the compound level before cold snap is gaining more more damage. Because of the yeah, it being odd and even. It gains at least two extra damage from it. That scheme draws a full hand, so I do draw until here. But if I play cool headed over cold snap, yeah, it doesn't make sense, right? On the streamline? No, no, no. I uh, compound reverse only draw two. It's a, it's an unfortunate problem. Compound reverse draw three, but I need to empty my hand first. And if I empty my hand, it means that it's cold snap. Uh... Actually, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. I can do double beam cell. I can do double beam cell. So I have ten cards in hand. I have eight cards, and then compound reverse can draw three. Okay, okay, that actually works. Like so, I draw until here, yeah. Compound reverse draw three until here, and then I can recycle something hologram the compound driver again. Compound driver until here. If I do cool headed, I can play the combat driver into streamline to hologram streamline. That is that is more damage. That is more damage. Yeah, that double scheme definitely works. Double scheme definitely works. Because if we are six off from before, this is way more damage. So uh yeah, let's let's just do that. Do that. Double scheme. The second combat driver is only drawing two, but we only needed to draw two. Draw two, yeah, no, no problem. We only needed to draw two to reach a streamline right here. We don't need to reprogram at all. I know, I know. Don't worry. Just need to make sure that I still have enough energy here. And yeah, I do. We even recycle first. My hand space. to do this first. Wait a second, oh my god. 
Okay, okay, I did not think about that. Does that kill me? Okay, it doesn't kill me, yeah, but uh, it, uh, it's not a problem. But I need to do that. Like, we without the, the dual cast, uh, this thing does not happen. But now I only draw one. Hmm. Oh, that is certainly a situation. 22, 66, um, cold snap. I can hold the Wayne Beam cell, should be still be fine. That's a hollow scheme, no, I can hollow scheme into aggregate. So that works, right? That works. But uh, maybe I can just hold the Beam cell to kill. One, two in here, 16 against three energy, okay, it works. But uh, if, okay, if I hologram beep cell, is that still a kill? Because if it's not a kill in here, yeah? if hologram beep cell is not a kill, then uh, <laughs> uh, definitely should have looked at uh, this line more closely. Because uh, I actually completely forgot about that. That uh, we need to, to uh, do a cast. The yeah, hologram beam cell, this tail is 18, 18, 18, 20, 22, 40. 40, 21, 61. 61, but now this is uh, 67. Melee off. Okay, that, that, would, that would have been bad. That would have been bad. Wait, hollow scheme is fine. Hollow scheme into uh, comparable into aggregate, and then we are we are chilling. Because one, two energy, three energy, exactly four energy, so we still have four left. And then it's enough. Barely. This is uh, the same damage, doesn't matter. And we can even, even play reprogram now. These are uh, not all we need. Oh, this black star is actually so fucking cringe. I now go with the eye, sure, we can fix that. Like, uh, weakness and. Sure, weakness with the frozen eye gets stronger. Can bottle flame just in time, yes, just in time. We can bottle um, compound driver maybe. Or we can bottle uh, a beam cell, but bottling compound driver is fine. But yeah, go with the eyes is fine too. Unless you tell me script with the uh, frozen eye. Because script does reach the double beam cell, it does reach wood instinct, it does reach turbo. Bottle Thunder may be good. Bottle Thunder is good in like one fight. You don't even you don't even want to bottle Thunder against the slaver though. Like Bottle Thunder is good in uh, the leader is good in the retromancer and that's it. With bare marbles of course it's better in uh, a few more fights. But usually you want to draw something else and then Thunder. I'm really thinking, is it? Is go for the eyes really better than script? We got script for script. This deck is actually quite good, and it's another way to manipulate with frozen eye. And go for the eye doesn't really play here. It's a, a bigger problem. Now that we are on 26 HP, unless we see more ahead in, in here, we uh, need to do the boss cowlet basically flawlessly. Oh, there? Yeah, sure. Quite a lot. Like 1, 2, this don't need to count, but yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Of course, these things exhaust, so we, afterwards it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 only. But we can also use that to skim through the, the whole thing. And Sensory Stone is still here, yeah, potentially. And do not even think that I do not click three cards in Sensory Stone. But if it's a bet, uh, yeah, plenty. Like, we, we can see some shrines. We can still see uh, falling, which can act for some uh, nasty stuff. And we can see, uh, otherwise, it's like relics. And yeah, Madness is still in here. But Madness makes the. Maybe Madness, we can click the. Uh, I don't even know, because losing like 14 HP in this board is so freaking harsh. And oh yeah, of course, like, of course I'm clicking 3.
but yeah, honestly, yeah, Scrape is Scrape is Scrape is not it's not bad here though. It's not bad here though. Also compile though. Dagger is not big enough for the bottle and dagger to be useful. Okay, if we die, we die. And of course, we are taking this. Uh, the chance that we actually die here is quite high. But if we don't take this fight, we also go uh, get nowhere. So of course, we are taking it. We die, we die. Uh, it doesn't really matter. This is good though. Like drawing 6 plus on turn 1 is um, excellent. Thunder Haley far now, but that's fine. Beam Cell being here is acceptable. This turn we can we can have a huge turn. Dagger and Beam Cell minor. No no dagger is not big enough. Dagger is only only like uh, 57. Dagger is only 57. I'm thinking we can do something like sick for uh, aggregate cold snap. And I can start with like aggregate into cold snap to draw three, into hologram to draw three again, into hologram to draw three again, and then we get to our beam cell and we do our thing. The turn afterwards is this fight, so this turn is quite bad, but um, turn one is good enough. That turn two maybe take a little bit, but that's fine. Or we can in no 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 we are blocking for ten already with the anchor, so we cannot take puzzle this turn, unfortunately. I can pass through, yeah, yeah, but that's not enough damage, right? Not nearly enough. It's, this is like uh, 60 with the thing, yeah? With this is 70. 70 with this is like 79. Not enough. With the uh, shuriken is maybe like 80, 81. And yeah, I, I, I don't see a reason. Why would we not have a huge turn this turn? I mean, okay, I, I do see the reason. That is that we have a huge turn next turn. Maybe that's good. Like we can because if we leave both of them alive, we can intentionally take some damage this turn. Like compound driver into here, we play three attacks, and that means that uh, we block for four. Uh, this block for seven. Speaking on orna ornamental fair. <laughs> the, the smooth stone means that we exactly don't take damage with the target rod. Aggregate scheme. The problem with aggregate scheme line is that turn two. Turn 2, this thing can hit us for like 21 damage, and uh, we only have uh, we only have like these two to block, which is 16. So and maybe some burns are for it. So we are taking uh, some damage turn 2. Actually, no, no, no. We we are not even we might not even be playing reprogram. If we play reprogram, this block of four ball. If we don't play reprogram, we have the ghost now. Yeah, hey, blocking 4 more means that this thing is already 3 dexterity, so it's like 12 and this thing is 8. 20 if we draw no burn, we take 0. And we skip? No, no, no. Like, why? I don't seriously, why? We can, we can also just get the, the cold stuff, you know. Like, why pull the scheme up? We only pull the scheme up if we actually have enough energy to do everything here. Yeah. But uh, do we? Because we are spending a lot of energy this turn. We also have a lot of energy. But let's say I pull the thing immediately. This thing gives me 7 is plus 6. So I go to 10. I go to 10, I actually have 12. Okay, 12 is a lot. So like 1, 2, 3. The problem with the scheme line. Okay, with the scheme line, we draw more. With the scheme line, we draw more, but the problem with that is, we, is that we deal less damage. Because the, the hologram goes on the scheme in that case and not the compound driver. Our scheme can't go not scared really, yeah, but we also lose one uh, compound driver play. And does it even draw... does it draw more cards? It draws three more, right? So we can we can get a little bit further. We can draw until here, and next time we have like Beam Cell Dagger, but that does not even kill. I calculate both lines. I think I think both are fine. 
by one line probably kill one of them turn one the other line might not but uh, even if it doesn't it's fine because we dig further but yeah let's do let, let's say i do um sick for the cold snap aggregate first do i need aggregate like why, why do i want to sick for aggregate i actually don't want to sick for aggregate yeah, why why not? Why not just seek for like cold snap uh, scheme for example? If you want the the skip, because we can also do that. Seek for like cold snap scheme, yeah, and then um, I can I can even start with turbo. So I can do scheme until these three into um, cold snap from fire driver until here, and then uh, I aggregate. And then I continue with double hologram chain. If you wait to sync for something close to the top, yeah, but that's, that's the thing. It's like exactly the same though. I mean, we can even go one step further. We sync for scheme and something else because we can actually reach the aggregate immediately this turn. Thinking of who ended better? Yeah, yeah may, maybe. But we can also just sync for like a beam cell, for example. We think about like beam cell scheme for example and that can go as long as we have enough energy but this way we lose a lot of energy here because the aggregate also um, is weaker so let's say we uh, get beam cell and the uh, scheme beam cell and the scheme so um we draw three and then we draw actually no 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 i i need to get the either aggregate or the coast now Otherwise, draw three into draw three is not enough to get to uh, to do not enough to get to here. We need to pull one card. Okay, fine. So uh... and like oh, like we are basically trading. But what are we trading basically? Really? I think for uh, I still want to play the coast now. Yeah? We don't have infinite attacks. In our hand is is another thing. So yeah, sick for um, let's say uh, scheme cold snap, and we draw until here. We we draw three here into three here, so we do draw exactly into the aggregate, and then the draw price twenty three. So this thing give me five energy only. Yeah, twenty three so is five energy is actually net plus four. So I have eight and have. Um, no, no, net, net plus 4 is only counting the aggregate, so it's still plus 5. So it's like 9, 11 energy, yeah. So 1 energy here, 2 energy here, 3 energy on the scheme. 4 energy on the compound driver. 5 energy, 6 energy, 7 energy again. 8, 9, 10, 11. Which is fine, I guess. And we, we get to play the program like two times. Yeah, that, that's completely fine. So uh, let's do that. And uh, beam cell minus, yeah, if we can kill immediately. Getting two beam cell plus. Oh, wait, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's true, it's true. We do need to, to hologram uh, some card draw. Uh, we're just assuming that we draw until here, but uh, it, it's not true. Oh yeah, we draw 3 immediately and we draw 3 again. So we do get exactly until here and then we draw 3 again. So we do draw 3... No, 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 that, that's not even true. I'm not sure, thank you for the good luck. Because my life thinking is that we do sick for the... Um... If we sick for the scheme already, then scheme here into comparable raw three so we do still need to to draw again we cycle stream like if we play reprogram then uh, yeah of course it is like two strikes just stronger than the streamline itself if we never hollow away the streamline which we will not okay that doesn't work if i actually seek for the the scheme and beam cell then because uh i kind of want to do that if i want to spend the holograms on the compound driver and not the reprogram then next turn we can maybe take one damage i don't want to take one damage 
second run after this one. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe a quick one, maybe a quick one. Not the defect, but uh, maybe a quick run of something. <laughs> but why is every day quicker than right this recently? Like, it's just the 4 hour plus and we are still not even, not even close to the end yet. And like every, every fight seems to be a freaking struggle. And it's not even because of Frozen Eye, yeah? Like Frozen Eye is the only reason we are still freaking alive right now. But can I, can I risk any way if I do a uh, beam cell skin? Cell minus skin. It does mean I need to spend a little bit more energy before I get to aggregate, but we still have 6 base with the turbo staff. So, um... I mean, actually it's true. It's true that Frozen Eye maximum runs slower. Because, uh, yeah, this thing, this is not something I've considered before. But with Frozen Eye, you just die, right? Because uh, then, uh, absolutely, Frozen Eye maximum runs slower. Because you get to more flaws. So, yeah, it's true. Oh, yeah, let's say I seek for uh, Beam Cell Minus and Skill. Then 6 energy by steel, yeah. So I start with scheme. Number 1, hologram scheme. So 1 energy, hologram scheme again is 3 energy, draw until here. Toe snap is 4 energy, compounded with 5 energy, and then I can aggregate. So I do still gain enough, but um, I draw until here. So if the aggregate, less energy or not. I draw exactly until here, so it's like 21. And I pull 2 cards from the draw card, so it's 19. So it only gives me 4 energy. Oh, that loses a lot of energy here. It loses a lot of energy. But uh, yeah, Aggie is only giving me 4, so it's net plus 3. And that's the, the last energy I play, so I have 4 energy after this. What can I do with 4 energy? But Beep Cell is uh, put uh, on top. So 4 energy is like reprogram... is 1. And then we can recycle streamline, so we have 5 energy still. So it's 4 energy after this. Into... That does not even deal damage though, it's a, it's a bigger problem. Okay, that, that, that like does not work, that like does not work. And you also, you also see why I want to use hologram on the compound driver and not to skip. Because otherwise, uh, we actually don't have enough damage. If we have like 20 energy this turn, then it's different, but we don't really have that. <laughs> Triumphant pair, thank you very much for the uh, tier 1 sub. Appreciate it a lot. But yeah... Uh... Okay, so uh, we know the sick for scheme beam cell minus does not work. Then, uh, yeah. And if, basically, if we cannot pull the beam cell minus, then like, let's say I start with yeah, yeah, Coco Snap Scheme Line is also what maybe I'm looking at. So, like, uh, start with uh, Coco Snap to Compound Driver immediately. Do I even want to pull Scheme, though? It's, it's another thing. If I only pull Coco Snap, do I actually want to pull Scheme? Because then, then I can do something like this, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Michael? Yeah, like they be because the, if I pull the coast up already, I can already draw three, and then I hologram draw three one. Actually, no, yeah, yeah. I, I do need the skip because if I don't pull the aggregate, I don't draw into the second hologram. So either I pull coast up aggregate or I pull coast up skip. Like there's no no change there. So another compound, no. I uh, I mean in the deck, yes, but mm, uh, it's here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we, we can pull Cold Snap Compound over com Cold Snap Scheme. That's strictly better, yes. Uh, that is strictly better. But, but basically, we need to seek for Cold Snap. We cannot, we cannot uh, skip the Cold Snap on the seek. Right, we seek uh, Cold Snap Compound. Seek for Cold Snap Compound, play double um, Compound, play the aggregate, and then continue. Yeah, hologram number one draw until here, hologram number two draw until here. Now, yeah, it does mean the next turn will suck. 
And it also does mean that we probably cannot get Richard Dagger, but uh, it's fine. And maybe we can leave one of them alive, but... Mm, and beam sell the other one. Like, we attack one thing. We will attack one of them and then we beam sell the other one. Next time we Richard Dagger this thing. Fully drop the other thing with double block and then the turn after was drawn to Thunder. That's so works. But yeah, that, that's fine. I turbo into sick for um, cold snap and compound driver. Uh, I think it's 93. Do I want to count damage? I should. So 677 is 20. 20. 20 is then one strength, yeah? So 28. 28 plus another 8 afterwards. 28 plus another 8 afterwards is 36. 36, this thing right now has um, 1 strength. So 41. No, no, uh, this thing goes on the other target. So 36. Next, next turn is like 40. Ah, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, um, count again, like 9, 20, 20, 28, 28, 36. 36 next turn with this having 2 strength is 77. 77, this thing is not enough. But I do get to play reprogram immediately. Okay, okay. So uh, it does mean that I can hit this guy. It does mean I can hit this guy. Uh, if you are talking about boss Scarlet, then uh, <laughs> Lizard Tail. Lizard Tail is probably better than both. We can also get a question mark shop here, by the way, yeah? with uh, uh, this much gold. If I could choose exactly Mango or Tori here, which would it be? Probably Tori. Yeah, probably Tori. Because yeah, sure, we, we can die uh, we can die in the boss gauntlet, but the chance of us dying in Act 4 is way higher right now. Even with the 700 ghost shop. We can hit this guy, so let's do that. Eternal, eternal feathers uncommon. I don't even know. Maybe maybe our best relic here uh, can be like calipers. I I don't even know. Maybe it, it, it's actually calipers because we do have some. If our turn is good, we can block for an insane amount, and then our turn stops. So yeah, emotion gym, emotion gym is fine. Emotion gym gives me uh, plus my energy, so it, it's not like overpower. If you are talking about something that is extremely bad. If you are talking about something extremely bad, you can say, uh, yeah, Shovel. But Shovel would be a very sad story. Actually, actually, I drew one more than expected. Oh yeah, because I pull, I did not pull the every gear, so I drew one more than expected. So next time I don't even have block here. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. That was actually very bad. I can kill this thing next turn, but uh, I take uh, one hit from this. One, one pull hit. Oh, that is pretty annoying. But uh, there's nothing we, we, we can do at this point, unfortunately. 
Reboot? No, 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 no. Playing Reboot right here is uh, giving yourself to, to chance to actually just die. I don't want to die. Oh uh, yeah, Prayer Wheel can also stop, uh, drop here. So Prayer Wheel is probably more worse than Shovel. Not like you would ever use Shovel, so they are equally useless. Yeah, next one we have this. We should ever kill this, so then after I can beam cell and then uh, sick. Oh, yeah. Infinite, not even close. Yeah, we are not even close to infinite here. In fact, we are freaking dying. Three only, it's not that much. Yeah, now we just kill with Thunder. Anip, uh, not the best, not the worst. It's okay. Okay, we turn down the go for the ice minus for the script, and here's the go for the ice plus. We take this. Yeah, my shovel and I shovel, I don't think shovel can show up after floor 48. So, uh, no. Turnip, Turnip doesn't actually do anything for us here though, because Time Eater is already the, the worst fight for us. If we see Time Eater and we don't get uh, something massive here, we are probably already dead. Well, I guess we drop boost sequence, so uh, we are probably done for this run. We go to 3 question marks and next queen, we... 4 question marks and next queen, we get like one good event. Which is uh, pretty sad. Okay, okay, there's a chance that we are not done for yet, but uh... We need to draw very well in the second fight. Probably this will be a wicked one. I don't think we can beat Tamito, unfortunately. Yeah, this is definitely dropping boost sequence. And we have to recall. 22 HP boss outlet, but we do have a 1 draw potion. If we survive this, uh, maybe we can do something. But we, we need to survive this first. <laughs> this is uh, not what I want to see. This is definitely not what I want to see. Oh, that is bad. We, we, we can die here. We can die to this fight. But yeah, beam cell, co edit, compound driver, draw 3 until here. We cannot get a boost of energy until turn 3, but then we have drawn past our holograms. So I do have a feeling that draw potion needs to come down at some point. But um, the, what, what turn is it? We can, we can check. So like, co edit, compound driver, draws 4, yeah? Uh, 2 energy left only, so I can hologram 4 compound driver, but that doesn't make a lot of sense. If I don't draw right now, let's say I just do compound driver and not full headed, what happened? Let me just draw compound driver and then next turn is like this. 5 cards I can do scheme into here. I can draw potion next turn. So like five cards in here, yeah. I draw potion, and then I play scheme. If I recursion, I can gain a little bit, and puzzle can also prop. I prop puzzle on turn two. Let's say let's say I prop puzzle on turn two, and then turn three I can draw into this thing. Eight cards. Unfortunately, it's the bottom of the deck already, so the aggregate does not even work. I can outscale Dono, but there is this, uh, no, it doesn't matter. If we can kill one, we should be fine. The problem is that we, we most of the time we just die before killing one with this draw order, unfortunately. The rest of my draw order was also like pretty similar to this, that we bought on deck uh, the things. And we need to draw into the things, like uh, one of the six or the aggregate or the turbo. Otherwise, we cannot do anything. 
Oh, the reboot. Yeah, I constrain my energy here. I can kill the plasma. If I kill the plasma, then we are crippled. What the flame with auto lightning? I mean, I, I would imagine it to be a metal relic. Maybe, maybe not the bottle lightning, but maybe, uh... Yeah, maybe something like a pentagram. If we have HP to spare, we can win this fight. Like, no problem. We only have 23 in here. So I, need, I need to figure out a way to get out of this crap. This turn, we can use the puzzle immediately. So, if I use the puzzle immediately... And draw maximum. So, like, co coordinate into compound driver around till here. Get a uh, so we can stack with this and maybe we can be cell hollow. So we gain four block and we gain another six. So we block for 20. We block for 22. So we take exactly one. Okay, that, yeah, yeah, we can, we can. It works out with triple attack into the hologram into one off slot. In, into one force off. So we draw until here and we take one damage and so we draw eight cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, four energy only still next turn, and there's no way to recur the plasma off. Unless we play the cold snap immediately this turn, which we can. But if we play the cold snap, we are full blocking. So <laughs> that's not exactly the the best situation. I can dual cast the lightning actually. If I dual cast the lightning, I can recur the plasma next turn. So like I draw 4 until here. Yeah. So like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I can skim until here, recur the plasma. The uh, turn after we draw these 5, which is uh, hot garbage. But compound driver is still drawing 2. And I can seek for like maybe good instinct. Take a good instinct, play the beam cell, play recycle on a strike, play reboot. And hope for the best. Uh, because we, we still have the draw potion in time. So yeah, it does a crazy and turn one is like draw until here, play dual cast, turn two. Compound driver is only drawing two afterwards, but it's fine. As long as plasma is alive. So uh draw until here, four energy. Five energy with the recursion. And we can do we have to play scheme. So this is already four energy. And then it's like reprogram, hologram, reprogram, defend plus. Which block for 8 and block for 13. 21, so we take another 8 damage. Which is still fine. Next time we are being hit for 30. And yeah, we are drawing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. But 5 with 30 already can get to recycle a strike. And yeah, day's draw, the, the day's draws are like extremely cringe. So I do think this is a fight where we go for uh, Red Cup first. But if, if we can successfully kill one of them and not die, then it um, should be fine. Okay. Uh, another thing to go for Red Cup first is that Red Cup takes damage from Thoughts. Don't do doesn't. So hitting, hitting, hitting Red Cup first also like um, kill him slightly faster than hitting this thing. The argument against though is that uh, next turn go with the ice only works here. And we are drawing into go with the ice next turn. So if you want to strip artifact, then uh, yeah, like, like go with the ice is more valuable here next turn. We don't deal any damage next turn either way though. Yeah, if we do not. If we do not deal any damage next turn either way, then it doesn't really matter. We can still go with the ice here to strip artifact because yeah. We don't damage this guy. Okay, right, I sure we can we can still go for Decker first. Double check that I block for left exactly twenty two. Yeah. So beam cell in here. Uh, four energy. Like right, one. Uh, one attack. Two attack. All of when the beam cell three attack strip the artifact here. 
and one energy, two energy, three energy, and then four energy on the dual cast. So I block for exactly four from the fan, six from this, and two from force of so twenty-two. So I take one damage. Yeah, let's do that. And yeah, you can also do a stupid artifact like if we double beam cell here this turn, and next time we go with the eyes, we can play the beam cell plus on this guy on turn three, which is actually a fairly big deal. But uh, we do play reboot either way. So we can just uh, beam sell this to ship artifact into reboot and then we can do something else. And if we draw over the eyes on turn 3 after the reboot, we can actually weaken him when he hits for 30. So I guess that's fine too. So I guess that's fine too. Oh, what? Right, but, uh, need to remember not to play this. I can play Strike here, but uh, Dual Cast here allow me to actually play Recursion next turn. So that I can do Hologram, uh, Reprogram, Hologram, Reprogram, Defend, and still play this game. If not, uh, if I don't play the skip, yeah, turn 2 we draw this 8, so we are full block, eh? but turn 3 we draw this, which is death. So I do need to skip next turn. And yeah, so it means a uh, dual card comes down. Okay, dual card knows what's up. Lucas definitely knows what, what we are trying to do here. And he's trying to help. Uh, but yeah, I do need to, to hologram the reprogram. And we take a little bit more this turn, but if I do not keep playing reprogram, uh, we are done for. I do need to do that. And I guess I do sweep artifact here over dealing 9 damage. Like 8. Game sell sweep artifact here. Power driver. Psycho is dry. Take for good instinct in the reboot here. Yeah. Okay, we are fine this turn. And we dead next turn. Because this doesn't seem very good. We, we need to draw pot next turn over. If I don't draw this turn, um, and just do strike the defense instead, next turn we have these five, so we are fine next turn if that is the case. And the turn afterwards we have um, these five, and then I can compare able draw two. But this head doesn't have block. <laughs> seriously, like, no, no, really, seriously. Yeah, yeah, why, why are you like this? No, seriously, why are you like this? Okay, it basically means that we need to draw a potion next turn. Or it's the turn after. We cannot preserve this potion here, with uh, this shuffle also being like this. Get correct cards and relics win, otherwise lose. Uh, it also can mean that people are better defect. 
Like, you, you ask uh, what people think of Silent last year and you get the same idea. So, uh, I don't know. Yeah, you, you just ask people, like, this time last year, what Silent is like, and they say exactly the same thing. So, uh, why can't it be that everybody right now is better on Leafy? Because it is very possible. Power driver into Wedded and the next thing we draw one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. So I can every gate into here, so I can draw until here. And then the turn afterwards I have one, two, three, four, five. Which does mean I can script into one, two, three, four, five here. The turn afterwards I have one, two, three, four, five. So I can hologram the scheme or the compound driver to reshuffle into six plus. And then that actually works. It does burn the draw potion where I don't really die immediately. <laughs> Which is already good enough, I guess. Do I need to play cool headed? If I don't play cool headed, like let's say I just do compare and not cool headed, yeah. So I draw until here. And next time 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So with the draw potion, I don't even reach the compound driver. Um, so that's quite bad then. Because the turn afterwards from Power Driver here... Draw until here. Yeah, if I reach the Compound Driver, I have energy because of aggregate, so I can draw until here. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so I reach the script. If I don't reach the script... Oh yeah, draw until here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Draw until here. 2, draw until here. And turn after 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I scrape for 1, 2, 3, 4, so I miss the hologram. Oh, I can hologram the power driver. Draw 2. And then scrape. So draw 1, 2, 3, 4. And then skim the reshuffle. That also actually works. Is that better than playing the, the go headed? Because if I don't play the coin, I have one more energy to play the strike. Oh yeah, review again. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then I leap. Draw until here. So the draw power is 19. So if you give me 4 energy, it goes up to 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I do get to play three attacks. And get the to play Thunder big attack while decosting the streamline with vulnerable on this. That is actually very good. Yeah, now we're saying that I don't actually freaking die with, with that line. Oh so yeah, draw until here this turn, draw until here next turn. So turn afterwards I have these. So I can compile driver until here. Wait a second, I don't even reach the script. Okay, what the hell am I talking about? Like, if I do this, I just die two turns from now. If I don't do it, it because I never reach the script. Uh, so I'm forced to play who edit then. Alright, yeah. Like, we reveal the no who edit line. Draw until here, draw until here. Draw until here, compare with draw two, and die this turn. Uh, that is not very good, if I die this turn. Uh, unless I kill him by this turn. So this is 30, yeah. The turn after is like this. Is this guy attacking? And the turn afterwards is this guy attacking with 36. If I can kill this guy by the turn I do he attacks for 36, then we are fine. So how much damage do we have? Because we have a lot of damage next turn. To defect tie to slot 6. No, defect is a terrible card in early act 1. Like the first time defect becomes a good card is after you, you have frost off. Yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, you might know that, but some people in chat might not, so uh, I say just in case. Hey, how much damage do we have here? Because maybe we, we have a kill. So, like, no cool and then I can do comparable strike here, yeah. For another 20, 24 damage. So, we do 24. 24 and then uh, this guy has no two plated armor but we strip both of them here uh, he takes another six from pawn takes another three from our glass and now we have a uh, six strength this turn we are playing beam cell streamline thunder with six strength so this is nine damage nine damage with 21 is 31 so it's 40 40 with 37, 37 is um, 55. Wait, 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 so 6 strength, 6 strength actually, 6, six strength. 6 strength, so this is 9, 9, 31, 40. 40, 40, 38, 38 is uh, 57. So 97 damage. So it's 97. Plus 1 strength. One strength, at this point we have seven strength. The turn after, we are drawing until here. Seven strength, no vulnerable though. Four energy, so we can only do compile driver, reprogram, reach or regular strike. Seven strength, so this is like 14. 14 plus 49 is uh, 63. 63, 13. 63 plus 13 is um, 76. 76 plus 4 is 80. Put another 80. Put another 3. One hundred and thirty, two hundred and thirteen. With this guy getting plated armor, we are barely not there. Barely. Yeah, that's a shame. So uh, it does mean that we need to play good edit then. Is so close. It's like actually so close to, to killing this uh, before the next attack, and that would be like insanely good. Oh, yeah. So I uh, guess whether it is false. And if whether it is false, it also means the next time we deal. I mean, it's not like we deal that much less damage because we can play compound rival into strike over the thunder. The next question is whether I play strike here or play defend. Because uh, defending here is only blocking for 3. While rushing damage is like kind of a thing. So next time I draw these 5 yeah, and I need to draw potion until here. 21, this still gives 5 energy so next turn I have um, 9 energy. 8. Um, 7. 6, 5. 4, 3, 2. So more than a, enough energy still. Uh, close up can still be played, so 1. And I activate Shuriken one time. The turn after I have these in hand script. How much damage do I have next turn? Like 6 strength. So now it's like 9 here. 9 on the beam cell. And then um, 12 on the close down, so it's 18. So like 6 on pawns, yeah? 6 on 3 hourglass. So 9 plus 18. Plus um, 
these are both the uh, odd numbers so it doesn't matter so plus 6 strength is 13 is 19 19 so now I have 7 strength and this thing is dealing 33 the streamline and the strike is dealing 19 which means I deal a total of uh, 70 plus 28 next turn is uh, 98 damage. 98 damage. 100. And the turn after I have these uh, these things, yeah. With Plasma actually it'd be in front because I play close up next turn. So I can recursion again. So I have 5 energy the turn after. And I can do um, these 5 in hand. Start with reprogram. One energy, two energy, draw four until here. Three energy. This this five. So uh, one, two, three, four. Get another so we can stack, but this uh, this turn I have um so this is like seven strength. Seven strength I start with this is nine strength. Nine strength is being that we start with script, so it's sixteen. It's no longer vulnerable. So sixteen damage. Plus another um ten. No no I 6 strength, 7 strength here, so it's 9 strength, 9 strength, so it's 13. Plus another 51 vulnerable is 76. And now I have 8 strength. The turn afterwards I draw these and that should kill the... Um, yeah, that, that should kill the... Decker that one. Do I die to... the... 36. Next one I draw until like until you five eight, so I draw until here. I gain four block. And I have five dexterity, so this thing block for 13. This thing block for 14. So I block for 31 only next turn. And I take um 32. I block for 32 next turn. So I take another three. I go to six. I go to six and the turn afterwards. I'm being hit for 36 again. This time I have 7 dexterity and I can only block with defense and script and fan. So, um, Steam Barrier, Steam Barrier with um, 7 dexterity is 13. 13, this is 12, so 25, 29 blocks. So I take 6. With full juice, I'm barely alive even if I take 3 this turn. If I play the strike here, if I play the strike here, uh, 98 damage next turn, the 6 from Thorn, so 104, 116, 116 plus um, 116 plus 20, 105. Wait, 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 we can kill this. We can actually kill this two turns from now. If I play the the tail right here, oh yeah, because I uh, mean because I we, we can reach the script. So with the script, I can get to the beam cell. So that deals more damage two turns from now. Ah, that is actually quite good. Then. Like this guy attacks next turn, we draw until here. And then the deck attack again and we draw until here. We get to to the beam cell and reach your dagger. Apple check there. Yeah. Um 70 98. 98 plus another 100 plus 10. So, so yes, I do need to strike here. But we can kill this guy two turns from now.
Hey, we take another three here. We made it heavily to you. I, um... Uh, I'm back with this. Yeah, I look at this. Perfect, right? Yeah, 75, we do 73. So they're actually perfect. And uh, dagger, dagger lines are as well. <laughs> but they go for dagger first because we can scale... Like, our defensive scaling is very strong. As long as we draw block cards. So this is the fight where they the skill was more often. And we have um, essentially infinite scaling. We scale way faster than this thing. So yeah, like the, the same, right? you also see like the six damage per turn with the taunts matter. This guy does not take damage on taunt. This guy does, and of course we also block a little bit more because we kill him exactly on that turn. So yeah, like, like I, I said, like the taunts damage might actually matter, and it actually did. So very cool. Uh, we need to not die this turn though. We do need to, to not die this turn first before we do anything. But um, scheme first. So I can sick or I can hologram the reprogram. If I hologram reprogram. Like hologram reprogram into scheme. Uh, I have one energy left, but I can always sick for aggregate plus a block card. Is that enough to live? You know, no, no, I, I can just sick for like good instinct uh, steam barrier, right? That is always enough. And I don't even shuffle out my hologram plus. Is there any universe where I follow over the item six beams? I need to not die this turn now. So I don't know. I, I do think that the hologramming before the sick is always correct. All thunder to recycle. Yeah, it's a thought. It's actually pretty strong. How much does getting weak down block for? It blocks for uh, 12. So it is less than it's equal to a uh, defense. That also shuffles out the, the thing, yeah. That also shuffles out the, the thing. It's going to be for scheme now. Uh, like, there is a line where we do go over the ice, hollow, go over the ice, hold, go over the ice for in hand, into skipping. But that shop was out of the ice. Which is honestly not even a bad thing. Like, no matter what, we are completely safe here, yeah? But we are basically, we, we just need to set up the next next cycle. This next cycle, no problem. This turn, this turn, we are always safe. So what would I like to not save? What would I like to, to not save? Like what would I like to have in my draw power? The aggregate I don't honestly I don't even care too much about aggregate. So seeking aggregate is not even a huge problem. And no no, it goes from uh, 31 to 50, so it block hotel. The advantage of hollowing um, reprogram is of course we get more scaling immediately. The disadvantage is we don't strip artifact yet fully, but we have um, two beam cells in the deck still. Another disadvantage is that we might need to seek for some lock cards, which uh, decrease the lock density, but we have two holograms in the deck still. So what do I want more? Do I want to strip artifact this turn? Or... And shuffle out the gold eyes? Or do I want to go with the ice in the draw power and get a... While getting a... Uh, another reprogram play. Because this thing is also scaling, yeah? This, this thing is also scaling, so we need to continuously play a reprogram. 
Honestly, because of that alone, I think I want to reprogram. And if I reprogram, I also want to shuffle my go over the eyes skip. So go over the eyes, uh, hologram reprogram. Go over the eyes skip. And then we we'll see what the shuffle is before deciding on the seat. Double check that I have enough energy to do everything. One, two, three. So I save on energy to recycle. There's no void. Yeah, we have not played turbo a single time. So uh, that's good. Every program. I take over the eyes, play the skin. Over the eyes is here again. So we can get to go over the eyes now immediately. I know that I recycle the strike. Unless you tell me to get the thunder. In this part, I can even seek for like hologram, for example. Seek for something like compound driver. Oh, compound driver, every good. I haven't script. Yeah, script was also a consideration that maybe you can seek it for it sometimes. I'm guessing my Yukyong part, yeah, yeah, also what I'm thinking, like, we don't need to stop this turn here. Seeking for... we also don't need to strip artifact this turn either. I'm pretty on the I wonder though, because Skim Skim can cannot be taken. Skim is already here, but we can hologram it back. Let's say and we have like a lot of energy this turn. So let's say I just do um What if I get a second hologram? That's probably stupid. On over the eyes, yeah, yeah, I know I know. Only if we have enough luck already though, because the thing is that if we get the fan and the weakness down with go the eyes, it is still we are taking one damage basically. And oh, this thing goes to 15. This thing goes to 15. So he hits us for 30 and we are blocking for 28. So we are taking one. If possible, I don't really want to take one here because we are on 8 HP right now. So what if I seek for... and then Sunder is fairly worthless now. Yeah, Sunder is on the uh, recycle target. So what if I just seek for the Sunder instead? Like I seek for Sunder and something. So I recycle the Sunder. And then I hologram the scheme draw until leave and that is full blow. That's true, because now I don't have artifact strip. But I can still play two attacks. So with 9 dexterity, this thing is blocking for 14. Wait, 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 wait. How long do I block for 9? Oh yeah, because I play the reprogram one more time. Okay, okay. I actually block for 30 then if I play double of the this turn. So I don't need to reach the leap. But leap is also an empty draw next turn. So I let it draw until here, and then the turn after I draw until these 5. So that's good. So afterwards, I have these five, which is uh, pretty cringe. Actually, that is very cringe. I only have two block cards, and he's freaking hitting for uh, I don't even know how much. We need to draw. We need to draw. He, the next time he hits us, it's only already for 48, and we still have 9 to 17. We cannot scale, yeah? So if we don't draw two turns from now, we are having like, two block cards in hand, and uh, we are dead on the spot. I mean, I can cool it until here's a 3 block card, so it's, it's still dead. 9 dexterity and we have these things. So 15, 15, and another 14. This is 44 block. It's hitting for 48, so we don't die, but... Uh, yeah, not a good spot to be in. We, we basically take another hit. Oh, 
Okay, so we do need to draw then. If we need to draw, then uh, what is it? If I seek for compound driver. What if I seek for streamline to get the uh, out of my draw on that turn? No, no, uh, the turn we are worried about is like two turns from now, not, not next turn. Two turns from now, we are drawing until like maybe here. And most you can reach these three block cards, and uh, it's freaking hitting for like 48. And that's uh, not exactly very nice. Wait, wait, no, no, we are we are slightly deeper, right? We are actually slightly deeper because the the every gate gets full like, right now. Okay, okay. So let's say I seek for I can go to seek for the second hologram. I can seek for like every gate hologram. So we, we dig a lot deeper, but I don't really want to get hologram out by draw power if possible. So let's just say I do aggregate um, compound driver. So draw power is 24, it means this thing giving me 6 energy. So energy goes to 6. Compound driver draws until here. Scheme, hollow scheme draw until here. But then afterwards I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But then after that I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I can actually cool it until here, play the reprogram. Actually, no, 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 then, then I don't have the, the steam barrier. <laughs> yeah, if I draw two cards, then I can reach the... If I reach the reprogram, basically, I don't have the thing in play. So I have 11 activity, but only two block cards, and I'm dead this turn. Hmm, so I need to keep drawing somehow. Yeah, compound driver every gate until here. <laughs> draw until here. Turn after 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And turn end. So we are done for. If I get the hologram instead, I can draw 1, 2, 3 here. Into like 1, 2, 3 here. The turn afterwards, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The turn after that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But whether it can be played this turn, so like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. And then I can reach like script code snap. Actually, it doesn't do anything. Like the freaking script. How are we, are we always dying to forty-eight or what? Like what? What? What is happening? If you're on, always dying to forty-eight, then it would take the line that actually has three three cards on that turn. I win next turn. Yeah, I know, I know. But next turn is not a problem. You see that next turn we are not even being attacked. What I'm scared of is two turns from now. We cannot block two turns from now. It is a problem. You, you, you see my problem here. Like next turn is whatever. We don't care about next turn. What I'm scared of is two turns from now when he attacks again. And we can only get two block cards in hand. See very good instinct defense? Yeah, yeah. That, that light takes damage. But uh, that, that light takes damage. So I'm finding a way to... Uh, do better than that, basically. Because right here we only have 9 dexterity, so we are blocking for 44. But 44 is hitting for 48, so we take another 3 damage. So we go to 5. Is there, is there any any way that we don't take damage to turn for now? What if it's script? Well, what if, what if it's actually script? Portals of weakness, that is uh, getting the hologram, yes. That is getting the hologram, but it does mean that I don't really draw. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, I'm dead 2 turns from now. If I don't draw, I draw these 5 next uh, 2 turns from now, and I'm done for. Actually, no, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. So, I do get to beam cell plus, but that is like no block. Uh, that doesn't work. Okay, what, what if I pull the script instead? I pull aggregate and script? Wait. I think Hologram is not even in my hand yet. What am I even talking about? Oh, yeah, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind, guys. I was like assuming we have a Hologram in hand already all this time. So, uh, script doesn't work. Uh, script doesn't work. Like, hologram script, we are dead on the spot. With, with only 
We cannot get four witness down this turn, unfortunately. But we can pull this hologram. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, it's true. We can pull this hologram and leave this hologram next turn. Oh, next turn. We don't need to draw this turn. <laughs> if we don't draw at all this turn, next turn we have these five. And we don't even need to actually get aggregate. Like, we pull the hologram and let's say... Wood Instinct all the barrier, yeah. And then we just do... Or even or even uh, some some garbage. So so we put the second hologram, and then next time we have these five, which is uh, almost an anti turn where we can hologram the scheme. We can hologram the scheme draw until here. Play the aggregate, play these attacks, and the turn afterwards we have one, two, three, four, five, which can draw into ah uh, the good instinct. It stops here. It also doesn't. Move. This is only two blockers on the the forty eight turn. Can we actually even get here? Like, now that I think about it, like, hologram... If we pull hologram, the second hologram and every gate, and we hologram the scheme... And we hologram the scheme again... So, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Draw until here, the turn afterwards, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Okay, that... That's not work, because we no longer have the second hologram here. So two turns from now, we have uh, only two blockers in hand. And we can play three attacks. So for four block with uh, 11 dexterity. So this thing is blocking for 17, this thing blocking for 16. 33, 37. 37, 48 is not enough. Uh, that is definitely not very nice. It doesn't actually have to be every compound driver then. So like every compound driver and of course uh, this compound driver, yeah. So we pull every and this compound driver. We aggregate, we play compound driver until here. We hologram the scheme, maybe scheme until here. And then one, two, three, four, five, empty turn. And then one, two, three, four, five. No. Nothing works. Like we, we can we can only reach like here. One, two, three, four, five here is not enough. Four turns weakness? How do you get four turns of weakness though? Is, uh, the, the thing is that uh, he doesn't attack next turn, so over the ice does not work next turn. The turn after goes, we cannot reach this hologram. But that's a big problem here. When he attacked with 48, we cannot reach here. It's our, it's our main problem. Like, how do you get to, to this hologram? Because that is the, the thing I'm having problems with right now. Oh, no, you cannot. If I pull reprogram now, if I pull reprogram now, I die this turn. You realize that we still need to block this turn, bro. Like, yeah, like, look at this. Do not assume this one is full block. And then that's the tricky part. That uh, I need to block this turn. So I do need to seek for some block. Uh, to aggregate plus cut draw, just a hologram right away. If I uh, defend, what happens? Defend is all at the bottom of the deck, so it doesn't even matter too much. But what if I put this defend? Let me pull a leap. 
If I pull the, the leap. No, if I pull the leap, I still die. I cannot sweep artifact. Leap alone is not enough block. If I pull leap and steam barrier, however, I can leap this turn, right? 9 is 17, so it's 18 is 15. 18, 15, 33, 45. So it is full block. So if I pull Leap Steam Barrier, yeah, next turn we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here, and I can hologram the scheme. Which draws until here. And that is our turn. The turn afterwards I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which is still dying. That is problematic. But yeah, I'm thinking for a hologram. Uh, I'm thinking for like hologram. Uh, I cannot get double hologram this turn. It's another thing. So we cannot get witness now. I will actually deck here. Because I actually actually yeah. with the hologram not in hand already because I was thinking that one hologram is already in my hand, but without the hologram in here, like can we actually force the, um, this hand to happen? So we need to draw exactly these five, yeah. So I need to draw four cards this turn, which can happen if I pull the hologram here. So I pull the hologram here and the aggregate. Next turn I draw one, two, three, four, five. And I can hologram the scheme, scheme 1, 2, 3 here. The turn afterwards, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here, pull it until here, play 3 block cards, survive. The turn afterwards, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like this. So I can um, reprogram into compile rival until here, into script reshuffle. The shuffle has 3 defense, which is pretty bad. But at least this line, I don't die. Hey, there's actually no way to actually take zero damage two turns from now, unfortunately. And I do need to... A plus compile get me all three blocks. What do you mean? A plus compile means I die this turn. We have one energy. And uh, that's the, the that's a big problem. Yeah, is there is there actually no other line? But I have to actually force the, um, this turn. And that means two turns from now we still have no security, yeah. Because the hologram is so poor and then uh, I just can not draw at all here and then I have three defense. If I have 3 defense, is that enough block with uh, 11 dexterity? The next time he hit us for would be 27 to 54. And 19, 19... We do block 54. We shuffle out 3 blocks, but uh, this is full block. If we don't actually draw. Okay, I guess we go with that. Because uh, I don't see another line. We actually have to force this hand next turn. And in order to do that, we need to draw 4 this turn, which means, uh, yeah, stick for... I mean, like, maybe you can stick for Thunder. Sticking for Thunder is effectively the same as the aggregate, but I get to recycle the Thunder. And keep the strike around, because playing, maybe playing the strike, uh, playing the strike is just better after we, we scale up reprogram. Keeping the Thunder around does mean they have a recycle target for later. So it's not really good. Yeah, regardless of the line we need to take this turn is to um, take for either aggregate or thunder and then um, 
the other hologram. And then we hologram skin right away actually. So I get to play the second hologram. We ship artifact but uh, actually no no we do get two wick now. But two wick is not relevant this turn. It doesn't actually matter. The senior, thank you very much for the sub of the three months. Appreciate it a lot. Question play six, how do you know which card put in your hand in order? No. Six plus you can know because you can do if you use six plus, yeah, you can select one card first. And that card will glow in the draw power. So you select one card, you go back to the draw power and you can see like which one you are selecting. Six minus you cannot do that. You play six minus, the, the card you pick is random. Like random in the, the sense that you do not know which one it is. But six plus you can do it before. So like for example, right here I play six plus and I play I click one hologram and I go back to this draw power and I see which one is glowing and I know which one I am getting. But yeah, I, it actually needs to be this hologram and then we still have to draw this turn. Uh, so yeah, I guess hologram every game and uh, we need to pull this hologram. If we pull this hologram, we are done for. We need to pull this hologram. Because the every game. And yeah, double check the line. Pull uh, the thing and we draw three. Draw two until here, the turn afterwards we have one, two, three, four, five. Turn ends here. The turn afterwards, one, two, three, four, five here, pull it until this. Play three blocks, barely survive. Move on. Yeah, right here. Yeah. I click the hologram first. And then I um, go to my draw power. And yeah, here you see. Like, this one's glowing, so it's a bad one. So, unselect this thing. And pull this thing instead. And you see right here. This one's glowing, so it's the correct one. So now I pull the air wicket. I can hologram the thing and next turn I can hologram something else. So I don't need to draw this turn. So I can hologram scheme next turn. But what does it change really? Hologram scheme this turn is also probably just better. See, because I deal more damage. This turn I have energy, next turn I no longer have energy to even play the thunder. Hologram scheme right now, draw until here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And yeah, that survives. So uh, I recycle dual cast probably, strike is better. Dual cast will never never play for pure. hologram to recycle actually but mm, that deals less damage and we do get to pretty close to killing this guy less soon we need to block like one more hit and this is nothing next turn uh, the lion's force and we are we are barely alive Dude. Yeah, 44 right here. If you enter, we die. But we can drink this. Do I want to put this thing in front? The answer is probably no. Because uh, next turn, I can play Cold Snap if I don't put this thing in front. And I do want to play Cold Snap next turn. 4 energy, 1 here. We cannot play two control rifles. So we program. Well, double check, yeah. 11 dexterity, so this thing's 19, 19, 16. It's um, 54. 54 is exactly full block uh, two turns from now. So our next turn is just reprogram compound driver cold snap strike. That's four energy. And then the fight's over. 
Now such a 19 would be good here. Because now we have to play a second fight with 5 HP, no potion. So no matter which one it is, time meter will probably kill us right away. But um, the weapon one we have a small chance, but we don't we are not that fast. So uh yeah, like 5 HP no potion uh, looks pretty dire. Actually, we just killed this turn. I did you know? Like, only 4 energy. We do not play the second compound. Okay, we don't face time so we have a, maybe a small chance. If we don't die immediately this turn. Uh, we don't. We do not die this turn. What about next turn? Next turn we have 6 plus. Okay, so reprogram that we guess play, yeah? So we can do reprogram Beam Cell Thunder on um, a minion immediately. Followed by Go With The Eyes Compound Driver into Hologram to reprogram all the Go With The Eyes. I don't even know which one's more important, but uh, we'll see. No matter what, the, the first few cards are the same. Like, we have to play reprogram first for Beam Cell Thunder to even kill this. Of course we do that first. And um, Shuriken Strength, if it ever comes, we don't want to waste it on the one we are Sundering. So we, we start with this. We just Sunder. Now... Compound Driver does need to be played, but this thing, killing this thing is more important, yeah. So it's probably go with the eyes on the Awakened One. We don't touch him yet. So we'll go there for a quick one into compound level into for the cultists. And two energy left, so I can hologram the reprogram all the over the eyes, like it's my choice. Next turn is D5, we have six plus in hand. The turn after we have six minus. Uh, this is already the multi hit. If I do not hologram the over the eyes, the multi hit is not going to have weaken. So it's probably tells me I have to I have to hologram the of the eyes and then we can do the reprogram after. Unless that's wrong, but, but we'll see. We actually need to think like immediately. Um also yeah. I think we do not actually want to kill the awakened one. Uh first place. Because second phase is harder to control with the void. So I want to get the first cycle into a state that I have like full block every single turn. Uh, basically, I recycle down and reprogram up a bunch before proccing to the second half. If we can do that without dying, we have won the fight. So yeah, dealing damage here also doesn't make any sense then. Then it's always go with the eyes here. But okay, go with the eyes here into here, yeah? And then a hologram, let's say a hologram for reprogram instead. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can use the puzzle. We can use the puzzle one time. But 5 HP is still enough to use the puzzle. <laughs> Hello, this five. Hello, tactics. <laughs> Another, yeah, yeah. The Red Romancer uh, kind of wrecked us. The burning Red Romancer. How much damage did we take in the Red Romancer fight? It's like 30, right? <laughs> I got away from death for 3 hours, yeah. Honestly, uh, yeah, good summary. But yeah, I really want to pull the the uh, reprogram if I can. So can I do that? Multi hit is eight, so weakens down to six, which is only twenty four. We have zero powers, so uh, this thing never scales. <laughs> so yeah, like get until here. We program and then the turn after we draw these five. Yeah, so I can seek for ritual dagger, kill the minion instantly. This is still enough to block um, this sixteen. If I do that turn three, it's like one, two, three, four, five, which I can draw two. Okay, 
draw until here, draw until skim, skim until here. Um, at the time, every hologram for the Goldie Eyes is only one block card. So even even 24, that's not enough. If we holo, if we hologram reprogram right now, five dexterity. This is only blocking for ten. So yeah, that's not enough. Can we intentionally take the puzzle next turn? Because that, that would help a lot. That would help a lot. So, one two in here. Yeah. This turn we cannot pop the puzzle unless you tell me to not go for the ice here, which is uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's not do that. Next turn, we still can kill this guy, uh, but we might leave him alive still. But let's assume we kill this guy. And this thing is attacking for 16. We have 5 dexterity, so this thing is blocking 14, we take 1. That's perfect, that's perfect. Next turn, a big multi hit. Multi hit is happening 25% of the time. Otherwise, it happened. Uh, basically, you this thing cannot multi hit 2 times in a row. And it cannot uh, single hit three times in a row, but the chance to multi is only twenty five percent. Okay, nine and nine go no. This is just because uh, Act three we chose to pass for um, extra elite with the black star over the shop, and we got Oko along the way. How much does the fish give? Twenty seven. So yeah, first elite gave uh, Oko when we did not pass for the shop. We entered this act with a two hundred gold. And we found like three elites. No, but yeah, if next one, okay, if next one is um, single hitting, then we can exactly pop the puzzle, which is very good. So like one, two, three, four, five here, yeah? and we can seek whatever we want. Kill the cultist, so it's like the ritual dagger for sure. Plus maybe the ascenders bait, but uh, we'll see. And pop the puzzle. So turn three, we draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And four energy still. So I can skim for skim until here. Hologram the um hologram the gold the eyes. Hologram the hologram into hologram the gold the eyes. That definitely works. One energy, two energy, three energy, yeah, that, that definitely works. So if I take puzzle next turn, like one, two, three, four, five here, yeah, take puzzle, draw it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I can even stick for something, which most likely is the. Let's see, we'll see. Like here, yeah, and we draw until here. If I do not stick for anything, the turn after, we'll have these five, which is. Fine, because I can recycle into script and script draws until here. So next turn I still have defend plus. And it is already the reshuffle. And he is still weakened. He's not being weakened this turn, but it's still single hit. And at that point we still have only five dexterity. So this thing is blocking for uh, 13 only. But one more, one more block and we are fine. And we also exhausted a lot of stuff. That's probably the best bet. Like the that that, that is a line man. A single thing potion card ready. Echo has the most here. Echo form. Yeah, echo form would be great. Uh, we can buy any relic though. And if we can buy any relic, uh, there are a lot of things you can do. Apotheosis this could be insanely huge. Like. Apotheosis, another hologram, an echo form, and maybe some potion or relic that helps us not die to, uh, not die immediately. Like maybe even ancient potion, maybe incense burner, something like that. With 800 go, you can do a lot of things if we even get there. Right now, I don't know like, like how how close we are yet, but at the very least, we are not dying first three turns. That is just the line. Then. We hologram the reprogram and continue. That's not 5 dexterity to this block for 14. 14, 14 is perfect. He hits for 16. Uh, 
Okay, so seek for uh, ritual deck with a standard spin or something. I think standard spin is actually quite bad. We probably should seek for streamline instead. Yeah, probably seek for streamline instead because the ascendant spin is exhaust the next turn anyway, and I want to decost this. And we have energy. Core energy is also perfect, yeah. Leap on energy, ritual deck on energy, streamline to energy. Eight hours already. <laughs> It's almost six hours. I think we are at the second second XP boss. How many runs in a row? Like it doesn't form the crown run yet, so it's like crown run into three runs, which are all difficult wins, into um, the close struggle last run into this run. So six runs in a row, and I don't get it break. Like like the the recent six runs are all difficult, and this uh, with with how I play them. Uh, someday we'll get a chill defect run, guys, but uh, not yet. And uh, the, the spy is just constantly getting in the way of my plan of uh, playing two defects on stream uh, per, per stream. Because yeah, it just cannot happen. If the first run is like this, there's no way I have enough energy to play the second run. But yeah, sick for uh, Nexus Streamline then. Then next time we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Wait, 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 wait. If that is the case, I cannot... Um, if I do not seek for the Sender's Bane, I do not get to scheme next turn. Is that a problem? Uh, not really, right? Because I just go ahead. It's only 24 next turn. 24, 24 is not a huge problem. So like 1... And we have Steam Barrier in hand anyway, right? Yeah, we have, do have Steam Barrier. Yeah, yeah, no, no problem, no problem, no problem. Run, run, try to be first trigger. Yeah, 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 sure thing. I mean, I can't play 40 minutes watch your runs. Yeah, it's true. But yeah, we seek for a uh, ritual deck or streamline, and that is fine. And then they tell me to keep streamline in the deck as the uh, recycle target. But yeah, probably not. And yeah, we take exactly one here. It's perfect. Ten thousand? I mean, I think I think Coach doesn't have as much hours as Baylor, and Baylor doesn't have as much hours as Jobs. So I think Jobs is near eight thousand now, and uh, Baylor is uh, six thousand five hundred or something close to that. I think Coach is uh, a little bit above five thousand, like hour wise. He did come to to spiral like way later than the others. <laughs> Zero power, yeah, yeah. Uh, our deck hard counter this thing. I think he thinks that he's good against defect, but he's not. Uh, I mean, I can sick for aggregate. Aggregate is an empty card, or I can leave the sick in the deck. That is also fine. And I think I think leaving the sick in the deck is just stronger. So go ahead and do compound rival draw three, yeah. So we can get to the script. Is getting to the script a good thing? I don't actually want to get to the script. If I don't want to get to the script, it's like compound driver first into go ahead. If I get to the script, I draw a lot this turn. But if it's, that is the case, I need to seek for recycle. I need to recycle every single deck cycle. So let's say I seek for recycle and we draw, do draw into the script. And then I can script for 4 until wood instinct here. The turn after it is still weakened, so it's only 16. So this block of 14 will never die, even if we do not draw a block here. If we draw an attack, it's already full block with ornamental fan. If we draw a block, it's full block. If it's reprogrammed, it's full block. So it's only something like every gate or script, uh, every gate or uh, dual cast that um, break us. Or the, the cool headed, maybe. Paco in the sick, yeah, yeah, but I'm thinking whether I actually want to play script this turn. But it honestly doesn't look very bad. The, the script. Uh, 
on the other hand, maybe you can even do something like. No, 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 no. That, that's not in the block. That's not in the block. I do need to hologram to go up the IP this time. Good runs can be very fast. Yeah, good runs can be very fast. If you if you just play to to win the quick runs, um, like I do that off stream all the time, and very rarely do I have a win over one hour. Like usually it's just under one hour, something like forty to to sixty minutes. On Watcher, I play a lot of Watcher recently, and uh, on, on Watcher, I think all the runs are like below 45 minutes so yeah like when, when you are ahead you, you just like cruise through everything else but you don't even need to take in fights and what that is when you are ahead but yeah if i get to the scrap here can i even draw with the scrap is another thing because my hand is also going to be full yeah so i start with team area do co who had it compound driver so that's like one one, two, three, four, five, six. I need to seek for the recycle first. So I seek for recycle, recycle is dry. Make some hands play. Uh, recycle the dual cast, recycle dual cast. <laughs> then, um, okay, definitely have enough hands play. So I draw until here. I draw until here. Energy wise, I have two. So I spend here, so I have two. So I hologram the go with the eyes. That is already full block with the steam barrier into playing the script and I script until I don't need to play steam barrier actually because I can script until here and then I play good instinct preserve the block on steam barrier to turn after I draw these five with this thing blocking for uh, 13 and his weaken is doing single big hit so at most I take two and the there are only two draws that break me here that is the exactly aggregate or exactly the recycle other even if I break I don't really die so yeah that's good My fire, best fire of the three, yeah, yeah, absolutely. This fire is like my fire, the best one for us for sure in the most common. We win last 100 casual watcher run. I don't even know why they have played 100 casual watcher runs. <laughs> it is another thing. I did the 30, 30 game sample like way, way, way back then. Uh, I, before I even did my, my first silent sample, which was um, like 66% over 50 games. Before I started streaming. How long is the run so far? Like 6 hours and counting. Like this run is 6 hours and counting. From, from way before, I think it was around... Uh, maybe... Like July... Last year? And uh, at the time I did like 30 boss swaps in a row on Watcher because that was the, the belief at the time. And I got, uh, I got 27 entries, so I definitely... I'm willing to do a watch your sample at some point, but probably not not like super mid max. Uh, I probably do some fast sample like Mer just did on Iron Club. I'm pretty curious like how how much I can win when playing like super fast. Oh no, on watch your this. <laughs> Mainly because I don't really want to sit down and play actual watch your runs, you know. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure my watcher win rate is um, above 85%. But um, where exactly it is, I don't know. I have no idea. But uh, above 85%, I know I can get. Uh, but yeah, like, do, doing, doing the line of sticking recycle, this one just good, right? And we scrape immediately. 100 or no, 100 does not happen. 100 definitely does not happen. Because Watcher is a character that easy runs are very easy, yeah. But uh, in any remotely difficult runs, you make uh, one misplay and you can you probably just die instantly. Not because of Wrath. Like, newer players think that because of Wrath during double damage, you misplay during your fight and you die, and it's true. But the uh, difficulty of Watcher doesn't actually come from that. I was thinking, Hannes, well, no, no, that, that's, a, that's a, the problem is that we can't die immediately in the next reshuffle and we have nothing to do. So that's why we need to set up right now. And I think this is a perfect setup, that we draw these four, 
ลุกซอนครับรันสติลเบสเธอรันไซเลนดิสคาเวอรี่บิลดักดิสคาเวอรี่รันกูสเอทเอาเนอะครับ so uh, this thing is getting close but uh, it probably is not going to be as long probably like nobody knows what will happen in Act 4 I just do sick for the recycle recycle the dual cast play um go to play compound compound over skin I mean it's the same right Yeah, we actually no no the the compound gains four more block, but that is also irrelevant. We don't need the four block, uh, so uh, okay, whatever. It's the same. Hologram, do I go with the eyes? Play go with the eyes. Play the script. It does draw four, yeah. So we get to wood instinct, four block, and we don't need to play steam barrier. Oh yeah, so we can actually reach. Ah, it also doesn't matter. Yeah, full block. Next turn we cannot. Mm, even if we break, we don't die. And there are only two cards that break us. Like number one here, number two here. No other card break us. Like all attacks. Uh, ah, no, no, recursion break us. So three cards. One, two, and three. Okay, there are three cards that break us. Everything else full block. Even thunder. Yes, even thunder. And yeah, like the reason we are thinking hard right now is uh, you also see we have freaking uh, four HP. So we break our turn, we are done for. Uh, if I draw, if I know that I'm drawing like over the eyes next turn with the hologram, do I intentionally take this damage then in over playing reboot? But if I play reboot, I take zero. But then the draw does once again unknown. Reprogram is at the bottom of the deck and recycle. Okay, let's say I take the damage this turn. <laughs> okay, but, uh, yeah, yeah. The uh, another thing is that I also uh, I, like like when when I'm picking through my lines, I also like just keep this open. So the time is also like inflated a little bit. Yeah, because uh, you you also see like normal even without the frozen eye, I also do exactly the same thing. I think through my line while having this screen open. So the, the the thing in here is uh, definitely inflated a little bit. <laughs> But at this point, if I take the damage in here, yeah, it's the um, two damage. So we go to two. And next thing I can do, go with the eyes, follow go with the eyes. Maybe quarter until here, and then turn afterwards. I have these five, so I can recycle, and then scrap. But scrap is strong until here. I can play three attacks, like Script, Cold Snap, Strike, for example. But Cold Snap on that turn would evoke this Plasma, which I don't want. And there's only five dexterity, so multi hit comes here, we are dead. Okay, probably reboot then. That's my chest, yeah, yeah, the. Actually, I actually don't even know where, where, where that came from, like at first. I mean, I, I know it's it's from most channel, but uh, I didn't know the context. But uh, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yeah, I'll probably defend. I don't even know. Like, do I play Beam Cell or not? I don't want to kill him. I don't want to kill him. But I do want to. I if I don't want to kill him, I also don't want to saturate him. If that is the case, there's no reason to Beam Cell. Um, the small reason to Beam Cell is maybe we can play three attacks. You can play three attacks to block with Onam Dofen. Ah, it, it's okay. He he does regen. He does take damage from Thorns and our glass though, so we do need to be careful. He doesn't regen that fast, and we do need to play a lot of compound drivers. <laughs> But yeah, I reboot does happen. Otherwise, two turns on I guess messy. Okay, uh, reprogram right here is good, and we can hologram reprogram right away. Two turns from now, compound driver can draw until here, so that's fine. Like he's not quicken, but we do draw until here with four more dexterity. <laughs> oh, that's quite good. Uh, do I recursion? 
Next on these five, yeah. So I just hologram, reprogram, recycle this beam cell, maybe the turbo. But beam cell is probably still slightly worse than turbo. Oh no, recycle? No, no. I mean, recycle do have two targets. Like turbo is not super useful, but uh, we do still need to 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 scale a little bit. Because that turbo is not super useful, but it can still be useful sometimes. In case we are forced to kill our plasma somehow. Right, yeah, next one is like this. Um, two turns from now is like this. There's no draw in here. There's no draw in here. So two turns from now is like this. We have nine dexterity. Nine dexterity, so this block for... We are only being hit for 32. So yeah, this is definitely cool block. Like, Papa Driver will draw, even draw 3, it's not even draw 2, it draw 3. Full block will turn after, once you have these things. With this hand, I can see... We do need to draw a little bit, so we can scrape with this hand. Like, we, we have... Um, yeah, 5 here, this here, 5 here, so we can skip until here. And then scrape, and then go with the eyes. To turn after, once we are... Blind, but we can hologram into shuffle. I kind of want to hologram the recycle if I can, though. But, uh... Okay, we, we can also know later what hit is a multi hit, because multi hit is also random. But basically, recursion is not played this turn, because it still allows me to play the. the uh, cool headed if I need to. And there's no reason to play strike, that's a grand turn. Because it lets me plasma later, yeah, yeah, but it also stops me from playing the two-headed. And I don't know whether I like that. Okay, multi is here, so we have um, a few more turns of freedom. Like, for example, this turn. Do you, you want to go ahead or not? Because if I go ahead right here, I can force shuffle immediately. Like, if I go ahead right here, yeah? Compound River draws one less. But immediately, next turn, I draw these five. So I can just scrape into here. Like, hologram the reprogram. Play my two block cards. Or even hologram the, the recycle, but there are nothing to recycle in here. So hologram the reprogram. Play the reprogram, play these things. And then I scrape until here, get over the ice, and then skip to reshuffle. So that I don't really break. <laughs> don't think making all feature compound? No, no, compound drivers eventually get recycled. Like, we, we are not that far away from, uh, from that spot. And this thing set it up for a uh, safe um, reshuffle, which is the, the biggest thing we are concerned about right now. And the, the safe reshuffle. Because you see right here, yeah? if we don't go in it right now, next time we draw these five. And then I skim, and then I play compound driver, and then I scrape or something. But that... Uh, is, that is that better or is that good? We don't have infinite energy. I didn't strike against play last one, we don't want to kill him. Second half is a lot more annoying to control. So we are what we are doing here is we scale up with reprogram while recycling all the things that break us in the first half of this fight. And afterwards we can win this fight at any point in time. So we don't want to push damage. Shuriken also like completely irrelevant. And he does already take uh, decent passive damage from this, so I don't want to push it further. From both the Thorns and the Hourglass. So yeah, if I don't go at it here, next turn, these five aggregate doesn't give energy, yeah. So four energy is still on me. I hologram the um, reprogram. Yeah, then I don't even have energy to shuffle next turn, or I lose out on one reprogram stack. So I don't play go at it now. Yeah, I don't play go at it now. What is dexterity go? Honestly, it's more about the recycle go. Dexterity is... is uh, just to make our recycling a little bit safer. 
But, but basically, once we recycle down, we can never die. Yeah, I do want to play this. And yeah, of course, we don't play himself. No reason to. Here, um, hologram the reprogram. Play good instinct. Hologram on the reprogram. Play the reprogram. Play the script. And then we shuffle our both the gold time and stream line, which are terrible cards. Yeah, script first, yeah. Because I do want to land over the ice still. This thing we shuffle in is good. Why can I walk like Beam Exactly the same reason. I don't want to kill him. And we are still possibly play Compound Drivers and over the eyes like sometimes. What did I say about Streams? I take it back. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. But yeah, I do want to shuffle in Steam Mario, right? So go over the eyes, play Steam Mario, and then play Skin. Uh, if I draw to Recycle immediately, I want to play Recycle though. Or if I draw to the Reprogram immediately, I want to play Reprogram. What is this team barrier? Like, how many bricks are there in our deck right now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, that's quite a lot. But we can almost, we are almost at the point where we can block with one blocker. <laughs> what third is this? Not that long. Like, maybe 8 or 9. Hello, Paul Fecula? Skimming, skimming. I uh, no, no, no. We have no energy either way. So uh, yeah, yeah. The, the thing doesn't happen. So I do play team area to shuffle it in. Ah, uh, that's not very good. We are still okay. One turn from here. Um, if next one's a multi hit, we are dead though. Oh, if next one's a multi hit, we are actually dead. Ah, we gain, wait, wait, we gain um, 17, 21 block. And we are being hit for 24. Oh, no, no, we are not dead, we are not dead, we are not dead. We, we block for 21 hit for 24, and we have Tanks and Ross, so we survive on 2. Even if next one's a thing. But uh, that's pretty scary. Uh, we, we bottom deck this many block, and we also top deck the one card we don't want to draw. Next one is the multi hit now. This is already full block alone. Next one we need to. He's not weakened yet, so we need to block for 32, but we can easily do that. Uh, reprogram, compound driver, double defend, and we can even recursion. He's already enough block. So that's fine. And here we recycle strike. Scrape is still better than strike. Uh, beam cell is still better than strike because uh, beam cell sucks on and to fan with our energy usage. If we need to do that. And of course, uh, beam cell also makes killing this thing afterwards slightly faster. Which doesn't matter too much. Actually, it does. It does. Because of the voice being shuffled in, we uh, play like one or two blocks, cast a full block, and then we play over the ice beam cell. I do not want to scrape here. I just do this. Next turn is multi hit. And I can uh, recursion. I have 5 energy. So 1 energy, 2 energy here, 3 energy, 4 energy. That's already full block. With 13 dexterity, this is uh, 21, this is 18. So it is full block. Then afterwards, we draw into both the eyes. And afterwards, we have hologram recursion. Maybe you can force another. Oh, but I think I did. Okay. At um, 13 dexterity, that's probably enough. And now, now I actually want to hologram recycle. There's no reason to, to scrap here when we already know we have full block. I get minus here. Of course, of course. It's not much worse than, than strike though, it's just another cut that breaks our turn. That's basically just it. It's a cut and bridge on turn. I 
Yeah, unless I can even play cool headed. And I can recycle a strike. So next how the hit will still don't will still not have weakness, yeah, but uh, also not too not super relevant. I can draw three right now. Um if I draw three I shuffle out two defense, but I also shuffle out two bad cards. Shuffling out two defense is not very good. Going into the multi hit completely blind is freaking scary though I would say. <laughs> I thought that type okay, this is uh, the the same question again, but this fire. Like basically what we are doing in this fight yeah, is that we are recycling down our um, attacks. Like second half of this fight. Second half of this fight, this guy shuffles in points. So uh, it gets a li lot more difficult to actually consistently block. And before that happens, basically we want to take advantage of the first phase. Because he doesn't scale. To play recycle repeatedly. To get rid of all the attack cards, and we only have block cards and weakness, and we scale up with the program. So we have to guarantee full block every single turn in the second half. Blind to multi attack is fine. Have fan for some things to die. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, or monkey, this one is like super cringe though. And unfortunately, uh, or monkey, this one you never see off slot. You never see off slot, you have exactly one leaf, right? So, 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 or monkey, this one will be quite sad. One leaf, right? No bias cock, no echo form, uh, no AoE, yeah? no electro, you are running into two retromancers. But I mean, okay, that is not true. Like, if you're or monkey, maybe you see uh, better cards. Because the, the seed is also very different. But if you see the same cards and this run, then all monkey uh, is probably done for. <laughs> yeah, 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 fine. We could have an inserter. Fact was inserter like, after like one. I who was like frozen core sozu. Was it after like after one? So you pick inserter over battery with like no focus. <laughs> yeah, even Mo doesn't do that. I'm pretty sure even Mo doesn't do that. Like no focus at the time, not a lot of generation, and there's a freaking charge battery. You click inserter. Yeah, cool. But yeah, I do want to, to control the reshuffle if possible. Uh, this thing doesn't... Okay, if I do this, I don't go in blind. I have one turn to know, but... Uh, is knowing really better. We're three consoles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's knowing really better when we actually make our thing worse because we are at the point where two dexterity is enough. Uh, maybe, maybe I actually need to hologram go with the eyes for safety. Well, it was capacity at some point very early. Like, like extremely early in this one, there was a capacitor. Uh, I think before even before we even get a first force, or maybe maybe very slightly after, but definitely before the defrag. But yeah, I do need to, I actually do need to um, hollow the gold of the eyes for safety. Hollow the... Or hollow the recycle. I still need to draw two, two blocks. If I hollow the gold of the eyes, I only need to draw one block, right? Is that true? Um, defend plus or defend plus would be 21. Defend minus would be 18. If it's 18 and I'm facing 6 times 4, I'll take 5 damage so I die. So I do need the... Uh, I do need either the pen plus or the... The leaf, if I want to block with one card. If I hollow the go of the eyes here. Is there any way I can force the shuffle immediately? Not exactly right. What? 
draw until like here. I can draw until here. By doing um, cool headed into hologram the skin. Or just compile driver, hologram compile driver. I can draw until here. And then one block is enough. So next turn, shuffle out these two trains. And I get to know one turn beforehand. Instead of going in completely blind to the multi hit. Maybe there's an argument to push damage. Just in case we are forced to kill. Maybe because when if we draw a hand that is extremely cringe, it means that we have probably three attacks in hand. So if this guy is somewhere close to like 100 HP, maybe that can that can be a kill. I'm saying recycle push damage. No, no, no. I'm saying like we can do both as a, a precaution. I'm saying that we can do both as a precaution. Like maybe maybe we don't want to avoid all damage. But we want to put him in... We still need to play Compound Driver sometimes. But... Uh... If it's in range of like a beam cell plus two attacks, that's good for us. Now Recycle now. Yeah, the problem with Hollow Recycle now is that you, you have... Uh... You realize the problem. You go into the multi-attack completely blind. You draw 5 cards unknown, and witness is not down. We really want to do that. Completely blind. We are on 4 HP, he attack for 32. So we need to draw 2 block cards. <laughs> Likely that happened. Like, how many bricks? Not a lot. If we recycle 1, there's like 1, 2 here. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, um, 10, 11. 11 bricks with 26. Actually, 12. 12. Turbo is also a brick. So, 12 bricks in 36 cuts. Uh, in 26 cuts. So, uh, on average, we are fairly likely to draw 2 blocks. But that is freaking scary. And we are at the point where we don't need to hologram the reprogram anymore. So whenever we can guarantee safety, we can always stick in the hologram repro uh, recycle. Or we can just do like one recycle per next cycle. That's fine too. <laughs> yeah, basically means that I do um, I do force a good reshuffle here. I can hologram something else. Uh, let's see if I just do comparable pool headed in here, yeah. I shuffle out two block cards. But I can hologram the recycle. So it's minus one block in the draw power, but also minus one brick. And of course it, it speeds things up. Is that is that preferable? It slightly increases the chance of us dying on the multi-hit. Um on the next multi-hit. Very slightly. But mm, it makes the overall fight better. But I shuffle out two blockers instead of uh, one. Because uh, if, if, uh, if we just draw blockers here anyway, then it's the same as doing this. And now we just down by one recycle. My limiting everything next turn and then this turn not draw a low. Then I cannot hold again the recycle though, it's the, it's the thing. Yeah, it's true. I can hologram scheme next turn, and I just play block cast in the hologram scheme, and I shuffle out to this garbage. Yes, but uh, then I cannot play recycle. That is the safest. Uh, that is the safest. Actually, is that even true? That is not safer than. It's it's the same. It's the same as the line that uh, has like three in here. If the turn is safe? No, no, the single hit is safe. The single hit is always safe. We are concerned about two turns from now. But um, shuffling out all of these is... Uh... Honestly, effectively the same thing though. If we recycle this right, right here, yeah? 
and we shuffle out these three these two cards it's effectively the same thing as shuffling out these three and we just get one recycle bonus so i don't know like it's not even true i just do code the compound i will run till here recycle the strike or even the turbo and next time we have these four guarantee full block it's still wicked we draw one card in here and uh, one less right in the draw card if we die we'll know immediately now we're going to shuffle those out next turn your three cards can be things that like it, which are Okay, so lock it. Yeah. Yeah, it's true, it's true. So it does make the immediate few turn. It is like exactly the same trade-off, right? Exactly the same trade-off as like drawing until here. So it makes the immediate next few turns a little bit safer. It makes uh, the long run a little bit more difficult. <laughs> Hello, Padassia. Wind condition here, recycling down to the best right hologram reprogram. No, no, we don't need reprogram. At some point, we, we also burn down the reprogram. So we just need like uh, maybe two block cards. We go with the eyes and maybe a beam cell. Out of four cards, we shuffle Zin Void, we draw all five, and we play the whole hand every single turn. That's basically it. Because uh, the thing here is, uh, is that the deck also like, has so much garbage still. Like, one, two... Hell, basically we burn one until like 13 bricks. And the only thing that makes a difference is that like, cool headed, right? Compound driver and... I mean, is cool headed really a brick? If, if the manipulation gives us two block, Because we don't need to block that many times, right? We only need to have two blockers in hand. So it needs to be a situation where we have to chain our draw into some draw. Like we we have to draw compound driver, go ahead and end compound driver in quick succession. And then we don't have energy to play two blocks. For the redrawing the co-editor to actually matter. I don't see it. Like I don't see not recycling right now. Yeah, I actually don't see not, not recycling right now. If the, the difference is like that minimal. <laughs> but uh, we do need to draw three cards. Yeah. So, could it compound driver, hologram, recycle, continue. And he can multi-attack next turn, uh, doesn't matter if it does, if that happens, it's still fine. Uh, if we draw go with the ice next turn, it's still also wood weak chain. So uh, playing this right here is basically just to deal a little bit of damage, do we want that? Maybe, yes. Because yeah, now that I think about it, uh, it's true. Putting this guy down to like roughly 100 means that if, if we completely break on in one turn, then... Uh, yeah, if we, are, if we completely break in one turn, then maybe we can rush in for a kill. So yeah, sure, over here I can be played. Oh, this guy is stupid. This guy is actually stupid. Okay, we are uh, fine this next cycle. Unfortunately, Recycle comes after the Hologram, so we don't get to actually do it in... Um, we don't actually get to do it now. But we can extend Witch Chain. We, we can keep Witch Chain forever here, basically. Um, scrapping until here makes no sense, right? Can we, can we break if we have permanent Wick? Because we have um, six more turns of Wick here. So next time if we don't scrape, we draw until here. The turn after, we draw until like here. The turn after, we draw until here. At the time... Okay, multi-hit is this turn. So this turn is single hit, this turn is single hit, this turn is multi-hit. Multi-hit in here with 15 dexterity, this rock for 20. So we don't even die if it's a, the multi-hit. 
uh, HP loss is real though. So if you don't draw a compound driver, it's like one turn here, two turns here, three turns here. So this is fine. And then the turn afterwards is here. So we can steam barrier into scheme to shuffle all these cards. For HP minimum card, we will 5 HP when we enter this fight. <laughs> So the, 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 the actual scary situation was at the end of the last fight where we got 5 HP, no potion. But we entered this fight with 5 HP and we are at 4 now. Uh, but yeah, now that we know that we are playing double hologram in the next two turns, maybe we don't put the damage here. It is is already weakened forever. And we are at the point where even the steam barrier is full. Is enough block that we don't die to one multi hit. So we do not actually need two two defense anymore. Every turn, one defense is enough. And if that's the case, there there's no longer need to push damage like super urgently because we do need to play some compound drivers. We can stop dealing damage. And uh, can put the uh, this thing back again so that um. We shuffle our opponent without needing to, to play it. Recursion also not important, right? Recursion can can go. The next time we can recycle this thing, it can go. We can just um, close up immediately, play the recursion recur plasma to put it at the back. So the safe uh, the safe back and then hologram to go with the eyes. Next one is multi hit. And we don't want to draw. If we draw right now, we're taking two. So we can also recycle streamline. And now we um deep area is a good draw, so I guess we can shuffle it in. I go pretty far down. Who says the aggregator is bad now? We can draw quite a lot this turn. Can we risk the, the recycle? If we can it would be great. Like hologram the scheme. All of the scheme drawn till here, and then go with the eyes. Next turn we have this still completely safe. Uh, next turn we have this still completely safe, we can recycle a strike. Next turn we have this still completely safe. And we can even end the turn with um, hologram scheme or something to force reshuffle immediately. That's fine, that's fine. But I do want to draw this turn. I want to draw this turn. really want to draw with scheme now. Uh, if I don't draw with scheme, yeah. if I draw with the scheme, I can reach here and then I can reach uh, another three. So I can draw exactly until here. And then this turn, I have one, two, three, four, five. So I can draw until recycle. And then I can even draw to the, I can even play the script. And the turn afterwards, I have one defense, but I forced reshuffle one turn earlier. And this turn is already completely safe. If we don't draw, we can recycle twice, uh, can we? If we don't draw at all, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so recycle, yeah, so we can recycle twice. And this one still stay. We cannot reapply weakness though, so weakness runs out if we don't draw at all. If we only draw one card, like let's say with cool headed, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, this is not amazing. Uh, because uh, then the hologram doesn't have the, the thing. Hologram recycle, we are burning a, a good card, which I don't want to do yet. But yeah, next one, it still has four wick. Mm, it's probably okay. We don't actually need to hologram over the eyes. 
Or I mean, we can also draw five cards this turn. Like, if we draw zero, why not draw five? Yeah. Like, if we draw zero, we recycle strike and post that. But uh, why not draw five then? Because we can. I... If we do that, we are... Yeah, yeah, we, we are just advancing the fight by one turn. So effectively, we gain one week. But basically, effectively, we gain one week if that is the case. So that's no reason not to, right? It deals more damage, but uh, it's still at 140. 140 is okay. After two more attacks, it's at 23, and then go with the eyes again. Uh, it's, still, it's still at like maybe 80. Oh yeah, if we don't keep stop drawing right now, then yeah, shuffle is a little bit great. If we draw two more, we draw until here, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and this turn is safe, we shuffle out two defense pluses, but uh, it's okay, he's weakened, and we are at the point where one defense full block. So yeah, compound driver can be played. Ninety seven, yeah. So okay. Sounds four. We just play this full block. And we do nothing. Next one is the multi hit, but he's still weakened. So, and yeah, we are fine. Um, Scrape does advance the fight a little bit. If I two handed right now, I can hologram. I can uh, reprogram, hologram, reprogram. That is fairly unnecessary. But um, these are still not full block in, in one card yet. If I draw immediately. Draw one, next turn multi, so I am forced to play compound driver, yeah, so it deals a little bit more damage. When I draw until here. Until here, draw until here, full block. And then one, two, three, four, five here, which is of course full block. And one, two, three, four, five here, so I can recycle the aggregate. Into I guess hologram recycle and then we can reshuffle. But the perfect deck is just uh you go with the eyes. Uh Basically, four cards. Like the deck needs four cards, and recycle needs to be one of them. So we have three other cards. So uh, probably, honestly, even like over the ice beam cell hologram. Like it kills fast, so we just need the hologram to full block second cycle. He has two strength, yeah? so it's going to be twelve, and with weakness it goes to twenty seven. We are almost there already, but we do need to reprogram um, a few more times, like maybe two or three more. But yeah, the deck can be like beam cell, uh, hologram of the eyes, or maybe more block cards, it just kills slower. Doesn't matter as much. If you don't have a. It probably has to be a hologram, because if you don't have a hologram, it kills extremely slow. So yeah, hologram over the eyes and something else. Like beam cell is the fastest, but it is not safer when we are doing exhaust down. I also will see. It doesn't also doesn't matter as much. Oh yeah, if I if I could end it right here, yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Here we are forced to. We are not forced to do anything. Next turn is uh, multi hit, but leave alone is full block. If we do nothing in here, this turn go with the eyes and then play one block, and then next turn is like this. We can recycle the every gate or the recursion. Probably recursion. Recycle recursion. Um, can do compound rifle into this and then a hologram that recycle recycle with the aggregate and then shuffle so i could draw one here right draw one draw zero next turn so like here into here into here draw two and yeah perfect do we have enough energy here like four energy this is zero energy yeah so one energy one energy one energy here just yes. we are fine so we do uh, quote this turn. The program holo reprogram. I 
and multi hit look good. Uh, but it's fine. We are at the point where this thing is full power load. here, defense full block, then we cycle two more queens. There is still a queen in the deck, so that probably needs to go next. I mean, we don't need four energy that much anymore, but uh, it will still be nice. Like weakness, pretty close to that, so definitely need to be a little bit careful here. But one block is enough to, to block already. So, uh, this is full block, this is full block, and we can recycle strike. Uh, I do not play compound driver here, and just follow when the recycle, recycle thunder. The turn afterwards, we are still safe. Okay, let's do nothing here. Hologram only block for 26 and multi is 27 next cycle, so that's already enough. We can kill the reprogram now if we need to. Uh, he's no longer weakened yet, so uh, we need to lock for 32. This is only 26. Can we break? Can we break? Next turn. If I do not hologram the go the eyes right now, can we break? Uh, I think we can kill. If we break, we, we just killing. But uh, killing right now is a little bit scary. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit because we are almost there. So how many bricks are there? Any any block? Of course, we are fine. Yeah? So we need to draw three cards that do not block in here and not go for the eyes. And we recycle some right now. So there's like one beam cell. Um, two script. We reprogram. Four cool head and five recycle. So we have five bricks and we need to draw three of them. Let's not be impatient, right? It's hologram over the eyes for for absolute safety. And let's not be impatient here. We are so freaking close already. Need to be careful though, he's freaking dying. We, we do go with the eyes like two more times and he's dead. We, we draw go for the eyes two more times and he's freaking dead. Okay, we are fine. I took mental twice in three leads <laughs> and we also break out draws. Is the, the unfortunate problem. Yeah, next time we can recycle the script, so that's minus uh, two bricks. Twenty three is a block of twenty eight now. Um, hologram block for 28 means that we don't even die to multi hit. Yeah, if we completely fail to draw anything else, so one block is already enough. We live on one. So we we don't want to even play this. Yeah, this thing already alone is a, enough block. We go there. Yeah, yeah. But the good news that we no longer need to play over the eyes. We no longer need to play over the eyes. Because defend right here, you see, 28 plus 4, 32, we have function draw, so we leave on a run. Even if we completely break. Well, this, this command is, I don't even know where, when this command is from. But yeah, that is a uh, very, very long ago. I can kill both the eyes now, but probably killing compound driver first. 
So scheme hologram scheme. Oh, that doesn't actually do anything. I mean, I can even kill the, the plasma orb immediately, though. So if I kill the plasma orb immediately, I can speed up the recycle just a little bit. There's also no need to. There's also no need to. We, we can just chill here. So do nothing, do nothing. This turn we can recycle turbo. This turn is already fine. And yeah, it is fine. Now we can kill the Kuwaitan. And Compound Rival. Okay, we uh, actually survived boss down there. That was uh, a little bit unexpected. But we get to see a for shop, the for shop with 800 gold. So uh, hopefully it has something. Because we are not favored in Act 4. But 800 gold, we can buy anything good. And have yeah, you cannot have Korea. But uh, that's fine. This we cannot break, so doesn't matter if we have no block next turn. One, two, three, yeah, only three breaks, so we literally cannot break from now. <laughs> now to get to back for at least a deep break, yeah, as yeah, this deck. Uh, but yeah, we can we can start dealing damage. We can also keep recycling down. Let's go down, fine. Yep, damage is also fine. You take one of them? No. I look at our deck. I look at this. If you have this, like, do you really care about creative AI? Uh, but, but yeah, like we literally cannot break right now, so we can just go in. Just kill him. And recycle the skin. Recycle the thing, skin is fine. Of course, we have on block card. Like, we can draw, um, recycle, reprogram, beam cell, hologram, and one void. Recycling down to four cards basically is just preventing the case that we draw into two voids. Uh, maybe that is, is enough reason for me to play this game. And we kill this guy quickly anyway. Like, it's like really fast. We actually just kill him like really fast. We will take with the AI? No. Why? 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 Why would we take the AI? What, what does the AI actually do besides uh, putting uh, mid of death uh, damage into our deck? I know, really. Why? Why do you want to take AI for what? It is literally just putting bit of death damage into our deck. And nothing else. And we already have a hard enough time to handle bit of death with a deck like this.
Probably should have recycled reprogram. Yeah, I definitely should have recycled reprogram, but he dies this turn, so we're like, who cares? <sighs> well, that was stressful. <laughs> Almost seven like hours already, and we have just had the Akfor. Which, if we live through the elites, yeah, um, Akfor fight should be the, the longest one. If we actually don't die instantly. Like a break, uh, refill water, yeah. And uh, what do we even do here? Like, we can rest, but probably never happening. Most likely, it's one upgrade, but on what? So, uh, yeah, probably take a short break, and then, uh, then we think about this. How do I have 800 gold? Because I got old coin and did not go... I got old coin from actually elites and did not go to a shop next week. Oh my god. Uh, but yeah, be right back. We did it tomorrow? No. If the if this front dies, I want it to die right now. So uh, we are definitely uh, finishing the run right here. Uh, resting for sixteen, resting for eighteen is a thought. But uh, pentagraph can be dropped from the elites. Maybe we can buy pentagraph in the shop because we are so freaking rich. And maybe toy only top to maybe whatever. I wonder if they have more than 18, I would like to think so. Like especially the the way I'm looking at this the aggregate. The aggregate upgrade means that we don't actually need to we can have much bigger turns. And um even if the aggregate is drawn in the middle. 
it doesn't help us against the turn one or turn two brick uh, against the heart or the edits but it makes our strong turn stronger recycle upgrade is like convenient but it is not what we need to win the run it does not give us like much bigger turns <laughs> hello architect it's either aggregate upgrade sick upgrade um, reboot upgrade or scheme upgrade Right, one of the one of these things maybe coded upgrade over skip but i don't think so okay. I'm, I'm actually just looking at the, the aggregate upgrade i think it's the thing that gave us the highest chance to actually clearly get through the act for elite fights because we, we need to get through that fight like, fairly clear Basically, uh, if we if we break in the first few turns, like we are done for either way, so might as well play into the line that uh, give us a chance to high roll. Also, I being alive intentional like opportunity. I don't even know how many cards we have removed in this deck, in this deck, in this one. Like we remove one zap, <laughs> and I guess that's it. So yeah, we have not gone to uh, many shops in this one. Let's put cards in my deck for the egg weight reboot. I sure hope they don't put cards in my deck. Because if we actually have to face turn 2 um, without like winning the fight already, then it's difficult. It's extremely difficult to block turn 2 with a deck like this, with no algorithm. With no equilibrium, no algorithm, we need to be extremely fast. Which is why I, which is another reason why I want the egg weight upgrade. So that potentially I can even play reprogram like three times on turn one. So it's actually block turn two. There is power in Manfei Hand non-monkey powers. They are only like two non-monkey powers. Right? The uh, echo form and the buffer both are rare. I mean technically you can also pick Halo Wood but uh, I skip a Halo Wood. Auto in shop for sure. Yeah sure thing. A part of us only draw two though, and we also have um Actually, this is only draw two. So even if we bottle the egg there's no guarantee we have a huge turn. I don't see anything else though. I think I think it has a higher chance of giving us a huge turn compared to scheme upgrade. And if we buy more cut draw in the shop, for example compound driver air or a scheme. Or even a mirror. Even if it's a mirror, I don't even know where the what I'm mirroring. Yeah. Because there's a six plus in our deck. There's also but there's also a reprogram which can be mirror makes us scale like faster, like double double the speed. Or we can mirror hologram because it's just an insane card in our deck. <laughs> goes in the giant shop. Yes. <laughs> yeah, goes in the giant we would here. But a lot of things that enable this upgrade. Even if we see like echo form in the shop, uh, this thing also gets echo form in play. Yeah, I'm pretty so on the aggregate upgrade. They were going to perform a lot of turns in the gauntlet. Yeah, yeah. But so good this. When it's drawn in the middle, because you see, uh, every single time we don't draw this at the top of draw power, it doesn't play. Like, whenever we have this thing at the, the very top of our draw power, sure, we have a turn with like scheme, hollow scheme, and whatnot, and we don't run out of energy. But anytime it's in the middle, we cannot do that. Upgrading this allows us to have a big turn even when it's not shuffled in well. Which is uh, the, the thing I'm, I'm thinking about. In Spear and Shield, it is debatable. But we have 800 gold. Oh my freaking god, man. 800 going to this shop. Are you kidding me? Well, this shop sucks. 800 going to this shop. Yeah. And yeah, you have to be the red machine. If we, if we want to take me of death, every turn we take this. Bomb, yeah. Honestly, I'm not even looking at the smoke bomb. Like, no kidding. We have ritual dagger. Like, do not forget. Do not forget, we have ritual dagger. 
So we can we can freaking deck with the spear. Uh, we can deck with the shield on turn one, and then we uh, get the hell out of there. <laughs> of course, it's minus two elite, yeah. And the I want the power potion for sure because there's a chance to roll echo four. But um, the toss potion is also very useful in the hard fight. Do we need more to to win against the hard? This is the thing. Like even if we get echo form from the from the thing, can we beat the hard asses? Because if we if we cannot, yeah, power power isn't even a question. Like absolutely, like we we absolutely take this. It's not even close. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we are always buying two potion which comes with the only top. Though. Always removing. So like here plus the potion. Let's say let's even say we buy the smoke bomb. Yeah, it's like two hundred and seventy. We can buy other four. Andrew can actually play in the, the elites because then maybe it have a snipe one of them on turn two removing yeah absolutely remove is also not close like we've actually removed something if we have a lot of energy uh, money level we can buy things ahead but what what is the remove here uh dual cast right now that we have every eight plus dual cast is just extremely crit I don't want to play more. We can buy everything. I, we have like so much gold here. But uh, maybe thinking ahead is also worth buying. So slow. Uh, interesting. Thank you for the input. <laughs> yeah, uh, appreciate the input. Unless you are talking about deck, then uh, okay, maybe you are right. I would also love the deck to be faster, but uh, what can you do? Banning? No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Like, no need to ban. If, if I want to ban somebody, I will do it myself instantly. The, the boss will not need to do anything here. Like, if it's clearly a bot, then, then you can ban. But uh, it's fine, like, it is actually true. <laughs> like, you look at this one, you think that it's not slow. <laughs> really though, you look at this one, you think it's not slow, I don't even know what game you are playing. Yeah, because even, even for me, this is like two, twice as long as my normal run. Of course it's slow. Ah, uh, but yeah, this is clear, yeah? Remove is also clear, so we have 466. For 66, we can buy both relics and the Taunt Potion. If I buy... Honestly, I don't want to smoke more because we, we still have the freaking Black Star. So, uh... And then, yeah, Black Star has a chance to give us some broken stuff. Like, Lizard Tail, Tori... Um... Uh, what else? Like, maybe a freaking Artifact Potion. And then we meet the <laughs> I mean, maybe the four for meeting elite is uh, is better because we might even just die in that fight instantly. Hendrew, how often does Hendrew play? It does not play on turn one. It can play on turn two. Only if we have dealt thirty damage to pierce the block. We can do thirty damage. Yes. If we get a very big turn turn one with maybe like six strength in here, we can do that. It's dual cast reboot. I mean because I see that uh, there's only one situation where dual cast is useful is that we dual cast the plasma for the elite fight. That will not happen in the hard fight. We need the plasma in the hard fight. So the dual casting the plasma will not happen. If we have to do that, we probably have lost the fight. In early cycle, that is. <laughs> is the deck good? I don't know which way to vote. The deck is okay. The deck is close to being good, but it's not there yet. But it's not, it, it doesn't mean that we do not have a chance. So yeah, Spear and Shield is always for Spear and Shield potential burst energy. No way, wait. Like, yeah, Duo Card is just gone. Duo, Duo Card is just gone here.
And now we have to decide if I buy... I definitely want to buy a potion yeah, after I buy the Honest Author. So if I buy Torn Potion and not work and I still buy thing you have 270, yes. I can do that. We leave for the 50k on Kyo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure thing, man. But, um... Do you really think Henry will play more often than thinking ahead? Thinking ahead is plus one draw. And being able to put hologram on top to prepare for the turn afterwards is like a pretty big thing. I do you really think Henry will play more often than this uh, thinking ahead? Because the Henry does not play at all against the heart yet. Which is uh, not even an easy fight. Thinking ahead is performing in, in both fights. If the Henry plays in the Act 4 Elite, it's going to be more important. If it plays. Without preserve insect, if we want to burst anything down, it's the shield. So I don't I don't really see it too much. So Henry. Okay, it's minus two, minus one. It's minus one. We have the draw. Yeah, thinking ahead is better, right? Thinking ahead is just uh By the way, I would I would buy magnetism here, if you are wondering. If magnetism is here, so I, I just buy it immediately. So if you wonder like what what are the runs where you buy magnetism, this is one of them. Do I buy Jack? Jack minus no. If I have toxic air and this Jack plus, then sure. Jack minus doesn't cut it. But magnetism is actually very good, and uh, of course the uh, transmutation I would probably also buy. This deck also is is a deck that uses transmutation. But yeah, um, how often does other world play? Not very often, to be honest. It can play turn one of the heart. But what would need to happen for other world to play? It needs to be a turn where we do reprogram hologram, reprogram hologram. And then we have a bigger turn to turn after. But on turn one ability it doesn't play because we have compatible bottle. But we can But we definitely do need some turns to, to dedicate the entire turn on blocking yeah, against the heart. And in this is that a good play. Energy is very good for our deck. Yeah, not by that word sounds like complete nonsense. And if I take the thinking ahead, I can only take the Thorns Potion. So that is probably the shot. Unless you tell me to take Henry and Smoke more to, to double prepare for the Elite. But uh, if possible, I want to kill the Elites with the Black Star. Yeah, because we, we do need help against the Heart for sure. And we have 6 tons against the Heart, so if we can block against the Heart, we can kill... Maybe, maybe, maybe we don't even need to deal with that much damage. So we only need to scale our block. <laughs> Henry and Smoke more, yeah. The Giga chat line, that is true. Oh yeah, it's probably just um, Thorns thinking ahead. Okay, hopefully we don't die instantly here, because it can very easily happen. We don't. In fact, we have a pretty big turn here. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is a big turn. We can draw to both six. What the magnets do for us? It give us a, uh, it give us more block cards to use with the thing. It give us apotheosis. It give us a uh, secret technique, dark cycles. While the costing something with my I had, like sadistic nature also like a decent amount of damage. Panache also decent amount of damage. 
Any good instinct is premium. Panic button quite good. Uh, discovery. Those are good countless cards are uh, actually like pretty insane. We are talking against forty percent transport five HP. Yeah, transport is also uh, one hundred and uh, how how much damage in the hard fight? Because the, the potion it drops from here can also be smoke bomb, you know. I am I am definitely not using the transport here. But this thing also gives just drop me a pentograph. Like what about that? It can drop me a very bad potion that I don't want to carry in. Like maybe explosive pot, maybe smoke pot, maybe fire pot. And uh, yeah, it, it, it can also give me some sustained relic. Like, uh, okay, not a bad bio, but pantograph or maybe lizard tail. Of course, lizard tail is 5 HP is still useful, but uh, if we have to actually take 67 to our face, then not so much. Okay, so, so what is the line here? We have a pretty big turn. So Snap Compound Driver draws 3, yeah? And then... <laughs> yeah, honestly, this thing needs to find a new hobby. But we can we, we can do a lot here. Because Compound Driver is already drawing 3. But yeah, Coast Snap Compound Driver, we... Um, play the line first and then we see where we hit because mm, potentially we can kill one of them this turn or next turn if possible we're going to kill this but this thing is much easier to kill does not prevent spots on chicken ring is that bad no no not at all like this turn we are playing a million cards anytime we play three attacks it's already blocking the puzzle and we are playing like some uh, reprograms some holograms some six uh, uh so yeah like if we actually have to use a puzzle here, we can use a puzzle here. Like, if we use a puzzle here and we go in next turn, for example, that is a lie. But that does mean that this turn we do nothing. And I am not interested in doing nothing. Was an eye? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, was an eye. So I know what I draw into. So, like, um, close up, compile driver, draw three. Yeah, draw until here. And then compile driver again. No, no, not compile driver again. Close up, compile driver into script. I'll power up until the script, draw 1, 2, 3, 4. So I get to 6 plus. And from here, I can um, 6 for aggregate plus. Compound driver again, draw 3. 6 for aggregate plus, and scheme for example. Compound driver again, draw 3. Play the reprogram. Um, play the scheme. Think you head into hologram. Scheme again. 1, 2. Scheme again, draw until here. And I still have another 6. Unfortunately, I have not stripped artifact yet. So, and ritual dagger is only 48. But I can kill the spear. I'm pretty sure I can kill the... No, no, not the spear. I'm pretty sure I can kill the shield. With, with this line. Are we relevant yet? Absolutely not. If we can strip artifact from the spear and kill the shield immediately, uh, we can do something. Because we have Tungsten Rod, so he also doesn't hit as hard as usual. It's only 40 damage. But we do need to, to set up the next turn, basically. Nah, maybe not aggregate scheme. Maybe, maybe aggregate hologram is better. So like, yeah, I draw until here, yeah? And then I scrape, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I compile driver again. No, no, I sick first. Sick first for aggregate uh, hologram. And it's the second hologram in here. Take first of all, aggregate hologram, play the aggregate. Draw 3 with the compound driver. You have another 6 in hand, so like, reprogram. And... Um, hologram, the compound driver, play the compound driver until here. Still have another 6 unused. Thinking ahead, and then draw until here. But we draw until here and then stop. The next turn, we only have these three, so it's going to be quite a bad turn. But we block for with two cards with um, two dexterity. Three dexterity, so this is 10, 11, 11, and this is 8. So we block for 19, 
We take uh, 22. And then turn 3, we are okay. If we go for this thing, can we get vulnerable, vulnerable down immediately? And yeah, yeah, I can, I can. That's why I'm saying that I can pull uh, this hologram. Hmm, it, we cannot change it with the schemes or turn or turn kind of stops like just in the middle Which is slightly awkward because the, we do not reach the second beam cell, we do not reach the deck though. But it has to be, it has to be that way, it has to be um, compound first into scrape Scraping after makes no sense yeah, scrap, scrapping after makes like zero sense because um, it missed the reprogram. I do want to play repro reprogram immediately. <laughs> How much energy do we actually have? So we'll draw until here, yeah. Um, and then scrape until here, and then at six. So at this point, draw power is minus nine is twenty one. 31, so we get a 7 energy. 7 energy, I have 11 this turn. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, 8, 9. Maybe 6 for ritual dagger is 10. So I think I can use all the energy here. I can I can use all the energy. So can we can we kill the shield this turn? Uh yeah, it's time to count damage. So close up comparable 13. Okay, okay. So um six close snap. Seven compound. And we draw until here. And then next is the um But we can beam cell first, doesn't really matter. I can pull one hologram. I don't need to risk the second hologram. If they're not attacking on turn one, that's really annoying. Because then I cannot actually get vulnerable down here. If this thing attacking is attacking me on turn one, the open the eyes can strip. And uh, I can hologram the beam cell to actually vulnerable this. I can vulnerable this guy, but that is probably not enough. Okay, we, we, we'll see. We just count. So 6 goes nap, 7 compound, plus uh, 4 on beam cell. 4 beam cell, plus 1 strength. 1 strength. And uh, afterwards is scrap. Yeah, afterwards is scrap. Draw one, two, three, four. Scrap uh, at this point is dealing eight. Eight scrap. Go run till here and then seek for hologram aggregate. So I play the aggregate. Still have one compound driver in hand, yeah. So I play the compound driver. Compound for it. Eight compound. And then I play uh, the reprogram. So reprogram. Free strength. So I draw already drawn till here. Hologram is in hand. Why didn't they just hologram the reprogram right there? 
we are already drawing until here so i can draw until here into thinking ahead put the hologram on top play um put something else on top like a defend very good instinct yeah if i, if I draw until here stop drawing so one two three here and i could add the uh, no no that doesn't work that doesn't work it blocks more than this though it does block more than this like one more Miracles plus <laughs> one sphere shield dies too hard. Yes, <laughs> at the moment that is the that is actually true for deep But right, this rank in turn miracle runs. I mean, this is my longest defect run uh, to date. So uh, yeah, take that as you will. But yeah, reprogram and then um, each rank, and then I can do strike. We can never, we, yeah, we, we can never um, strip artifact this turn, unfortunately. So I do strike. Strike by this one is 9 damage, so 9 strike. And then 4 strength. Um, and then I can do compound driver. Basically, the head at the time is like one compound driver, one hologram, one sick. So, compound driver again. Compound now is 10. Nice. Uh, yeah, 10 compound. Oh, 4 strength is at like 11. 11 compound. The compound that's wrong until here. Wait, 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 that is not true, that's not true, that's not true. Maybe we can do something bigger, like, yeah, one compound driver until here, take two compound driver until here, and we get the uh, one hologram on AUK, okay, so we aggregate the whole, oh, no, 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 we, we only use the second compound driver. The compound driver until here, scrape until here, compound driver until here, stick, and then hologram the compound driver until here, thinking ahead, Get this and then compound driver again, which can draw two, not three. Okay, okay. And then we do need to compound driver 11 compound and then go the eyes. Is eight go the eye. And um, then is hologram compound driver again. So it's 11 compound again. By this point, we have five strength. And that is when we draw until here. So we still have a sick in hand, yeah? And we can do sick for ritual dagger. Maybe we can do sick for ritual dagger and then uh, double strike ritual dagger. We have one more strike in hand, so we can do triple. Now we already played the strike. And yeah, we already played the strike here. These strikes are discarded with the, the thing. Uh, and we have to use all the attacks in hand. So we draw into two strike here and that is the uh, our turn. So two strike, strike one, five strength, so strike is 11, 11 strike. 11 strike again. And ritual dagger plus five strength is uh, 53. Okay, how much damage is that? Six plus seven plus four plus eight plus eight plus nine. Plus 11, plus 8, plus 11. Plus uh, 11 again, plus 11 again. Plus uh, 53. 147. So we can kill this. If that's our 100% kick, yeah. Kill shield with our Binza with the yeah, we, we overkill this thing by like 22 damage. So we can actually put the uh, beam cell end over the eyes here. Now I'm even thinking is there any chance that we can kill this guy? Uh no way, because that means I need to I need to hologram. 
So I lose two strikes worth of damage, but I can hologram the beam cell instead. So I lose three strikes worth of damage, but I gain uh, vulnerable here for because yeah, I can start with the uh, beam cell minus, uh, beam cell plus, and then I go go for the eye, and then I hologram the beam cell plus and put it here. If I can kill this thing on turn one, it's like way better. So can I can I do that? It doesn't take damage from taunts. Yeah. Because if I don't play combat rifle next, and I also have two strikes. If I still have two strikes and I have um, how much strength will I have this turn? Like five strength, maybe four. Then these things next turn are dealing thirty damage. You think next turn are dealing 30 damage already with vulnerable still on? Okay, okay, we, we definitely should calculate the line to hit the shield. Uh, he hit the spear. We know that we can kill the shield, but uh, this is the line hit the spear. So the first few cards are still the same, yeah? Like six cold snap. So hit spear. Six cold snap, uh, seven compound. Four beam cell. One strength. And afterwards, it's still the same. It still has to be script into six for eight script, and we still need to play the compound driver. Yeah, six for aggregate hologram. We still need to play the the compound driver here. So eight compound, we program. Uh, three strength. And then uh, we don't need to play the strike actually here. The order is different because we can apply vulnerable. So at the time we are drawing until here. Uh, with one hologram still in hand. So this is the way we play the hologram immediately. Yeah, we play the hologram immediately for the compound driver. So we play the compound driver here instead. Which is uh, another 10 damage on compound. Or strength. Holo. Holo compound. And then 10 damage on the compound. Or strength. And at that time, we are drawing until here. So we play. Go with the eyes. We play Go with the eyes. Go for the eyes is uh, eight damage. Eight go for the eyes. Thinking ahead. Thinking ahead. Reach the hollow in one strike. Yeah. Hollow plus one strike. So now we hollow the beam cell first. And beam cell at that moment is eight damage. So eight beam cell. Apply vulnerable. That's too vulnerable. Um, at that point in time, we this strike is still unplayed, and we have another strike in hand, and the six is still in our hand. So now we can play the strike. At four strength, your strike is ten, so fifteen on strike. Five strength. And 16 damage again on strike. With uh, yeah, 5 strength, 11 go to 16. And then Richard Dagger also plus 5 strength. Which is 53, 53 vulnerable plus 26. So it's 79 Dagger. How much damage is that? So 6 plus 7 plus 4. Plus 8, plus 8, plus 10, plus another 8, plus uh, 8, plus 15, plus 16, plus 79. 169 damage. So we are 8 shot. We are 8 shot, but... Um... So this is the life on 8 HP, yeah? Oh my god, don't, don't tell me. But yeah, he's alive on 8 HP. 
Um, the turn afterwards, actually, we only have one strike here because we do play this strike. Hmm, maybe only one strike is different. One strike is not enough. With um, and we only have five strike. Fourteen? No, no. We we only need to block fourteen. It's not forty. Forty uh, only comes on turn three. Turn two, we only hit with fourteen. Oh yeah, uh, you're asking if we kill shield. If I kill shield, turn 2, I only have the defense plus and maybe a wood instinct. With 2 dexterity, so I'm blocking for... I'm blocking for like uh, 9 here. And defense plus is 11. So I'm blocking for 20, I'm taking 22. 21. I'm blocking 21, uh, I'm taking 21 turn 2 if I kill shield right now. So that is why I'm thinking I, I want to kill spear. Yeah, it's 8 damage shot. Uh... Eight damage shot. And this turn he blocked for 30, yeah? And he gains, uh, and he lose 6. He lose 6, he lose another 3, so he lose 9. So he gains only 21 block and still vulnerable. So he is at 29 with vulnerable. We have 5 strength. So this 11, 16, we are 13 shot next turn. If I use this potion, we are 6 shot. So um, no, no matter what, it's not enough damage. Like, it's just barely off. Script? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. I play script. We still need the, the most of the line is still the same. But the line still has to be the same until we get to the second hologram. And when we get to the second hologram, instead of hollowing the compile driver, we hollow the beam cell. But we draw one less card here that we don't actually get to this strike, unfortunately. Getting to this strike would actually kill this turn. Yeah, so I guess we accept the 22 damage then. Uh, unless I miss damage somehow. What if I, yeah, what if I ignore the reprogram? Wait, 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 wait. What if I ignore the reprogram? Like I do... Something like this. I do compound driver first, yeah. Draw until here. Compound driver again, until here. And then I script. So I have to check Streamline in my hand. So I ignore the reprogram. But if we if we immediately kill Spear in turn 1, we don't need the reprogram in, in play yet. Blocking 40 on turn 3 is... is uh, 38 on turn 3 is difficult, yeah? But uh, if we can kill this thing on turn 1, we don't really care. Okay, so... Okay, how is that? How is that? This line, we might lack energy, but uh, we'll see. Do we do we lack like energy? This line we spend a lot of energy, like an insane amount. But let's see, yeah. Because we can still play turbo, so we actually have, have more energy in stuff. So one energy here, two energy, three energy on the scape, four energy on this, five, six energy, seven energy here. But the script draws until here. And if we pull, yeah, we pull hologram um, aggregate and draw pass minus 12, so it's 18, this thing is only giving 6. So we have 10 energy, 12 energy only. It's only 12 energy. So like 1, 2, 3 here already, because aggregate is 4. 6, 7, 8. Um, dagger is 9. Hologram is 10, Streamline is 11. And the second hologram is 12, so we spend exactly all our energy. Huh? Huh? So, so, okay, now we calculate damage for this line. Because uh, this is this is like actually like super, super, super clean if we, if that works out. I don't even know whether this line is actually more damage or not because we um, 
might play like one less right but um, we'll see so the line is six coast now seven compound uh four beam shell one strength the, the stat is still the same and yeah of course we, we no no not that we played one less right but we don't have reprogram so it's like only already minus two strength one strength And afterwards, we are not playing script yet. We draw until here. Uh, play the turbo, play the barrier, doesn't matter. Get cast out of our hand, so we have space to play the script afterwards. But uh, compound driver is played immediately. So now it's 8 compound. Uh, script second line. Okay, so 8 damage on compound. Okay, we draw until here already, we draw until here. And now we make hand space. We play Wood Instinct, whatever, crap, or Turbo, um, Steam Barrier, and then we script. So now, now is a script. Uh, save 8 damage on the script. Now we have double six in hand. We discard these two. So now we six for six for hollow um, six for um, hollow aggregate. Play the aggregate. And yeah, six six for the second hollow. We need to make sure this one is very crucial. Take a uh, second hollow brand. And then play the, the aggregate. So we are currently here, yeah. And then we play um, compound driver. We already play two compound, so we need to hollow the compound immediately. So hollow compound. Play the compound. Compound is eight damage. And we draw until here. Um, with this, we go to full strength. And yeah, now now we are here. Um, so go for the eyes. Go for the eyes is six. Six go for. Um, hollow and the beam cell. Hollow beam cell. Uh, thinking ahead first, uh, of course thinking ahead. Thinking ahead. And then hollow the beam cell. And beam cell now is also sick. But vulnerable is down. That's cool about. Uh, and in our hand at that moment, there's... Two strikes. And one streamline and one sick. With two strength strike first is more efficient, so terrible damage on the strike. That's right, now three strength. With uh, three strength, the streamline becomes more efficient, so now it's 27 damage. 27 on the streamline. Uh, order doesn't actually matter, we only have three more attacks. So three strength, now 13 on strike. And Ritual Dagger at the finisher is 51, goes up to 76. And that's our entire turn. So how much damage is that? Uh, 6 plus 7 plus 4 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 again. Plus 6 plus 6 plus 12 plus 27. Plus 13. Plus 76. 181. 181, guys. And this thing gets 177. So we do kill him on turn 1 if we do that. Uh, okay, so uh, now now we check um, that the cast can be played in the correct order. And then we check the energy in total. Streamline 27? Yeah, yeah. When we play the streamline, it's already vulnerable. And we have 3 strength. 
So three strength is 18, 18 with vulnerable and also 27. So, so we, we check that the cards can be played in the correct order and then we check the energy and uh, if that is the case then it's perfect. Okay, so the line this turn is... Um, yeah, close map from Power Rival first into... How much the dagger? Dagger is 5, uh, 48 plus 3 is 51. So 51 vulnerable 76. So yeah, um, that will check the line, yeah. So, uh, post snap first into compound rebel to be himself. It's easier to count energy again. It's easier to count energy again. We have um, six energy here. And we draw, we strip until here first. So draw power is 20. We six for two cards, draw power has 18. And we get upgrade is plus six. So it's only, yeah, it's plus six. So we have 12 energy. Energy is spent in total. One close up, one compile, two compile. So that's three. Scrape is four. Um, hologram every get is six. Compile rival is seven. Um, hologram is eight. Strike is nine. Wait, we are one energy short. Ah, that is 13 energy. We only have 12. And even even with the aggregate first, that's not enough. Because, uh... Ah, uh, we, we, because we... With this line, we pull the aggregate later. So we lose our own, like, one energy, maybe two. And we need, we need the 13 damage from the strike. We need the 10, 13 damage from the strike, otherwise we are dealing only 168. If we're thinking ahead the strike on top... If we do that, what happens? We don't have reprogram in this case, yeah? And we also don't gain another strength, so it's 3 strength only. And this is... Uh, P strength only so is 6, so it is 9. 9 is 13, 26. 26 with um, 9 damage, so 35. We get plus 5. We get plus 5, but we get minus 13, so we get um, minus 8. 173. We are 4 damage short. With the Taunt Potion, we are 2 overkill. So if we use Taunt Potion this turn, we are we are 2 damage over. Next turn. Not this turn. Okay, we draw until here. We draw again until here. We sweep until here. Compile again until here. Thinking ahead. We don't have energy to play all the strikes, so we put one strike on top. Yeah, we don't have energy to play the strike, so we put one strike on top. And uh, next, the turn afterwards, we are drawing strike, strike, who had it. So we, we can play two strike the turn after. This thing is still vulnerable. If that is the case, we don't even play reprogram. So this thing does block for two next turn. So that would mean that we draw these three, yeah? So I can put it into the defense. Play two strike, kill this and play this. Which is uh two block and then nine block, so eleven block. I take six. Turn three, this is my hand. This hand suck. Unfortunately this hand suck. Hey, is it that bad? Is it that bad? Like this hand. Can we attack two with the hollow is twelve energy? We stream like is it? Like one, two here, three, that's already three, yeah. Four. We play hollow, we play compile river again, so that's five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten energy with our attacks. And we play two holograms and one aggregate. You, you are forgetting the energy cost of this thing. This cost one. And then that's the problem, we are one shot. 
We only have 10, we need 13. We can kill next turn if we uh, do the... So if this line takes less than 22, we can go for that. We, because the other line, we do the reprogram, yeah? And we go for the shield immediately. Uh, the spear is more difficult to control afterwards. And he, she shuffles in and more things. What is this? Okay, I can check it out. Spear and shield damage, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, 181, yeah, yeah. 181 is probably the, the, the same I have, but uh, one energy is short. <laughs> but yeah, turn 2, we have these four. We take uh, 6, turn 3 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But mm, at that point, the plasma is in front, so I can recursion for one energy. I can scheme for 1, 2, 3 until here. And I can recycle this thing if I need to. I don't need to. So I can play 3 block cards and being hit for 38. With no weakness. So uh, it's like, how much damage is that? Reprogram is not in play, yeah? So it's 9, 8, plus 5. It's 22. 25. 25, I take 12 damage. So I take only 18. So I take 4 less damage while not having any... While only having two burns in my leg instead of maybe four. Does reboot work for exhausted card? No. <laughs> it's suddenly still being alive. Yeah, yeah, it is alive. So yeah, the best we can actually do here is taking 18, which is uh pretty unfortunate. One energy is short. <laughs> yeah, yeah, turbo plus will be good here. We cannot evoke this plasma, right? If I can evoke this plasma right now, I would, but I cannot. Yeah, not possible. I think the original line, if we, if we go for this guy first, then uh, 53 dagger, and we can put over the eyes, the thing here. In that like way, do we draw until? Like, we draw until here, right? So the two, we have this. So do we have this again? Go ahead and kill here. But whether it blocks nothing, so we block with these two. Um, we can recur the plasma, but that doesn't do anything. Turn three, we draw one, two, three, four. Incel can be used. Five here. But yeah, basically we have put no damage on the on the spear on turn three. Bye bye turn three. And then turn five, we probably get our pace. <laughs> no cast can be good here, yeah, yeah, sure. It's not in front, though. No. The, um, the the plasma is not in front. It's the another problem. Plasma is only in front after we play the weather, so the dual cast doesn't do much. But if I hollow every get and compound instead of roll the ice and beam cell, then I can never kill this. And then it's just the original line. I draw until like here. With no vulnerable down, we, we cannot kill. Yeah, because you, you see, yeah, we are currently drawing until exactly like here. And then we put one card on top. So our top of the draw pile would be whatever we put on top plus this strike here. A part of it can draw three, which is like, yeah, until here. And then what? Our turn still stops, so we don't even get more damage. We gain... Uh... Do we even gain anything? We gain nothing, right? Yeah, we, we gain nothing. We gain nothing. We just lose damage. So yeah, I guess uh, we use Pawn Squad and take 18. We, we use Pawn Squad and take 18. Hopefully after that we take no more damage. We, we can still can take damage. Pretty unfortunate. Like very close, very close. I need a stick for dagger, not for dagger, but for the scheme. Doesn't stop. Turn stops though. Like we draw until we are already out of energy. That's the thing. We are already out of energy, and at most we can draw until like plus three, plus four, so until like here. We cannot get to the dagger naturally. Is the, the unfortunate part. 
Or like read again. No, no, if I do not hollow compound, that line is already hollowing compound once. So we only have four holograms. Like our third hologram is taken by Renwin. <laughs> if a power port is in that my missing one energy, I would like to save power port for, for the heart, if possible. It is true. Power port right now can deal with it. Like it gave me map fire hand energy. But uh, I do think power port is more valuable in the heart fight. Echo form basically. Like we are very much not favored in the hard fight. And a echo form is a major out. Because yeah, you, you see, this potion is only dealing damage in the hard fight. It deals a lot of damage, but it is only dealing damage. Damage is not the number one concern in that fight. Our concern is that we cannot mm, reprogram fast enough to block. And uh, the echo form just accelerates our deck an insane amount. And even Hello World is good. So, like, Mapper is potentially good. Echo Form is insane. Uh, and Hello World is fine. The other powers, maybe Loop is okay sometimes when we can put the Plasma in front. But uh, everything else will break. So, not, not extremely likely to get us something good. <laughs> but if we need it, we need it. Take plus for every and three foot. Yeah, yeah, sure, I can do that. <laughs> I mean, no, no, like, no kidding. Like, if we do that, like, how much damage are we actually lacking? Because, uh, okay. We can sweep until here, yeah? Uh, and uh, if I seek for, like, aggregate and uh, reboot, and not the hologram. First compound until here. Second compound until here. Sweep until here. Seek for hologram reboot, so our turn stops, like, here. But I can seek for ritual dagger and play ritual dagger beforehand. I uh, then then there's no vulnerable. No no vulnerable on the dagger. Yeah, definitely not it. Out of the energy. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. So yeah, I guess we use Thorn Force and take 18. Then. And uh, yeah, I sure hope uh, this power potion delivers because it can also easily completely break. This can also easily completely break us in the hard fight. And then we are extremely sad. But, uh, what can you do? So yeah, uh, let's do the line then. This line we need to put all the damage on the on this thing. Get up on the top, you completely lost position. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, if this thing attacks us on turn 1, it's like way better. It's uh, basically the idea here. But he doesn't. Wait, wait, we take 6 damage. Wait, wait, turn, turn, three. turn 3 is different. Turn 3 is different. I'm not factoring in puzzle on turn 2. So turn 1 is like that. Turn 2, we take uh, 6. And then turn 3, turn 3, where we, where we do we draw into? So we draw until here, yeah? Um, and we, we uh, set up the strike. So turn 2 is like this. We draw until here turn 2. Turn 2 we actually draw 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Wait, wait, no, no. Ritual dagger is gone. So like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Dagger is gone. 6, 7, 8. So that, that is actually a lot more block. That's actually a lot more block. Because I can recycle Thunder and then skim into the hologram. Okay, this this actually takes way less than an 18. Okay, not, not way less, but way less immediately. But I think for what the puzzle? Puzzle prop turn 2. Oh yeah, so, so uh, for, for what I said, guys, this pattern is a good one. Because otherwise you cannot use puzzle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, completely disregarded, uh, disregarded what I just said. This fighter is actually the good one. Okay, so we go for uh, for the kill then. Super check because if we fail to to actually kill here, uh, we are like super mega done for. Uh, but yeah, put the uh, strike on top here. Thinking ahead, put strike on top. And thirteen strike does not happen. 
Turn afterwards we turn to double strike. 26 double strike. With um, 6 on pawn. No, no, uh, yeah, 12 on pawn. Uh, 3 from out of that. It's 41 damage, so it's plus 11. It's enough. It's enough. Okay, so, so we go for, for the line then. Need to play the, the cards in the uh, correct order. Yeah, we play in the wrong order, we are done for. So, go snap first into compare going to be himself. Uh, and yeah, yeah, we use uh, the bronze, liquid bronze. I mean, we can not use the liquid bronze if we, my math is wrong. But uh, <laughs> if we write everything down on the sheet and also use calculator, it's probably not wrong. We can use it at the end, no, no need to use it now. So, go snap. I uh, can take turbo. Turbo needs to be played this one. I can play it first. Then um, compile driver into beam cell. And then compile driver again, yeah? Compile driver again. Good instinct can be played just to get out of the hand and then we can um, script. Now we use 6 plus to get the um, hologram, the second hologram, not the first one. Very important to get this one. So click the hologram first and then see. Okay, we this is the correct one. Hologram aggregate. Okay, there we get. And yeah, you, you see the aggregate upgrade. We can only do this because of the aggregate upgrade. You also see it plays. Play egg with, and then we hollow the compound driver. Play the compound driver. Uh, um, stick for the dagger over the eyes. Take for the dagger and then thinking ahead. Yeah, thinking ahead. Uh, put the strike on top. Very important to put strike on top. If we don't kill, we can better and kill next turn. No, no. If we we need vulnerable on the strike to to barely kill next turn. Like we need the vulnerable on the double strike next turn. Like like you you realize the next turn we are drawing two strike and a cool headed right and nothing else. We are drawing three cards. So we need the double strike to finish this, this guy. So yeah, like we we put the strike on top. Extremely important. Take for the ritual dagger. This is where you don't get dagger damage, but uh, whatever, doesn't matter. Hologram the beam cell. Play the beam cell here. And play the strike first. Now, streamline, ritual dagger. On potion. Lightning could have hit this too, but uh, we don't count on that. You see here, we overkill by 2 damage. Yeah, yeah, we, we overkill this thing by 2 damage. This turn. We deal 26 and he has 24. Okay, okay, fine. We could it first and deal 8 damage here, but I don't want to rely on 50-50. Uh, 
Uh, 8 damage is not even enough though. Yeah, 8 damage is not even enough. We do need to put more strike here. Yes, we do that. And go ahead. Actually, yeah, this, this way we even have two force, so we barely take damage. Like, I was thinking we have one force. But we have two force, so we block for 13. So we block for 9, we take 4. <laughs> yeah, we take 4. Next turn, puzzle proc, so we draw exactly 8. Okay, so um, can recycle the Sunder. I have no interest in uh, entertaining Sunder. Can recursion first though. I do not care about redrawing the recursion, so, so maybe recursion after shuffle is good. But yeah, recycle the Sunder happens first because I want to shuffle in block cards. And there is a chance that we draw redraw into Void. Uh, it doesn't matter. A recycle Sunder happens. Uh, I do want to ship artifact, but do I want to shuffle in the beam cell minus? I do still need to draw into block cards, yeah, because this thing right here is only blocking for 29 at the moment. So, um, 29, 33. So, depending on what we draw, we are still... Ah, uh, we have reboot, we have reboot. Ah... Uh, Probably do want to shuffle this in, yes. I do want to shuffle this in. And then, um, defend it. If we put dagger on top, do I just miss the dagger prop? Oh, maybe, yes. Maybe, it's true. I, I could have put, uh, I could have sick first and then put the dagger on top. Yeah, 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 whatever. It's like uh, 3 damage in the, in the hard fight, 5 damage. Surely would never fail to kill the heart by 5 damage. Yeah, no chance. But honestly, it's honestly no chance. Like, um... If it lasts long enough to, to deal that much damage, um, the heart should be done for. Because our biggest threat in the heart fight is first of all dying immediately first cycle, yeah? And then dying second cycle because we cannot sweep out fight. When the third cycle comes... Hopefully we can, we are already in shape. Otherwise we are already dead. <laughs> 8 hours? I mean, uh, yes. We, we are 8 hours into the run. How many, how many fights do, do we have to do something like this? Like, uh, we actually have to, to beat max every single fight. When do they start? The uh, first right to mental fight. And then the second Red Man so fight. And then both of the boss countless. The um, double of walkers was also dangerous. And now Spear and Shield. <laughs> second run after. Yeah, sure thing, man. So yeah, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 fights so far. That we actually need to beat Max. And uh, Frozen Knight alone doesn't win us a fight. Because we need to play for more than one next cycle. <laughs> that, that is pretty... that's pretty harsh. Yeah, I think I play all blocks and then skip. Maybe not the defend minus. Defend minus a little bit cringe before the reprogram. So script gets me good instinct but it also... Discuss the void. I mean, defend is already full block, so I can play defend into reboot instead. So we don't have to care about the uh, void draw next turn. Is this draw power good enough? Like this thing gets 99 block. Of course, echo form AI AI into echo form is a little bit weird. But of course, if it's AI plus two bricks, I pick the AI. Even if it costs me mid of death damage, because maybe by clock can be emergency block, uh, just a little bit, and the chance to create a buffer on the sixty-seven turn is uh, good enough for me to take. If we have nothing else to latch onto. 
But yeah, if I do nothing here, next turn I do beam cell strip into compound driver draw two. So I draw until here. Um he might attack, he might not, doesn't matter, because next turn is like this. The turn after the the 38 and we draw this hand. Which is unacceptable. But we can hologram the compound driver, for example. So we draw these five next turn. Compound driver into the hologram. Into a compound driver again, draw until here. One, two, three, four, five, this hand. So if he attacks on this turn, we are still okay because uh, we are, have not played this reprogram a single time yet. So this thing actually locks for, for 5 or 7. The turn afterwards we draw until this 5. It is, that is terrible. This is a 38 turn. That is a 38 turn. But when I scrape this turn, does that change anything? If I scrape right now, yeah, next time I draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I can um, hologram the... Honestly, I can even hologram the script. Uh, the script. If I hologram script, I draw 1, 2, 3, 4 here. Okay, this turn... If I script right now, yeah, next turn I draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. Then an a safe turn. So 4 here. It's still a safe turn. The turn afterwards, it's draw these 5, still a safe turn. And the turn afterwards, it's these 5. That is a dangerous turn. But we can deploy over the eye, so we only need to block for 28. And still for energy, yeah, so we can hologram the hologram. Reprogram is already played once. So I can hologram, 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 hologram. Four hologram, exactly 27, 28 block. And that is full block, but we do not exhaust the void. Yeah, script this turn in hollow script again. We do have a clean block this cycle, but. Um, the void is still in the in the draw power. Or oh, I can just play defend reboot. Because we, we have like three turns to prepare from here. This turn we are safe. This turn we are safe and we have like two more turns to prepare. We are barely dealing damage though. Like with, with this line. Because the if we sweep immediately, yeah. Next turn we have like beam cell strip artifact, hologram the script. And so draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. Script draw 1, 2, 3, 4. We do get her with himself. So we can apply vulnerable immediately into the streamline, which is okay damage, but he gains 99 block. Okay, so we actually deal 0 damage next turn, but we get streamline to 0 and we get 2 vulnerable down. The turn after 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. So, uh, yeah, cold snap strike. He gains 30 block or he has 0. So we deal a little bit. Vulnerable runs out. And this turn we full block. We maybe 30 block, maybe zero. But this turn he has 99 block and we fail to deal damage again. <laughs> she learning, yeah, but she learning is like okay, but not amazing. How is it? Because like this one the the 38 is here, yeah. So this one safe turn, quote unquote safe. But we only block for 4 here, so if he attacks for 14, it's like 10. But we do draw 2, so we draw this plus 3. So I was removed strike, power pot, thorn pot, uh, other world, only thought the thing ahead, yes. And uh, yeah, yeah, we remove dual cast, we remove dual cast and then remove strike. <laughs> and you also see, like, we actually need the strike damage. We need the thinking ahead, we need the strike damage, we need actually need the thorn sword damage in this fight, which was uh, not expected. But uh, everything we did so far in Act 4 has performed. Except the power potion. So the power potion is for the next fight. We cannot guarantee we never take damage from here. If uh, we did draw power. And we know that we don't take damage for the next 3 turns. Not scaling a lot, but I can recycle the cool headed, for example. But then it will be good here. I sure hope I don't get strike dummy after this fight. <laughs> but yeah, having reboot in the redraw is also not terrible. It's, it's good. Not sure we can do that. Like, script right now. Uh, defend first into script. Uh, it doesn't matter, we have good instinct anyway. Yeah, script here, next one draw 5, and then we hologram the script, script again. 
Superstone, we already have Superstone. Yeah, Superstone is our first rally. Reprogram, uh, debug focus, this guy uh, not super good at his job. And so we have full block, we already knew that. So, uh, recycle, go ahead. Or recycle strike. But notorious anti synergy? No. I mean, maybe if it uh, if we miss a 50 50, but that wood is still blocking meter bed. Oh, we come to two. That would actually be very good. And that, that is one of the, the better roles for sure. Yeah, now we just follow uh, four time and that's full block. But I'm wondering what I recycle. Is it quoted or is it strike? It's probably quoted. He only has 49 HP left and we have 5 strength. And at the end, we can still do Beam Cell Plus or Witness. It's probably Witness, probably better. Beam Cell Plus doesn't play anyway. Next time you get 99 block. Oh, and hologram the void. Hologram void is just better, right? Hologram void is just better. Improving our next deck cycle immediately. So compound rod two. Maybe only draw two until here. Next turn is one, two, three, four, five, which is not amazing. The turn afterwards is scrape, but we can hologram and it's open. And we can scrape into over the eyes into hologram. Into scrape again into streamline. So that kills him two turns from now. Okay, okay. So that works then. So maybe I don't need to, to dig super far. Otherwise, vulnerable also runs out. Is that next turn? No, no, uh, two turns from now, two turns from now. Next turn is still fine. We, maybe we can kill it next turn. Like, if we, if we draw four right now, yeah. We draw four right now until here. Next turn we draw five here. So then I can script to go with the eyes here into reboot. Play go with the eyes, hologram the script, script again until here. Ah, uh, no, no, that doesn't work, that doesn't work, that doesn't work. Like, we, we need one more draw. We need the script to reach this. Right now we cannot. Yeah, so uh, no need to, to be impatient here. Like next time we only need to block 14. So draw 2 right here is already perfect. And we can hologram the strike to get one more strength. <laughs> no relic for setup for next fight, yes. Right, he's dead next up. Scrape alone is already killing. Uh, take it or leave it, I guess. Uh, at least there's a potion. No relic to set up, you say. Uh, Weston, what can Weston even do? Second beam save upgrade, I sure it doesn't freaking hit this. But uh, beam save upgrade is fine, script upgrade is fine. Everything else is a damage upgrade except ritual dagger. So ritual dagger upgrade is completely worthless. These are not it. 
Unless you tell me I want another turbo. In Mortal, yeah, in Mortal Frozen, I, uh, yeah, you, you, you know, like, if we don't die immediately, uh, long turns are coming. Turbo minus, or do we need it? Because we have an upgrade port now, so we can upgrade the Turbo Plus. We can actually upgrade our Turbo Plus. Uh, our Turbo Minus already in the deck, and with aggregate plus, how much do we need energy? If I, have a, I do have a feeling that uh, the second turbo is just going to slow us down. And this is a deck that cannot really destroy uh, the second deck cycle. Yeah, we need to play the second deck cycle normally. I don't like it. Thank you, very cool. Yeah, yeah, it's right up me at home. They did strike up me, but uh, only half effective. But yeah, we don't care about any of these, so uh, we we'll skip. Oh, the ice top deck, but we can draw into the aggregate. What is the aggregate upgrade uh, place? Okay, so open power potion first and uh, see. Aggregate, yeah, aggregate top deck with uh, the quoted as well. So this turn we can we can have a very big turn. Reprogram, unfortunately, is the absolute bottom. But maybe we can get to the sick and maybe we can play the reboot. We can even upgrade the reboot. And upgrade thinking ahead, for example. The, those are also like decent upgrades. But yeah, we, we open this right now. Like, I can wait for next one to, to see buffer, but uh, no. Main powers don't care about pressing point, yeah, not at all. My maybe buffer I want to upgrade. Hi! Okay. Okay, okay, we go through the line first before I open the power potion. Like, let, let's see what kind of turn we can have this turn. So, uh, start with Quedded, yeah? Into Compound Driver draw 3. Into Aggregate, into Compound Driver draw 3 again. Okay, so 1. Draw until here, Compound Driver draw, Compound Driver draw again. 1, 2, 3. This is our way of turn top of it. Uh, can we play the castle that we take puzzle damage? Like we play two compound driver, one coated, one power potion, one aggregate, so five cards. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work. But if we upgrade a coated right now, we can risk the thinking ahead, and then we can risk the hologram. We cannot take the the puzzle this turn. Like we play five cards, and then the next card is always a cutter block or reboot. So there are two, two lines here. Either we draw until here, upgrade potion, play the reboot afterwards, and then continue by reboot plus. Or we uh, upgrade upward and immediately. We'll be able to draw until here, draw until thinking ahead, and then we can think ahead into the hologram. We hologram compound driver. Draw two. It's only two though, so our turn still stops here. We cannot actually get to the sick. We can get to the sick next turn, but uh, that is a little bit late. Yeah, so we have a billion energy, but we cannot spend it all. So that probably tells me that we play reboot. That probably tells me we play reboot this turn. And if we play reboot this turn, we are upgrading reboot. So. Yeah, coded. Compound driver draw one. Compound driver draw again until here. Upgrade potion. And then reboot for six. Is that a good upgrade? No, no. Like, it's good, but uh, we don't really have a choice here. You, you think we have time in this fight or what? Because we don't. Oh, well, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely power pot before upgrade. Um, if that is the case, we open power pot immediately. Because we are power potting before the reboot, so we cannot reboot into the power potion into upgrade. Or like observe afterwards.
So we are vulnerable if the hardest weapon is 50 and then the multi hit is 2 times 15, so it's like 50 damage, but 15 plus 50 we still cannot handle. Even even with the per turn in. Uh, first in case the line change, yeah, we, of course, of course. Power pot right now. Okay, we have a chance here. We have a chance here. GG, what do you mean GG? <laughs> what do you mean GG? We, we are, I don't even know whether we are favored or not, but we have a slightly higher chance. <laughs> we have a slightly higher chance here, so um, Echo Fort, yeah? We still don't really take damage, so it doesn't actually matter here. And the scouting energy also doesn't actually matter. But yeah, cool ended compound driver. Compound driver. Uh, every kid. And yeah, here you see, like we play any other card, we are we are not taking damage. Power Potion is so much more clutch than Creative AI, you think about it, like, Power Potion is basically Creative AI in 3 turns. So you, you just accelerate by 3 turns immediately, and they cannot be the same power, yeah, so that is like even more than that. <laughs> yeah, like 3 choices immediately, no repeat, so that is worth, uh, I would say probably like maybe 4 turns of Creative AI. Uh, but yeah, this turn we will upgrade this into reboot. I do not care about Ritual Dagger afterwards, so I can just play it right now. You can say no, yeah. So this upgrade potion is only for reboot for plus 2 card. Is that worth it? Or do, do we want to upgrade something else? So two, 2 draws immediately, but now that we, we have Echo Form already. So, and we have a million energy still floating, I do not dislike it at all. Puzzle? No, no, you, you see right here, like... What do we play to get Puzzle? <laughs> Every single card in our head except the reboot block. And if we play the reboot first, we are wasting Puzzle. So... <laughs> it's unfortunate, but we cannot get the Puzzle here. Unless you tell me to do... Let's say something like Dritcho Dagger into the reboot first, and then we play two more cards and talk the Puzzle that way. But we can also draw a handful of blocks. Oh, like, and how, how valuable is this thing really? It's good with the recycle, yeah? It's good with the scrap, it's good with the skip. It doesn't matter for the compound drivers at all, it's decent for the stick, it's good for the turbo. But most of our good cards are already upgraded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, let's say I do Rishu Dagger right now, we go to 2 block, and then reboot, we go to 0 block. Actually, wait, 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 if we play 3 attacks from here. So Dagger go to 2 block, and then go with the eyes, and then strike. It actually works, it actually works. Yeah, just play 3 attacks, and then puzzle props. <laughs> if the puzzle, after the puzzle props, what happens? If the puzzle props here. And I can draw until here, and then my turn still stops. Actually, no, no, I draw until here, and then I can think ahead to the sick. Then I can sick for the reprogram, play the reprogram immediately, and then reboot. Okay, 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 that works, that works, that works, that works, that very much works. <laughs> Was the block playing turn 2, 3? I don't know, because we are rebooting this turn. We are still playing reboot this turn, yeah? But I do get to play reprogram two times. Talking puzzle with reboot minus? No, no, no. We play that, we waste the... I'm pretty sure the puzzle goes first. Like, if we play reboot right now, I take the puzzle and then I reboot. Am I there, of course? No. Uh, this thing lies to you. You do not trust this thing lies. Like, it says that turn, but it is not that turn. It's only until the card leaves your hand. <laughs> this thing is lying. Negates fail? No, no, we are not fail. We are not fail. We are. We have turned it. We have turned it, so we are not fail. We are only vulnerable. In fact, we even have ginger. So we, we only have vulnerable. 
I it's just uh so uh ritual deck will go with the eye strike here. Drop the, the puzzle. So hand has seven cards. One, two energy, seven energy, six energy. Six energy compound driver five energy. Um thinking ahead. Six goes to four energy. No, no, 5 energy is sick for the hologram reprogram. And then we, we end the turn with reboot. If that is the case, I don't even need reboot plus because we are out of energy. But I can reboot into the aggregate and our turn continues. Okay. 9 energy, yeah, yeah. 9, nine energy, but we can spend it all this turn. But the uh, hollow aggregate, our turn just stops. So it doesn't actually work. I can do that. So reach your dagger. Then strike out the puzzle. And now hologram the um, power driver. Play the compound driver. Okay, nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. I think I can spend one energy on the defend before. Is that actually worth it? Yeah, I don't. I don't even know whether that's actually worth it. If I even if I remember, of course I forgot. But uh, even if I remember, I don't even know. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Now, now I better remember. Like it only gets me one time. So now, can okay, I still hit this run? <laughs> it's eight hours and a half with no store. With basically no stalling. So it is actually just uh, we actually play the run. We will play every single fight properly. And it's like this. So this relic on the West Stone. But yeah. Um, uh, beam cell first and then thinking ahead. And then upgrade after the, the sick is in my hand. Put the whatever on top doesn't matter. Because we, we are rebooting this turn. And we uh, yeah, upgrade this hand, six, use the 6 plus to get the reprogram hologram, and then we continue. Yeah, upgrade this hand. Yeah. Upgrade the meme cell, upgrade the streamline, upgrade recursion, upgrade the 6 and the reboot. But these things exhaust immediately. It doesn't matter, it's still good. I can recursion the plasma immediately, but uh, that does mean the compound driver does not draw three. Uh, before, right before the reboot, I don't want to do that. It gives me one more energy though, which might be it gives me two more energy actually because recursion is plus, which might actually matter because we okay again just do this first. I take one more to play this thing first, of course. I don't spend one energy on this. If I spend energy on this, I also do the quitted line. But um let's say, just pay let's just say that I pay one energy, yeah. So one 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 HP. So like reprogram, hologram, reprogram again. Into beam cell here. So now with three energy, two energy left, and then I reboot. So I only have two energy to to, to continue. What if I want to play streamline right now? Now, making compound driver worse cannot be it, right? There, there's no way. There's no way making compound driver worse uh, is correct here. So draw sticks, but have two energy, but we can still draw into the aggregate and whatnot.
Enigma or we will also proc next turn? If not this turn. Max out this turn, I mean, they can get close, yes. I do play the beam cell to extend vulnerable and then play reboot. We can continue this turn. This turn's not done yet, but uh, we can also just stop and next turn we have Immortal have the 6 plus with the Echo Form in play. <laughs> not an amazing, yeah, not, not, not a super amazing hand next turn though. No. So maybe not. I think we keep going. Uh, drawing 4 blocks in here is not exactly super nice, but I do think we keep going here. So like play the beam cell right here, play the scheme until here, and then compound driver draws 3, but uh, I need to seek the aggregate otherwise I run out of energy. So seek for aggregate and maybe seek for the... Reprogram again. Otherwise I can start next turn with like double reprogram, but starting with double hologram is just better. And the number of uh, reprogram is still the same. So beam cell, if we, if I just do beam cell plus the skin, I draw four cards. So uh, it's not enough to, to reach every game. <laughs> yeah, still still hyper beam. By looking at this, we can actually max out this turn. And yeah, I pay one more HP, but that's fine. And I do think it goes on um, aggregate reprogram because we can hologram reprogram immediately. So now our turn is still draw 3, so I can draw until this and can recycle the Sunder. I do not care about Sunder at all, so energy this turn we are already good, so I do not want to take on more damage. So just play defend and then uh, reprogram. I like to tell me to scrape this turn, but no way, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, so if we get 2 statuses on top, uh, we don't even, we don't actually draw until the thing. But we can set up Immortal so that we get the hologram next turn. But we also can still do hologram on hologram on hologram with 7, 9 dexterity already that is blocking a lot. But that is actually blocking quite a lot. Also, no, 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 like status turn, we, we are, <laughs> we, there's no way we can max out on in during the status turn. Yeah, energy-wise, we are already good, so we can play this. And hollow reprogram, and then compound rival into... 1, 2, 3, and then, uh, yeah, recycle the, this thing here. And I might need to be equated the next one so I don't play the, the coast now. Seven. Eight. Just Immortal this turn. Like, Immortal this turn is fine too. Like, Immortal this turn just increase the chance I draw into hologram immediately. And I want the hologram to be in my hand. At the start of that, I can echo form it. <laughs> oh yeah, this turn is without the echo form in play by the way. So uh, we are actually apparently quite fast. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. This is longer than my normal run, like the, the time you are seeing here. This thing is longer than my normal run. But yeah, I, I also, yeah, I don't see it. Like, why why would I not use the Immortal right now? Because then I can use the Immortal on turn 3. Turn 2, we know that it's not going to be a bad turn. Turn 3 is a bad turn. Uh, one more compound driver in here, but we can even do... Yeah, I can even continue this turn by doing like cold snap recursion immediately. That doesn't max out, but it's close. 
if I play close up with Maxis out and Turrican doesn't gain a stack and we I lose one draw for compound driver. Why did we get a repro game? This one somewhere at the start of Act 2, I think. Maybe in the middle of Act 2, but it was in Act 2. Killing this makes no sense, right? Because I might hologram. No, no, I can hologram scheme instead to get the energy. Even the multi hit next turn, I don't really need to to do much. I can just hold double hologram, play the reprogram again, and hologram again. Or I can set up to go for the ice for turn three. But yeah, killing this right now is like complete nonsense. And next turn, I might want to play this, so I don't even play the recursion. It got on one, it's fine. Ah, make it first. But we do draw to hologram and no no voice yet. We can end the turn with void. <laughs> and we get the hologram here. And then we end the turn, we can do aggregate into hologram, 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 end the turn with skim, with the um, immortal drawing exactly until here. It's probably what I want to do. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I don't press the cancel. So let's aggregate into hologram, yeah. My next is enough, we don't actually need to play the, the thing this turn. And yeah, we are we are full blocking this hit. And next turn we are also full blocking. So this looks like very promising. <laughs> Red post body at home. Kind of. I can scheme right now, so I can play stream right. I don't care about other war next turn. All of them to scheme right away. Play the scheme. We are taking one damage this way, but I get to play my stream line immediately. Oh, by the way, no, no, I want to draw into Void right now. And you also see. Immortal props. No more energy. So we're taking two this turn, but uh, we get the void after the draw power, we caught the streamline. For that reason, compound. <laughs> okay, the, that's not. I actually I forgot the compound rival also draw three. Uh, but yeah, whatever. I hopefully it doesn't matter here. Back with uh, double over the eyes, yeah. I want witness in the second cycle. And we have to block this turn. Next turn, can that we start with double compound rival draw 6? And we shuffle out 2 statuses. We shuffle out 2 block cards, but that doesn't also doesn't matter. And I don't play the, the barrier. I mean, I do. I do. I Otherwise, I take uh, 1 damage. Yeah, he's uh, guaranteed to be weakened the whole second cycle, so we should be like good here. <laughs> yeah, it's echo for wood. It's echo for wood indeed. But I mean, we got an extremely good turn one. Like, that's for sure. We, we, we got like an, an insane turn one. This is not over yet. We, we can do a lot of things here. Zack with the burn. And next time we just double the reprogram. Wait, 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 we draw no block next turn. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. We have no block cards. <laughs> we, we have no block cards, so the, let's uh, let's be careful before uh, drawing blindly. If we only draw until here and our turn stops, and next time we draw these five. I can compile rival draw six until here. Uh, and then I can play... 
one defense. I have no energy. Actually, I do. I do. I can do um, cool headed or cold snap. Cold snap is better than cool headed. Into the recursion, uh, which um, gives me two energy, so I can skim into the hologram, and then we have full block. Don't compile. No, no, compile is fine. Compile is fine. As long as I double compile next turn and not the reprogram. If it don't compile right now, yeah, and next turn I have block in my hand, but the turn afterwards is also like pretty ugly. And compiling right now is also giving me a decent chunk of damage. I can play five more cards here. One, two, three, four, five, in model to seven, in model to nine, in model to ten, so we do draw, yeah, we draw until here. And that should be good. That is almost dead, it is. I can play Team Barrier to push this thing further, but we don't need to. In fact, if we do that, we just overdraw next turn. So in model on seven is better than on eight. Into, it's possible, yes. It, it's very possible that I can kill in two here. Yeah, hey, I no longer need to compile and I want to recursion this. So close that can happen. But right here. No longer need to, to reprogram actually. Like, I can just do. Don't even care about shipping artifact. But the scheme does happen, yeah. I don't need to shuffle though, because otherwise. Next, I mean, next one is only 40 damage. We have plenty of HP. Yeah, we have plenty of HP. So even if we face tank a whole hit to our face next time, we don't even die. Yeah, we actually don't even die. Even if we do that. So I guess we can do... Hologram, hologram, and then hologram uh, something else. We can play more cast this stuff. No longer need to play the program here. And wood instinct. Yeah, wood instinct, sure. Taking one. Now we draw two and yeah, the fight is over. We don't need to, to duplicate the compound, but we can. The fight is over. Actually winning this one, man. <laughs> oh my freaking god. Yeah, I'm actually reading this run. That's actually like super sick. I mean, yeah, you can also look at the run timer. This is uh, definitely the most effect, most difficult effect run I have won so far, for sure, by far. <laughs> uh, okay, plus one percent, right? Everything was worth it. <laughs> but yeah, that was good. <sighs> Without Echo Form, without Echo Form, I think the fight still winnable with how good the turn 1 was. It would be a lot more annoying. But uh, turn 1, you immediately got like 9 dexterity. With the, the turn deep and we get weakness down, second cycle we don't have weakness though. And that is actually a big thing. Yeah, without Echo Form, we don't have weakness second cycle. So maybe this turn, we, we struggle to block a little bit more for sure. But uh, we definitely have a chance, even without the Echo Form, with how, how good the turn 1 actually turned out to be. <laughs> okay, one more, one more, that worked well, yeah. Oh. <laughs> 196 k oh yeah. Okay, uh, did, did that work or not? Like, if it didn't, I just modded you, yeah, or Rustfield. Then uh, if it doesn't work, just tell me. Okay, Jam Jam, let's go.
Uh, only Sorter and Adwood do not matter hand wheel by hand. Yeah. If we do not hit Echo Form though, the only Sorter might matter because uh, we would lose a lot more HP in the second cycle. Even in the first cycle, we don't even block for that much. We lose at least 14 block on the hologram turn. And the turn after, we cannot actually get to our actual block cards. And what they bet is like way slower with, without the echo form. Got the tiny chest give? Mm, we prop tiny chest like two times. And I guess we can check after the run, like, like right now. <laughs> 8 hours, yeah, 8 hours, 40 minutes. By far my longest run on defect. Honestly, even on silent, like, like of all time. And this run is actually real. Like, unless uh, there's no fight where we store one single fight for three hours, it's actually just uh, we play the run normally. Okay, not, not so normally, but uh, we play the, the fight with no degen stuff going on, and it just happens to be that way because it's very difficult. And to go to the look at Silent Shop, yeah, sure. My game is uh, freezing. Okay, yeah, I check the tiny chest first, yeah, and then I look at the the uh, shop. Uh, one, two, three. Tiny chest was like where? Oh, it, it's here, it's here. Tiny chest pops here, so tungsten rod and dream catcher, which we key, and the key gave us shuriken. Yeah, uh, just, just talking the freaking tiny chest here. You see right here, yeah? Tungsten rod into the shuriken. And we actually needed both of them to win this run. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this was actually crazy. Like, we entered the Moscow with 18 HP, 1 foot juice. So we effectively have 23 HP, no other potion. And we barely survived this run. This was... Very sad though, that uh, something like this can happen. But, but yeah, uh, look at the durance shop. So, floor 54, yeah, okay, act 4 shop. Um, okay, no poison. So, the thing is just a trip against P and Shield. We already have marbles, no red mask, but with the thing is ship, immediately turn 1. Gambling chip, no ice cream, no backup trap, no immortal. Ah, uh, no burn, okay. So, okay, remove is definitely worth it. Uh, you do not need the third food work, so definitely remove... Not the funnel, probably. <laughs> Spear and shield plan with bottle trip plus. I'm actually pretty down to buy the Akabeko and meeting maybe something better is here, like... Um, yeah, block potion replaced by dex potion, for example, should be quite decent. How much dex base do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But you can draw back into them. Okay, so probably remove on the buy is clear. Remove, yeah, yeah, we'll probably remove on buy is like super clear. And afterwards, um, afterwards, I think you you kick the block potion away for the next spot. Block potion with the uh, bites, yeah, even with only three bites, it's like an absolutely store the, it's like an absolutely store the uh, the shield. So as long as you don't die, you're full HP. So block potion only matters in the heart, basically. And next spot in the heart has to be better than block pot. So I see uh, block port, I see remove. And afterwards there's nothing else, so I honestly I see probably Akabeko to try to burst the, the things down. Because taken second two is not good against the heart. Concentrate is fine. Actually uh, concentrate is quite good. Yeah, concentrate is quite good. Like you are on uh, Four base energy, but uh, this I can use a lot more than four. The problem with concentrate is of course it costs the Akabeko, yeah. 
Oh no, for the fact it only matters in the spear and shield. I, I guess in the hard part, the Akabeko doesn't matter as much. But your trip is mortal, so buying the funnel. Yeah, buying the funnel does give you. Does give you all immediately turn one. I'm, I'm not even sure whether concentrate or eradicate is better, because concentrate is like actually very strong on this deck. Maybe you don't need it because the amount of card draw is also not that much. Like two echo plus and one reflex, but uh, it stops there. With another echo, then probably concentrate minus is good enough. But maybe, maybe here not. But it's probably just next spot and remove and yeah, one of the relics. How do they have enough draw? Yeah, yeah. like you, you don't have actually don't have that much draw for the, the concentrate. If you have one more echo plus, and I would I would take that. I'm saying you don't have enough draw to use the, the concentrate. Not that you don't have enough actual draw in the deck. I probably just uh, uh, remove next one and one of the relics then, if that is the case. I don't know whether Fun or Akabeko is better, but um, because you can also just draw into neutralized turn one or one of the pissing wheels. Well, let friend plus so maybe holding facing wheel for turn two is a thing. And I can see the funnel. I can see the funnel. Concentrate, yeah, concentrate plus would be good enough. I can I can see funnel over Akabeko because Akabeko only go with eviscerate. If you don't land it with the eviscerate, it's like uh, yeah, whatever, like health damage at most. But shipping artifact means that if you fail to kill, you can still just like hold facing wheel, play the malaise, and then full block turn two. It's probably remove next fall and funnel here then. <laughs> but yeah, did this run when did this one go below curve? <laughs> Is it sticking here or what? Mid most of the run that go just a bit tough, yes. I actually I'm actually like very proud of this win. I actually amazed it. But yeah, once again, like, two Retro Mancer in here is like pretty very sad. <laughs> Went to three elites, we roll two Retro Mancer and we break in the second one, which is the Burning Elite. And then, uh, our workers yeah, took the, the fight and turned it definitely. I mean, I don't know, definitely, because the hard fight ended up not being like super close. Just we roll Echo Form. But without Echo Form, turn it here absolutely matters. Oh, wait, 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 go with the Echo first. Okay, never mind. This, this fight actually saved me a freaking life here. I think this fight actually saved a freaking life here. Like, I don't care about the turnip, but the other two things uh, absolutely bail us out. Like, big time. Reprogram was from pretty early, actually, yeah, right here. Like, floor 22. And Mortal Outlet was actually like, super sick. Uh, 23 HP, no potion. And we, we barely won the boss counter. And Act 4, Frozen Eye, uh, like absolutely super nice line. In, in both fights, actually. And here, of course, Power Potion gave us the, the thing. <laughs> Take a minus. Yeah, we were like, insanely behind on upgrades in this run. And there was no chance to actually do it. Because of this freaking thing. If we lost no HP here, I can upgrade Dagger immediately. Which I most time. Mm, 59 minutes, no rune decker. <laughs> one hour is around 10 minutes, awakened one. One hour, seven minutes, spear and shield, and the heart is only 27. So it's actually this one. The awakened one fight uh, is the longest. Because we entered the fight with 5 HP, no potion, so uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely needed to be like, extremely careful. Yeah, see what time. And you also see like, everything we did in late actually matter. Like the from the square pick up here. Or from the square pick up here to the uh, aggregate upgrade. Like it, it just imagine not upgrading this aggregate, yeah. 
Yeah, just, just, just freaking imagine. Not upgrading this aggregate and upgrading something else. <laughs> like how these fights would go. <laughs> I start <laughs> 3 hours and 27 minutes. But it's a little bit inflated. Because we... Most of the time was like... Uh, I open the draw power and I calculate the, the line while the draw power is open. In this fight, in this fight, and in this fight. Honestly, also in this fight, but it's also not... It's, it's, it's not as... It's not as long. It's a little bit inflated. The real time is probably... Something like maybe 2 hours and a half. But yeah, very, very long time. Okay. I scrape metal, I upgrade, upgrade metals, and... But the very least, the power, the, the potions we buy in the shop matter. And remove on non dual cards is fine. Thinking ahead as well, yeah. Okay. Again, imagine this side without thinking ahead. Like, you, you want to buy a freaking head drill over this thinking ahead. Because I might run longer, don't die 34 earlier. Yeah, yeah, I also talked about it like earlier. That's something I have never mentioned, but it's true. In a run like this without Force and I, we're just dead like long before. But uh, with the eye, we actually can win. Yeah, I can actually like super nice one. Definitely the most difficult defect I have. I have one. Under my hand, we <laughs> over other war, yeah. How much did I work like? Okay, fine. And I will work did not do anything. But the hand will not do anything either. So like whatever, doesn't matter. Our champion's power board did not give echo form. After that turn one, still fairly decent. Our turn one was uh, insane in the hard fight. Yeah, well, our turn one was actually insane in the hard fight. Like we got nine dexterity and dealt two hundred damage. Yeah, yeah, like nine dexterity, dealt two hundred damage, exhausted uh, a couple of cards. Actually, like completely insane. And okay, if we... I will just escape dying immediately first cycle and then not getting weakness down second cycle was the, the main concern. I know that if we survive... If we have a good few first few turns, then the, the fight is favored. Recycle minus, yeah. Recycle also absolutely play. Where was it? It's early act 3, right, I think. Yeah, first floor back 3. Recycle minus. Very, very first floor. <laughs> okay, yeah, like these, these guys actually just like completely save the run, both of them. Both sequence play for the few flaws it was in our deck, and it saved us from like falling here. If this thing asks for the freaking hologram or the reprogram, we die immediately. So, uh, I don't know, maybe both sequence was also saving the run. <laughs> over deep, right? Yeah, 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 sure, over deep, right? Reprogram was already here though. I think I yeah, I played the reprogram right before Automaton. So yeah, screw the screw the deep right. And most sequence is fine. Skipping this is fine. Yeah, I do not regret skipping rebounds at all. Be because in the end you also see like our the bigger problem for us is that we do not have cut draw to continue our chain. Rebound only works if you, you actually can consistently draw into the good rebounding. With no equilibrium, only two holograms, yeah, I don't feel good about this at all. And uh, that thing would also make this fight like, a little bit more annoying. And was fine, again, skipping rebound, skipping auto shield, skipping auto shield is fine too. Second beam cell... This is a second beam cell play. It did, right? But the very least in this fight. Yeah, yeah, in this fight, I absolutely play. The second beam cell. It probably did not play here. Because we turn one, we already had beam cell sunder, kill one, and then we reach your dagger the other. And then we never need beam cell again. And this fight, we never even need the, the beam cell miners. But yeah, on, on just for this fight only, that's already worth it. And then this is garbage. Oh, this garbage fight. But uh, clicking script over gold the eyes here was uh, 
Clicking script over over the eyes here was actually ended up being like super good. I don't think the second over the eyes would do much. On the other hand, this thing was like actually insane. <laughs> the script was insane, and of course this fight saved the the whole run. What we got from here? Yeah, full sequence facing the thing, and then boss scout and then that's a very nice actually. Act 2 was, um, we are quite strong in Act 2. We are just like insanely behind on upgrades. But uh, we are quite strong in Act 2. That we needed the rest though. That we needed the rest. So we upgraded um, as much as we could basically. And Act 1 is just uh, standard, nothing too special. <laughs> second run, yeah, yeah. Sure, second run right now. Behind upgrades, something going heavy hallway act one still would. Yeah, like if I if I can trade maybe one upgrade for one hallway, I would do it. Uh, no, for two hallways, maybe I can do it. But I do not trade for the upgrade and also minus elite. And like in order to be um, super behind upgrades, you already need wood cards. <laughs> so I don't complain too much. I will say though, some, something something pretty slightly cringe happened here. Uh, slightly. Ever done a tip of spin on a sample on our average? Mm, no, eventually I want to though. But mm, probably on Watcher first. Maybe I'll do on, so on, on Silent at some point. But uh, the next 100 I would do for Silent is probably still slow runs. And yeah, the, the speed run tempo, if I do on stream, is probably going to be Watcher first. Like maybe 50 runs in like one week. Yeah, something pretty cringe happened here, yeah? Is that, uh, yeah, this happened. <laughs> and if it did, yeah, I only played two runs though. And uh, the stream was also fairly short. That's a 59, I took 21. But the, the main fear I had in this fight was that we could not split turn two. Or some specific draws. If I I ended I started the here at 21 yeah so if I did not rest I would go to two. Uh well yeah because of the three go kilo. I stack a three and turn two yeah sure. That was mm, here curious win rate decreases increases. I think off stream my silent I haven't played too much silent recently but I I think my silent off stream is uh, around 70. So uh, maybe minus ten percent when I play like, extremely fast. On uh, other characters, I have not mm, tried to measure, but uh, I will on Watcher very often, even when I play fast. So why Watcher probably doesn't make that much of a difference, because only only the very difficult runs, you actually need to slow down and play properly. And for Watcher, that doesn't happen very often. Yeah, maybe like one out of ten runs. Maybe, uh, maybe up one hour for like seven or eight, depending on on your level. <laughs> defect master crown, no, no, defect master crown is uh, for someone, somebody else in chat, not for me. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, silent, silent crown probably is never getting resumed at this point. Like, I'm just saying that I want to do two defect per day, yeah. Or if the run is chill enough, I do like maybe a crown silent after. But you, you look at these runs. It's 8 hours and a half. This thing died at the heart, but it's 4 hours and a half. This thing is over 4 hours. This thing is 6 hours. This thing is also slightly over 4 hours. We have not been getting uh, very chill runs recently, I can tell you. <laughs> On defect. <laughs> like, five or, 5 or 6 runs recently are always like, extremely draining. But yeah, uh, it's fine. At least this run would. Like, just, just imagine this run, but uh, we die anyway. It would be like pretty, pretty tragic. But yeah, I'll send you guys to go up, up, up. Okay. 
Could we add more chill to that? Could we get more chill runs? I mean, we did get... Mm, we did have odd run with like three chills or something. Is that on stream or is that off stream? I, I know recently I played a run with three chills. Hey, it was uh, pretty easy. Satisfying to win long runs. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely it is. Because usually when the run is very long, it's also very difficult. So winning difficult runs, of course, feels good. <laughs> For most of the end, third one was extremely strong. No? So I don't know whether we would win without the motion or not. But the, the potion made the hard fight like, actually super easy. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Huh? And uh, yeah, see you later.